November 23, 2995, the weather is clear. I, Chen Shu, have decided to start keeping a diary from today. January 11, 2996, the weather is overcast. No one said that a diary must be written every day, right? January 30, 2996, the weather is overcast. Today is the first time I attempted to summon a deity, and surprisingly I failed. It's strange, they all say one would feel the presence of those beings to some extent. I felt nothing at all. February 11, 2996, the weather is overcast. I failed in summoning a deity again today. April 10, 2996, the weather is overcast. My parents died in a car accident. April 28, 2996, the weather is overcast. Up to today, I've attempted to summon deities 87 times, all failures. I'm starting to panic. August 1, 2998, the weather is hot. This is yet another failed attempt to summon a deity, one of countless failures. They all say I'm forsaken by the heavens. It's not rare for people of my age to not have a spirit deity enter their vessel, but to this day, not a single spirit deity is willing to make a pact with me. They're talking nonsense, I'm someone unworthy of divine companionship. November 23, 2998, the weather is clear. Failure. December 11, 2998, the weather is clear. Failure. January 1, 2999, the weather at midnight. Is it possible that I am a deity myself? January 2, 2999, the weather is clear. I am a deity. January 3, 2999, the weather is clear. I am a deity. February 5, 2999, the weather is clear. My body seems to be undergoing some strange changes. February 9, 2999, the weather is clear. My body has indeed changed. I took off my glasses today, and I'm not nearsighted anymore. April 3, 2999, the weather is clear. My left eye's vision is getting clearer. So clear that it's kind of scary. June 1, 2999, the weather is clear. Today, I saw an ant on the ground from a distance of about 40 meters. July 2, 2999, the weather is clear. Today, I pulled out a hair and I watched it curl up, then wither like wild grass and finally disappear into powder as if it had been weathered away. It's strange, I seem to indeed be a deity. My inner self is very calm, like a pool of spring water. July 11, 2999, the weather is clear. My eyes were the first to change, to be precise, my left eye. From hundreds of meters away, I can clearly see the texture on the trees. However, after each meditation, my left eye itches unbearably. September 30, 2999, the weather is clear. It's getting itchier. November 2, 2999, the weather is clear. It's soon. I can feel my eyes changing perhaps in a few days. November 3, 2999, Thursday, Shiku City First Middle School. Inside the meditation room, Chen Shu, with his eyes on his nose and his nose in his heart, with no distractions in his mind, fell into deep meditation, silently practicing the Yun Ling Ju. Yun Ling Ju is a technique developed by spirit masters since the divine era capable of absorbing the spirit thoughts from the air for one's own use, enhancing one's spirit thoughts and communicating with spirit deities. For Chen Shu, it has its benefits as well. As Chen Shu practiced, wisps of spirit thoughts in the air slowly gathered towards him, accumulating bit by bit into his mind, only to suddenly and quietly disappear, as if they had never existed. To this, Chen Shu had long become accustomed, his expression unchanged, just silently continuing his practice. In the meditation room, there are not a few people like Chen Shu, where only the sound of smooth and long breaths can be heard. However, what is completely different from Chen Shu is, during their practice, various phenomena occurred around them, 
either full of life or with rising temperatures, and some even had their hair stand on end, as if static electricity was being generated. Only Chen Shu alone, without the slightest change, as if he was just sitting there quietly. Yang Jingjing glanced at Chen Shu from afar, feeling a bit of pity in her heart. Chen Shu is a student in her class, and from any perspective, he is a good student, diligent and polite, with excellent character and scholarship. He entered the Yun Lingju early, surpassing his peers by a lot. Yang Jingjing sighed to herself, What a pity, he just lacks talent. For those without talent, no matter how much they practice, it's just adding troubles for nothing. After all, talented individuals are in the minority, and ordinary people, no matter how hard they try, can hardly compare with these favored children of the heavens. Not to mention the gap between those who can invite gods into their vessels is even bigger. Some people are naturally able to accommodate deities, invite gods into their vessels, and become extremely powerful when combined. Seeing that the time was almost up, Yang Jingjing clapped her hands, all right, time's up. As a key school in the city, the annual education funding is tens of millions, and this meditation room is equipped with inscriptions, which can greatly improve the efficiency of meditation under the consumption of thought crystals. But as a precious resource, thought crystals are also pricey, so this meditation room is only open for a short time before school ends. Everyone stopped their meditation practice, and the phenomena on their bodies disappeared, many faces showing a bit of joy, obviously satisfied with the results of their practice. The young boys and girls almost never hide things, and they started to shout excitedly. My spirit thought seems to be stronger, I feel like I can borrow more power, maybe I'll be able to form a new contract soon. My deity is the same. Truly worthy of the meditation room, practicing here for an hour every day is equivalent to practicing outside for three days. If you could always practice in this environment, you might become an official spirit master within a year, and then you could borrow even more power. Someone excitedly said in a low voice, What are you thinking? To open this meditation room for an hour, at least ten thought crystals are consumed, that's nearly three hundred thousand. How could they let you practice endlessly inside? Another person laughed with a teasing tone. Besides, if I remember correctly, someone won't be able to enjoy the benefits of the meditation room in two days. The person who said this was implying something, and the surroundings suddenly quieted down a lot. Pairs of eyes finally landed on the boy sitting on the ground with complex looks, a mix of schadenfreude, pity, sympathy and compassion, not lacking anything. Seeing that he still didn't have any spirit deity's aura on him, it's known that he gained nothing today, not only did no spirit deity wish to enter his vessel, but he also didn't even manage to communicate and form a pact with a spirit deity. Chen Shu had long been accustomed to such looks, his expression unchanged. Ever since he was identified as without talent or a forsaken person, such looks have always been on him, even treated as a laughing stock. But he just didn't want to stoop to the level of these kids. How could sparrows understand the aspirations of a swan? Chen Shu subconsciously rubbed his left eye, which started itching again more than usual. However, it's worth mentioning that every time after the itch, his vision would improve to some extent. By now, his eye could be said to notice the finest detail from thousands of meters away, he could clearly see a person's face, just like having a high-powered scope. This is almost no different from some who have communicated with far-seeing gods and received the power of sight and even stronger than them. It's soon. Chen Shu could feel that sense of premonition, stronger than ever before. Taking out several bottles of eye drops prescribed from the school's medical office, he applied two drops. Although it's a good change, it's indeed a bit unbearable, these eye drops relieve quite a bit. After he finished applying them and looked up again, the meditation room was empty, except for Yang Jingjing. Chen Shu packed up, bid farewell to Yang Jingjing, and left quickly. Yang Jingjing opened her mouth, but in the end, swallowed her words, saying nothing. 
if she remembered correctly in two days, it would be Chen Shu's 18th birthday, and if he still hasn't formed a pact with a spirit deity, or had a spirit deity enter his vessel by then, he would no longer be qualified to use resources like the meditation room. Even as a senior teacher, she couldn't do anything about it. The school's educational resources also have to be used where they're most needed, and a forsaken person like Chen Shu clearly isn't within the school's nurturing scope. Regarding this Chen Shu is equally clear. The world entered the divine era with the year 2785 as the starting point that year, the highest peak in the world became a spirit deity, a slight movement causing avalanches, speaking like thunder, the mountain ridge is still a forbidden place for humans to this day. In the following years, the birth of spirits spread like a virus, crazily sweeping the world. Mountains became spirits, causing landslides and earth fissures. Rivers became spirits, causing tsunamis and raging waves. Even clouds in the sky became spirits, able to summon lightning to kill or bring torrential rain and snow that could wipe out all life in an area. Wild beasts became spirits, able to speak human language, attracting the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, the essence of the sun and moon to strengthen themselves. Among them, the powerful ones could cause the earth to crack with a roar, affecting people hundreds of miles away. The neighboring country of Tianzhu had a giant elephant become a spirit, its body like a mountain when it spread its form, its trunk could even dry up rivers when it sucked. And then more beings became spirits, strange and varied. Trees, insects and grass could all become spirits. Chen Shu's school had a 400-year-old willow tree become a spirit, teaching without discrimination, often enlightening people, even giving itself the name Liu King, respected by everyone in the school as Mr. Dura Liu, and even given the title of a top-tier teacher, envied by many. The world thus entered the divine era. Spirit masters, inviting gods into their vessels, could control thunder, possessing divine powers. The powerful ones were even visited by thousands of spirit deities at birth, attempting to enter their vessels, gaining immense benefits. There are even individuals with dozens of spirit deities in their vessels, omniscient and omnipotent, able to dry up rivers and seas or bring spring to all plants in an instant. And more people communicate with the dimension, forming pacts with spirit deities. If they can form a pact with a powerful god, they can also borrow the power of the deity. Moving mountains and filling seas is not out of the question. Compared with those who have deities in their vessels, they are not inferior. But neither of these is something Chen Shu can compare to. Normally, no matter what kind of person, even if they can't invite a deity into their vessel to become a deity, communicating with one or two extremely weak or even weaker than human beings themselves and forming a pact is no problem at all. But Chen Shu is just such an individual, neither having a spirit deity come to enter his vessel nor forming a pact with a spirit deity. Chen Shu pushed aside these chaotic thoughts, rubbed his increasingly itchy eyes, and boarded the bus. As he was about to board, Chen Shu was still thinking about what would happen after two days. The meditation room was a great place indeed, as a classmate had mentioned before. Practicing inside for an hour was equivalent to three days of hard cultivation outside. This was also greatly beneficial for Chen Shu. Without the meditation room, his body wouldn't have changed so rapidly, and it might have taken at least three to four years longer. Additionally, with his parents passing away early in this life, leading to a life of poverty, how could he afford the resources for cultivation? The meditation room was his only resource. However, after much thought, he couldn't come up with any ideas. He could only wait and see what changes would occur later. After boarding, he found a window seat and sat down. Chen Shu pulled his coat tighter around him. He was on an old-style bus without air conditioning, crowded with people. He sat by the window, wiping away the condensation with his hand, making the scene outside clearer. Through the blurry window, a reflection of a common-faced teenager around 18 or 19 years old could be seen. He was wearing a simple cotton jacket, his cheeks red from the cold. But his eyes, especially his left eye, were exceptionally bright, clear as if looking into a deep pool resembling a sparkling gem. However, that left eye was slightly red, 
probably a side effect of the itchiness and soreness. Despite this, because of that eye, his ordinary face seemed unusually appealing. Even though he had seen this face for ten years, Chen Shu would often see through this face to a twenty-something young man his appearance from his previous life. Shaking his head, Chen Shu threw these stray thoughts to the back of his mind after all, he had sworn that he would never tell anyone about this, even if it killed him. It's raining, someone said. Chen Shu looked up at the sky. The sky was overcast, with a few scattered clouds tinged with a dull gray, raindrops falling through the air, wetting various parts of the city before converging on the streets and flowing into the drainage system. It was already November, and the temperature had dropped. A winter rain added to the chill, and pedestrians hurried along, though most seemed prepared, holding up umbrellas. Ever since the lake in the center of Shiku City became a spirit deity 18 years ago, the city's rainfall had increased year by year. Originally a small city on the northwest frontier, it now had a bit of the charm of the southern regions beyond the Great Wall. That spirit deity was quite powerful, and many people in Shiku City had made contracts with it, resulting in a multitude of water-based attacks. However, Shiku City was traditionally an energy city with developed industries and coal mining. The continuous drizzle lacked the poetic charm of the regions beyond the Great Wall, instead carrying a sense of dirtiness. The situation had improved somewhat over the past two years, but in the earlier years, raindrops would leave mud spots on one's body that were hard to wash off. Winter became even more difficult to endure. The originally dry and cold north now had an added dampness. Humanity had only entered the divine era a few hundred years ago, but just a single lake becoming a spirit deity had already managed to change the local environment. Sitting quietly on the bus, watching the surrounding environment gradually shift from bustling to desolate, the city was developing northward, but Chen Shu's home was in the southern suburbs. Before long the bus arrived at its stop. Chen Shu got off and navigated a series of turns and two flights of stairs, eventually arriving at an old apartment complex that barely resembled a residential area. The southern suburbs had once thrived when the coal industry was booming. Due to its proximity to several mines, most workers lived here, and with some coal bosses not caring about spending money, the southern suburbs used to be the center of Shiku City. But after the coal industry collapsed, and as workers from all over the country left, the false prosperity of the southern suburbs was completely exposed, leading to its complete decline. Now, the southern suburbs didn't even have a place for tea tasting. The old apartment complex was no exception, with very few residents left, probably at most one-third occupancy, especially recently. Rumors had spread that traces of evil spirits had been seen near the residential area. More exaggerated stories claimed that a solitary elderly person died at home because of such an evil spirit. As a result, many people temporarily moved away. Under these circumstances, it was natural that there would be no property management. But Chen Shu's building was an exception, a five-story flat building with five households living in it. Chen Shu lived on the third floor. As he passed the first floor, a door quietly opened a crack. An old woman with white hair peeked out. Little Shu, back from school. Yeah. Chen Shu replied with a smile. Grandma Zhang, aren't you going out for a walk today? No. The old woman smiled warmly. Do you want to come over for dinner? Chen Shu shook his head. No, thanks. Saying this, he continued upstairs. The old woman's eyes twinkled as she quietly closed the door. The Chen family had seen its share of ups and downs. In the early years, the family managed to run a soul-calming agency with a diary that had gained sentience which was barely considered a divine artifact. They specialized in purifying and transcending souls to prevent the emergence of evil spirits. It was a decent living. But now, they were left with only a slightly simple two-bedroom apartment. However, it was kept very clean. Brother, you're back. Wash your hands. Dinner will be ready soon. A girl who appeared to be in junior high school walked out of the kitchen. 
Unlike Chen Shu's ordinary appearance, Chen Qin seemed to have inherited all the good genes from their parents. Though only 15, she already showed signs of beauty. Why are you back? Chen Shu frowned. School holiday today? Chen Qin shook her head. The school had a half day off. There wasn't much to do, so I came back. Chen Shu glanced at her, immediately noticing she was lying, but didn't call her out on it. Ever since they talked about the presence of evil spirits near their complex, her school had started to have half-day holidays now and then. Chen Shu regretted mentioning it so much he wanted to slap himself. Not only in appearance but also in talent, Chen Qin was entirely different from him. At 13, a pair of chopstick spirits entered her vessel during her communication with the heavens and earth. Later, she also made a contract with the kitchen god. The next year, she was specially recruited by a culinary spirit school. The status of a spirit chef was not low, nourishing spirit deities with culinary skills. A powerful spirit chef, in terms of social status or personal strength, was not inferior to a spirit master. Especially Chen Qin's chopstick spirits, one controlling taste and the other balance, were quite extraordinary. Not to mention, making a contract with the kitchen god, a deity of high rank, was very rare. She could be considered the model of a chosen culinary girl. Now she had already reached the rank of an official spirit master, a true genius. To know, in the entire first middle school, only two students had reached the rank of official spirit master. They were considered geniuses. Although an official spirit master was not among the most powerful, it was already a reserve rank for becoming a roaming spirit master. There's a saying in the world, only by becoming a roaming spirit master can one be considered a true spirit master. Upon reaching the roaming rank, one's strength would undergo a significant increase, including the physical strength of the spirit master's body. Chen Qin's teacher mentioned that because of her outstanding performance, the Spirit Culinary University in the Magic Capital was discussing special recruitment with her. But the girl hadn't mentioned it to him yet. What she was thinking, Chen Shu knew very well. She was worried about who would take care of him if she went to the Magic Capital. In the eyes of others, his situation indeed seemed to require help. Psi. Chen Shu inwardly sighed. They say children from poor families mature early, but in today's society isn't everyone raising their children in abundance? Maturing too early isn't necessarily a good thing. After washing his hands Chen Shu sat down at the dining table. There were only three dishes, two vegetarian and one meat, all made from the most basic ingredients. Yet under Chen Qin's skill they presented a sense of delicacy. Even the simplest rice, steamed by Chen Qin, was translucent and appetizing. Seeing these dishes, Chen Shu knew she must have borrowed some of the kitchen god's power. Such a meal was a significant expenditure for Chen Qin. Besides Chen Qin at the table, there were two special existences, a little girl and a little boy, both about 15 centimeters tall and wearing aprons, looking plump and adorable. They were Chen Qin's deity, the pair of chopstick spirits, one yin and one yang, corresponding to the chopsticks. At the moment, they were drooling over the food on the table. One spirit, two deities, was another reason why Chen Shu always marveled at Chen Qin's talent. Chen Shu had long been accustomed to this after all, he had watched these spirit deities grow up. Chen Qin smiled. Bro, eat up. Seeing her like this, Chen Shu swallowed the words at the tip of his tongue. The meal surpassed all flavors. It must be said, Chen Qin's culinary skills were the best he had ever seen. The table of food almost completely entered Chen Shu's stomach, leaving him feeling warm and satisfied. After a comfortable burp, Chen Shu finally spoke, Yuan Yuan, your cooking skills are getting better and better. Chen Qin's nickname, Pihi. Chen Qin laughed with a hint of regret. Bro, your cooking skills are the impressive ones. The dish you taught me last time even amazed my teacher. If you could communicate with the kitchen god, even without a spirit deity entering your vessel, you would definitely become a very famous spirit chef. Chen Shu waved his hand with a smile. 
I'm still a bit behind you. Chen Qin's words weren't an exaggeration. In his previous life, he was a foodie who didn't smoke, drink, or even play games. His only vice was eating. After coming to this world, this talent seemed to be enhanced, his tongue extremely sensitive to flavors, able to replicate most dishes after just one taste. He had always thought he would eventually pursue a career as a spirit chef. But things didn't go as expected. Watching his sister return to her room, Chen Chu's eyes moved slightly. Sometimes he wished he really had a sister. It's difficult for ordinary people to live in the current society where spirit masters, without a doubt, have an advantage in every field. Not to mention, in all industries, those in high positions are always spirit masters. Ordinary people can only exchange hard work for a modest income, which is why the national birth rate has been declining in recent years. In the end, Chen Shu didn't discuss with his sister about going to school in the magic capital. After all, that was something for next semester. He thought she was worrying too much. Even if he really was the so-called forsaken by the heavens, he had been studying hard since he was young. Setting aside everything else, getting into a decent university wasn't a problem. As for the future, that was really hard to say. Clearing his mind of clutter, Chen Shu started to pay attention to his physical condition. His eyes were really itchy. From coming back from the meditation room today until now, the frequency of his left eye itching had increased, and now it was continuously itchy. It felt like ants crawling inside, unbearably ticklish, accompanied by a slight pain. Far beyond any previous experiences. If he had to describe it, it felt like growing an eyeball. Extremely uncomfortable. Chen Shu went to the mirror to take a closer look. His entire left eye was slightly red, with bloodshot spreading, as if he had been up for several nights in a row. Besides that, there were no other abnormalities. But the itchiness was far beyond any previous time. Even the nightly meditation time he had been maintaining, Chen Shu felt he couldn't keep up. He lay down on the bed, feeling dizzy, and didn't know when he lost consciousness. During the night Chen Shu seemed to have a dream where he was wandering aimlessly in a desert. Somewhere in this desert, something seemed to be drawing him in. He didn't know how long he walked until a huge chasm appeared in front of him, bottomless. He bypassed the chasm and soon came across a high mountain, which he slowly climbed, traveling far. He arrived at a flat land. The thing that had been drawing him was here. Suddenly, the ground shook violently, the soil rolled up as if a dragon was turning beneath it, without raising any dust. The next moment, Chen Shu was stunned to see an eyeball revealed under the rolling soil. That eyeball was incredibly familiar. The next moment, a sharp pain erupted from his body, waking him instantly from the dream. Perhaps because he had just woken up, his senses were not sharp. But his vision was covered in a thick layer of blood. He touched his left eye, looked at his hand, and saw it was covered in blood. Besides that, there was an eyeball, a human eyeball. Not crystal clear, but like a lump of rotten flesh in a pool of blood. Chen Shu hadn't yet processed this when he sat up dazedly and looked at the mirror beside the wardrobe. In the mirror, an ordinary-looking teenager stared back blankly, the left eye socket empty, showing only twisting flesh sprouting inside. Soon at a speed visible to the naked eye, the flesh quickly formed a circle, and in a short moment, a new eyeball grew. It shone with a faint light in the night. As the new eyeball grew, the spirit thoughts from the heavens and earth crazily surged into it. If someone could see it, they would find that the spirit thoughts between heaven and earth were rushing into the eyeball like water into a sponge at an incredibly rapid pace, swelling, tingling, refreshing. Various sensations came from the eyeball, feeling like ants crawling over it or like 10,000 hands gently massaging it. The world through his eyes began to look different. At this moment, Chen Shu felt fantastic. And as the eyeball absorbed the spirit thoughts, Chen Shu could feel streams of power flowing out from his eyes like an endless spring spreading throughout his body in moments. The spirit thoughts from between heaven and earth also spontaneously surged into his body at the same time. 
Chen Shu instantly felt as if his blood was boiling, with power bursting from within the spirit thoughts, rapidly coursing through his organs as if it were the best tonic in the world, crazily penetrating into his bones and muscles. His body was being refined from the inside out, with his organs burning like a huge flame, like a furnace, madly absorbing this energy, growing stronger non-stop. Under this power, the density of his bones rapidly increased. If human bones were originally like raw iron, then in a short time, Chen Shu's bones became like refined steel, forged and tempered a million times, and the changes in his muscles were even more obvious. Although Chen Shu had been reasonably fit, he was only as strong as an average student. But in this moment, his previously flat abdomen developed defined abs, his chest became fuller, and his arms grew more robust. He was almost a completely different person. Crack. Suddenly, a series of bone-cracking sounds echoed from Chen Shu's body, forming a continuous chain. The spirit thoughts in the air swarmed into him, and his skin turned red as if he were a cooked shrimp, with steam rising from his body, making him look like he was sitting in a mist. Chen Chu suddenly stood up, his bones making continuous cracking sounds like fireworks, his right fist swinging out with a whoosh, creating a gust of wind, the force of his punch rolling up the bedding on his bed, turning the room into a whirlwind of chaos. With each punch and kick, he now had the strength of a thousand pounds. If it weren't for the soundproofing enhancements his father had made to the old house, such noise would probably have woken up his sister in the next room. But Chen Shu's eyes sparkled. Bone cracking sounds, fist wind like thunder. This is a characteristic sign of the physical body reaching the roaming god stage. Just by changing his eye, his strength had already reached the roaming god stage. Though it was the lowest rank of spirit gods, his power was not low at all. To know, their class teacher, a senior teacher who had practiced for decades, is only a roaming spirit master. Like spirit gods from the bottom to the top, there are six ranks. Roaming god rank. Spirit god rank. Realm god rank. Yin god rank. Yang God Rank True God Rank These are the ranks of deities humans have come into contact with so far, with each major rank further subdivided into smaller ranks. Like the Kitchen God, it belongs to the Yang God Rank, a high-ranking deity, but also one of the more active deities. And Spirit Masters are divided into ranks like Roaming Spirit Master, Spirit God Master, based on the strength of their spirit thoughts or mental power. But to date, there has never been a true god master heard of, and even reaching the young god rank is just rumored, with whether it has been achieved still debated. And the vast majority of people can't even reach the rank of an official spirit master in their lifetime. Above the official spirit master is the roaming spirit master. A roaming god-level deity with thunderous fist wind is just the minimum standard. Some more powerful ones can even withstand bullets and cannon fire, smashing tanks with a punch. Chen Shu, although not yet able to smash tanks with a punch, could easily break through ordinary steel plates. If hit on a human body, it would likely create a huge hole. Roaming God Rank The Roaming God Rank is also known as the Door God Rank or Household God Rank. Although it's the lowest rank of spirit god, its power is absolutely not low, far beyond human imagination. Moreover, this is just the power of the physical body. And as he calmed down, Chen Shu realized a problem. It was pitch dark outside, but in his vision, everything was incredibly clear. It would be an exaggeration to say it was like daylight, but it was more like seeing through fire, even clearer than during the day. Turning to look in the mirror, the darkness reflected a perfect body, about 1-8 meters tall, with proportions as if measured by a ruler. His bare upper body showed sculpted lines, not exaggerated, but seemingly full of explosive power. His body, too, had changed. The change brought not only an increase in strength and appearance, but also a significant change in temperament a sense of transcendence, especially his eyes, which, besides the usual clarity, had an added sense of nobility. Indeed, the roaming god rank is already beyond the mundane. Closing his right eye, Chen Shu looked at the world as if for the first time, 
everything clear as if transparent, the slightest wood grain on the desk, the lines of moonlight seeping through the parting clouds, everything in his sight became incredibly clear. His gaze then shifted, walls became transparent under his gaze, soundproofing cotton bricks, and then his sister sitting cross-legged in front of the bed, practicing. Along with that, Chen Shu could directly see the two chopstick spirits inside Chen Qin's body. As if sensing Chen Shu's gaze, Da Bao and Er Bao emerged from Chen Qin's body. The two little spirits looked around but found nothing unusual. He withdrew his gaze. He had gained the ability to see the essence through the surface. Chen Shu maximized the ability of his left eye. Everything became transparent in an instant, passing through walls, buildings, streets, trees, gliding past the shops at the side gate of the complex, eventually reaching an old factory thousands of meters away. There, Chen Shu's gaze reached its limit, unable to go further. He circled the factory with his gaze, finding nothing but a few shivering homeless people. He remembered this place, it had started construction a long time ago, but ended up as an unfinished factory due to the owner's bankruptcy. It had remained that way, without a new buyer. From his location, the direct distance was nearly 5,000 meters. Until Chen Shu felt his eyes begin to sour, he withdrew his gaze, the images retreating like a giant light tunnel, instantly returning to his bedroom. Huh? Chen Shu frowned, as he withdrew his gaze, he seemed to see a shadow wriggling in a part of the factory. It looked like an evil spirit, Chen Shu took another look, it was indeed ugly, so he didn't look any further. With a thought, spirit thoughts from the void came, merging into his eye, and the previously sore I felt much better immediately. In the following time Chen Shu, like a child with a new toy, tirelessly used his ability, from thousands to tens of thousands of meters, from humans to objects, even catching a few scenes not meant for prying eyes. From his bedroom as the center, he nearly saw everything within thousands of meters radius. Until he felt a wave of fatigue, Chen Shu finally calmed down. He went to the desk and took out a thin notebook from a locked cabinet. Although very thin, the notebook seemed like it could never be fully flipped through. It was the sentient notebook mentioned before, often called the Soul Calming Book of course, after his parents passed away, it became Chen Shu's diary. The title page read, Rational thinking will ultimately destroy a person's soul, whereas forsaking rationality grants immense power. Opening a new page, Chen Shu wrote with a pen, his handwriting flowing like a dragon. November 4, 2099, 4M. My eye has become divine. Of course, if this world doesn't have something called a period of eye change, I feel fantastic. The ability my left eye presides over should belong to the Farsight series, able to penetrate objects and reach afar. Currently, my vision's limit should be 10,000 meters, but when penetrating objects, the limit decreases depending on the number and density of the objects. Besides, I also have the ability to see the spirit deities inside a human body. Also, my dynamic vision has almost reached a freakish level, but without corresponding reaction ability, it's of little use. Overall, I should now be at the early roaming god stage. I can't yet assess the changes in physical strength, I'll find time to test it at a martial arts gym later. But now, only my left eye has become divine, my body is still mortal, at most considered a demigod. Writing this, Chen Shu left a question. Then he closed the notebook, suppressed the ecstasy in his heart, and fell into thought. The number of spirit deities presiding over eyes is not small but eyes alone can be classified into countless categories, and the Far Sight series is among the most adaptable and has the most deities. The most famous include the Realm God Rank, Thousand Miles Eye, and the Eagle God. Chen Shu's Thousand Miles, I felt quite different from the Realm God Rank, Thousand Miles Eye, perhaps just focusing on different aspects. Of course, they are incomparable for now. Legend has it that a yin god master borrowing the power of the thousand miles I can see the heavens above and hell below, clear even across tens of thousands of kilometers. 
Although it's not a terrifying power, the Thousand Miles Eye itself is a very strong auxiliary ability. Whether exploring secret realms or divine kingdoms, what technology can achieve is very limited. The Thousand Miles Eye's excellent scouting ability is highly sought after, and people specifically seek corresponding divine objects to make contracts with spirit deities. Chen Shu was quite satisfied with this ability. Moreover, he is only at the early stage of the roaming god rank for now. Who knows what changes will occur as he becomes stronger. And it's just one left eye for now. But this achievement of becoming a demigod brought more surprises than just that. Chen Shu's gaze returned to the desk. On the desk was his detached eyeball. Just a few minutes ago Chen Shu watched as his detached eyeball within half an hour became completely inactive as if it had gone through several years in that half hour, withering and shriveling up but not rotting away. Finally, it transformed into a lump of jet black, bright crystal about the size of a baby's fist. From it, Chen Shu sensed a strong aura of a divine shed object, entirely identical to him. The so-called divine shed object is actually a medium for communicating with deities. To date, no one has been able to prove exactly how divine shed objects are formed, whether they are remnants of a spirit deity or part of a body. But now, Chen Shu has confirmed one of the theories. So far, the methods of inviting gods that Chen Shu has encountered can roughly be divided into four types. The first is through simple meditation and breathing techniques, emptying oneself and placing oneself within the whole world, absorbing the spirit thoughts present everywhere between heaven and earth to strengthen oneself. This process can also be called inviting gods into the vessel, where if a spirit deity is willing, it can enter the vessel. Of course, spirit masters who already have a spirit deity in their vessel use this process as a mutual aid in cultivation. The second is by opening one's own spirit thoughts to communicate with spirit deities in the dimension and form contracts, thereafter being able to use spirit thoughts to borrow the power of spirit deities for various miraculous deeds. The third is through the use of a specific divine shed object, which can directly communicate with a spirit deity, almost always succeeding in forming a contract. The fourth is nurturing deities, the most difficult method but also often heard of. For example, three generations of a family carefully tending to a plant for decades, which might one day become a spirit deity and directly enter the vessel of a family member, becoming a family spirit deity, embodying the efforts of nearly three generations. For instance, in Chen Shu's family, there was a pig slaughtering knife used by three generations, although no anomalies have been observed with it to date. This is just the part about inviting gods. The matter of cultivation is naturally not so simple. For those with a spirit deity in their vessel, as long as the spirit deity is powerful enough, there are unique cultivation methods, which we won't delve into here and a divine shed object itself is a very precious item. Calling it a treasure is not an overstatement, each one commanding a high price, especially for those extremely powerful and special spirit deities, which can only be communicated with through a divine shed object, making divine shed objects even more valuable. More importantly, a divine shed object is a sustainable item. It can be treated as a family heirloom, passed down from generation to generation. Chen Shu once heard that one of the most prosperous families today, the Yao family, owns a medicinal cauldron as a divine shed object which can directly contact a Yang god rank medicine god. As a result, every direct descendant in their family is a medicine spirit master, plus several pharmaceutical conglomerates covering all aspects of medicine, extremely prosperous. Of course. Divine shed objects also have different levels, with the price varying greatly from high to low. For high-level divine shed objects, their value is incalculable, like the medicinal cauldron of the Yao family, a young god rank divine shed object. If it were really put up for auction, it would be beyond what money can measure. In the current market, a roaming god rank divine shed object is priced around a million, and if its abilities are rare and unusual, its value can fluctuate upwards significantly. 
Chen Shu carefully examined his divine shed object. The entire crystal felt incredibly smooth to the touch, emanating a slight coolness. Holding it quietly in his hand, there was a peculiar sense of severance, as if it shouldn't exist in this world. This is the most notable characteristic of a divine shed object. And the good news is, Chen Shu's divine shed object was extremely intact, without a single bit of wear or damage, which is very rare. You know, sustainable as they may be, even mines run out eventually, much less a small divine shed object. And the bad news is, the price of a completely intact roaming god rank divine shed object, aside from some added value as a collectible, won't change. Another piece of good news, Chen Shu had no plans to sell. Who would sell a hen that lays golden eggs just to exchange it for silver coins? Price is one thing, but whether someone sells is another. Surely no one actually sells divine shed objects, right? No way, no way. Chen Shu directly opened the Spirit Master app. This is an app independently developed by the Spirit Master Association, the only one of its kind, covering all aspects of Spirit Masters, from cultivation resources, secret realm guides, trading to inviting gods, recruiting team members, and more. Currently, many features are inaccessible to Chen Shu due to low permissions, he is still considered a common person, not even an apprentice spirit master. In essence, as long as you have enough permission and chips, you can find anything you want here. However, Chen Shu didn't care and clicked on the Inviting Gods tab, and under it, several submodules appeared. He directly selected the Divine Shed Objects page. Instantly. The Divine Shed Objects page opened, showing rows of posts like a forum. Buying hash high price for defense type spirit deity Divine Shed Object Communication Opportunity. Buying hash high price for fire attribute spirit deity Divine Shed Object Communication Opportunity, any quality. Buying hash high price for weather changing ability spirit deity divine shed object communication opportunity. Selling hash one wood attribute roaming god rank divine shed object. Single communication for 200,000 no bargaining pick up in person. Selling hash roaming god rank divine shed object. Single communication for 300,000 selection in store. Selling hash spirit god rank divine shed object, single communication for one four million, comprehensive attributes, details in private chat. Chen Shu smiled. This is the correct way to handle divine shed objects. As a sustainable resource, divine shed objects are like a treasure mine that won't run out in the short term, obviously best used for business. Spirit masters have many ways to make money, but it's also true that it's an incredibly costly profession. Whether it's cultivation resources, heavenly materials and earthly treasures, or equipment and divine shed objects, none of them are cheap, not something an ordinary family can afford. There's a statistic online that just moving from an apprentice spirit master to a roaming spirit master costs millions. But relatively speaking, the business of spirit masters is the easiest to do especially the business of divine shed objects. It's entirely a seller's market. Spirit masters are very keen on communicating with spirit deities, and there will always be times when they can't communicate with the deities they want. That's when the importance of divine shed objects becomes apparent. Many lucky ones have made fortunes because of divine shed objects, reaching the pinnacle of their lives. After pondering for a moment, Chen Shu posted his first trade information on the interface. Selling hash roaming. God rank far sight category thousand miles, I divine shed object 200,000 for one communication. In addition, he added a lot of specific abilities, such as thousand miles I, x-ray vision, dynamic vision, etc., described quite in detail. Then, he put down his phone. If all goes well, there will undoubtedly be many requests for trade tomorrow, and then it's just a matter of contacting them. He had checked the prices for far sight category divine shed object communications, surprisingly high. Such a broadly applicable ability, especially since far sight deities are scarce, the price is even higher than those of attack type spirit deities. Chen Shu set a relatively low price. However, this time, he was more interested in testing one thing. 
that is whether he could communicate with spirit masters, even form a contract. Perhaps due to the changes in his body, Chen Shu hadn't felt the slightest bit of sleepiness, or rather, since his body began to change, he needed less and less sleep. But also because of nearly 20 hours of wakefulness a day, Chen Shu had more time to do things, balancing everything quite well. Otherwise, with the complex courses and academics in this world, he really couldn't manage everything. Russell at that moment, the pages of Chen Shu's diary on the desk began to flip as if moved by an invisible hand, rustling non-stop. What appeared to be just a thin layer, barely twenty pages, now seemed like it would never end. Finally, the diary stopped on a brand new blank page. Words appeared, written in the same handwriting as Chen Shu's usual writing. Do not open the door at midnight. Everything has spirituality. The all things mentioned here are not limited to those created by heaven and earth, since the age of divinity. How many things can become gods? Whether it is a flower, a dog, a painting, or even a piece of cosmetics kept at home, or a tape recorder, a television, or a car, there are precedents for them to become gods. Tables, chairs, and benches can all become gods. There are also different types of gods. Those who are good at speaking can develop wisdom while those who are speechless can become divine weapons. Chen Shu's Diary It is an artifact. The specific manifestation is, no matter how much I write, I can't finish it. If that's all, it can only be regarded as a stepless weapon. Although it is not common, it is not very common. In the age of divinity, there are too many artifacts like this on the internet, and their actual value is lower than the collection value, such as endless pen to write endless coke to drink lighter that never goes out smoking for a lifetime rolling pin that can be thickened weight. The collection prices also range from around 1 million. Of course, if you are willing to wait for hundreds of years, there may be a slight chance that you can wait until the artifact upgrades itself. At best, it can only be called an endless notebook. In terms of actual value, I am afraid it is not as good as a mobile phone. After all, mobile phone memory is slightly larger now. If you just write, I may not be able to finish writing in a lifetime. It is naturally not that simple that the Chen family's soul-soaking book can be used by parents to calm their souls and even became famous for a period of time. My parents passed away suddenly, and I am not very clear about many things. Most of them are still being explored. It's just that this soul book also has an early warning function, which means that when an evil spirit appears nearby, a line of words will appear to give an early warning. Not to mention anything else, just with this function, the Book of Souls can be regarded as a white-level artifact. The value is hard to say. Chen Shu will never sell it. It's like knock on the door in the middle of the night, don't open it. The meaning is also very simple. That is to say, in the middle of the night, something will knock on the door, so just don't open it. The southern suburbs are sparsely populated, and this early warning technique has only been encountered five times so far, and has been avoided every time. Shortly after he avoided it, officials would report a similar, trouble incident. The magic of the Book of Souls has been confirmed time and time again. The Chen family has a motto, Curiosity killed the cat. Chen Shu decided to make a decision that went against his ancestors. Dong dong dong. Dong dong dong. Dong dong dong. In another building several hundred meters away from Chen Shu's building, the man was knocking on the door from door to door. In the dark night, it was difficult to see his face clearly. Only when the moonlight shone on his face, his pale face became more and more gloomy and malicious. The knock on the door sounded far away in the quiet night, but no one answered the door after a while. The man turned around and knocked on the door of 102 again. Dong dong dong. Dong dong dong. After a long while, still no one answered the door. The man's eyes were calm and he turned around and walked upstairs. Come to gate 201. Dong dong dong. Dong dong dong. There was a knock on the door. There was a noise in the house. The man's hand on the door suddenly paused. He leaned his ear against the door, 
as if he heard the noise and couldn't help but reveal an excited smile on his face. In places that cannot be seen in the middle of the night, there seems to be a black mist that gradually fills and covers it, and finally seems to cover the entire night. He stretched out his hand. He knocked on the door again and called softly. Is there anyone there? The voice was hoarse like the sound of iron objects clashing. No one answered. Excuse me, is there anyone inside? The sound is still ringing, but there is still no answer. But there were bursts of cha-cha-cha sounds in the house, like the sound of iron objects being rubbed. Excuse me, is there anyone inside? The voice also became sharper. Is there anyone? Is there anyone? Is there anyone? Along with it, there was a knock on the door, which became louder and louder, like a giant hammer banging wildly on the door. As he exerted more force, the door suddenly bounced off the wall and opened a gap. The man lowered his head. It was then that he discovered that the lock of the door was bent as if it had been hit by a giant hammer, as if it had been violently destroyed from the outside. No, it was more like it was twisted with great force than it was opened by a giant hammer. The man couldn't care about this for a while. With a smile on his face, he made a crazy voice. I'm coming in. The door was completely opened. But in the scattered hall, I saw a young man sitting there, holding a thick and long butcher knife in his hand, sharpening the knife slowly and slowly. There was a clicking sound, and the moonlight was cunning, and the blade of the knife reflected the light. Seeing him come in, the young man raised his head, his left eye flashed with a light as deep as the sea, and he grinned. The man's smile faltered. Under the glance of these eyes, he felt as if he was completely seen from the inside out, as if he was completely transparent. Wandering God? Not waiting for him to speak. The floor under Chen Shu's feet suddenly exploded. The figure appeared in front of the man in an instant like a ghost. The next moment, the blood energy on the butcher's knife exploded and turned into a sharp light, tearing through the sound barrier and making a screaming sound. His body was torn in half in an instant. However, there was no blood flowing out. Instead, bursts of black mist erupted, followed by a shrill scream. Amid the screams, there seemed to be sounds of crying, the sudden crying of children, and the screaming of women. These sounds were all connected together as if to infinitely amplify the fear in people's hearts. Those who are timid may be dragged into the abyss by fear just by listening to these sounds. Chen Shu's blood surged and his eyes showed endless courage. He snorted coldly and the continuous crying sound in his mind suddenly stopped like a duck being pinched by the neck. Chen Shu's hand didn't stop, and the butcher's knife slashed out with the force of the big knife, like a strong wind and rain, almost forming an afterimage densely covering the space, and a strong wind blew up between the slashes, chopping wildly on the body of the evil spirit. There was no sight of blood flying, just layers of black mist bursting out and flying. The cry became weaker and weaker, and finally became silent completely disappeared into the air. So weak? Chen Shu muttered twice. It is an evil spirit that has not yet formed, so its strength will naturally not be much stronger. At this moment, a thin white mist appeared out of thin air, groped its way into Chen Shu's body, and then disappeared without a trace like a mud cow entering the sea. Chen Shu has not yet recovered from this change. Suck! At the same time, the book of souls that fell on the ground was emitting some faint light, and something invisible to the naked eye in the space was slowly absorbed on a blank page. The handwriting jumped up one by one and finally slowly condensed into two lines, level, extremely low. Quietly, he returned to his home. Put the butcher knife away. Not feeling sleepy at all, Chen Shu turned over. Opened the book of souls. The latest page. Fear. Level. Extremely low. The two words were clearly there. Even the handwriting is exactly the same as Chen Shu's usual. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it, but today it is indeed. Just as his thoughts flickered, a spiritual light seemed to pour into Chen Shu's mind. Fear. This is probably the emotion or energy that is most likely to breed evil spirits. 
the number of spiritual gods responsible for fear is unknown, but so far it seems that no god has completely mastered fear and become the only true god responsible for this function. The power of emotions is the most difficult to master, but it has to be said that the spirit god who controls emotions is definitely not weak. It is an instinctive reaction of human beings when facing strangeness, unknown or danger, and the birth of spirit is good at using this instinct to seduce and control. In the face of fear, humans often lose their minds and make wrong choices. But in the same way, fear breeds many evil spirits, but their strength is often only average. The level displayed is extremely low. This is probably because the evil spirit that was killed just now is the lowest level among the evil spirits. But what's the use? Chen Shu wondered, if we just record the evil spirits killed, there is no need to make such a big show of it. Thinking in his mind, Chen Shu gently touched it with his hand. Just as Chen Shu's hand lightly touched it, suddenly. Buzz. The Book of Souls began to vibrate slightly. Chen Shu looked down and saw that the originally ordinary words seemed to be distorted again, turning into obscure runes. It was unclear what kind of strange phenomenon they were. And the next moment, uh-huh, thought seemed to rush into Chen Shu's mind. Suddenly, it seemed as if darkness had fallen before his eyes, and he seemed to be pulled into a space. When Chen Shu reacted, the surroundings were filled with thick darkness, a deep night. He looked around, and fortunately his eyes seemed to be filled with light. Wherever he could see, he could see an unfamiliar bedroom with simple decorations and posters of several celebrity priests on the wall. But in the middle of the night, there was a hint of terror in the empty eyes on the poster. No matter from any angle, the eyes seemed to have been staring at Chen Shu lying on the bed. It's like a statue of a god in a temple late at night. Chen Shu stretched out his hand, but he only saw a half-sized hand with extremely thin arms and legs, as if he had returned to when he was seven or eight years old. Is it just that the consciousness has entered this space? My body is actually still on the bed. Chen Shu felt inexplicably nervous, but he still analyzed it calmly. Does the Book of Souls still have this ability? No wonder my parents, two ordinary people, can live like a duck in water. Although the function of this ability is not yet known, the ability to pull a wandering god directly into an illusion is enough to prove that the Book of Souls is not simple. Chen Shu wanted to move, but his body seemed to be imprisoned on the bed. No matter how much he wanted to move, he remained motionless. The night is getting deeper and deeper, and there is a hint of silence in the air. I don't know if it was an illusion, but Chen Shu seemed to see the poster on the wall turn several times in the middle of the night and finally looked back strangely, staring hard at Chen Shu. Even though Chen Shu prided himself on being extremely courageous, seeing such a weird scene still made him feel a little numb. The body turned into that of a seven- or eight-year-old child and fear kept appearing in his mind as if there were whispers in his ears and messy thoughts filled his mind. Dong dong dong. At this moment, there was a knock on the door. Chen Shu's heartbeat seemed to slow down by half a beat, and it was at this moment that Chen Shu discovered that his body could actually move. Dong dong dong. The knock on the door still sounded unhurriedly. Dong dong dong. But at this time, Chen Shu was horrified to find that his body was walking towards the door uncontrollably. Dong dong dong. Anyone there? Finally, Chen Shu still walked to the door, but fortunately he didn't open the door directly. Instead, he placed a small stool on the ground beside him. Standing on the small stool, he still had to stand on tiptoe to see the peephole. He leaned in front of the cat. It was pitch dark in front of the door. He shook his eyes. The distance of vision gradually widened and an eye appeared, followed by a pale and bloodless face. He was pressing against the door, looking at Chen Shu. I saw you. Grass. The next moment. The space twisted and Chen Shu returned to his bedroom again. He lowered his head and looked at the Book of Souls. I saw that the word fear that was originally clearly visible has become a lot blurry at this time, 
and even the color has become dim, as if it will disappear after two more times. At this time, Chen Shu also discovered. My eyes seemed a little different. There is a weak power hidden deep in the right eye, like a seed, waiting to break through the ground and sprout. That is the control of the power of fear. After Si Jai's clairvoyant left eye, it was as if he had accumulated a lot of energy. Tonight, Chen Shu's right eye seemed to have touched a hint of fear of Si Jai's ability. In other words, the Book of Souls can also help me control some abilities that I don't currently have. Suppress the ecstasy in my heart. Chen Shu calmed down. Enter the soul book again. After entering the space three times in a row, the fonts in front of him gradually disappeared and finally disappeared completely. Chen Shu found that no matter how many times he tried, he could not control his body. More like a bystander watching movies repeatedly. But in that state, his senses seemed to be maximized, especially the emotion of fear. Even though it was the third time he had entered, even though he knew what would happen next, the fear still lingered in Chen Shu's mind like a gangrene attached to his bones. Chen Shu walked to the mirror and looked at it carefully for a while. There was no big change in his right eye. It's just obvious that these changes alone are not enough to make Chen Shu's right eye deified, but some changes are often subtle changes. Chen Shu was not in a hurry. He has plenty of time. Sitting cross-legged, my mind gradually sank, finally reaching the lowest point and beginning to become peaceful. Gradually, Chen Shu's breathing began to become gentler, and his chest rose and fell slowly in a certain order. He just sat there quietly, but it seemed to have a certain charm, as if he was gradually becoming more and more familiar with the situation. The surroundings seemed to be completely integrated. Heaven, earth, and man are one. Chen Shu slowly sensed the spiritual thoughts that filled the world. Countless thoughts were chaotic, and the spiritual thoughts in them were also full of mixed meanings. They could not be absorbed directly at all. He needed to extract the pure spiritual thoughts like peeling off cocoons, and finally turned into his own body. And this is the precious thing about the meditation room. In the meditation room, the spiritual thoughts everywhere in the world will become purified, and the step of removing impurities will be eliminated during practice and absorption. Naturally, practice will get twice the result with half the effort. Only this time it's completely different. Chen Shu could feel that his thoughts seemed to have turned into a pair of hands. Just with the flicker of his thoughts, the impurities were removed from the spiritual thoughts of heaven and earth, and a pure spiritual thought was drawn out, which was absorbed into the body in an instant. Middle Immediately afterwards, this spiritual thought poured into his left eye again and then disappeared with another spiritual thought. Chen Shu looked for it on his own, but he didn't know where it poured in. Chen Shu opened his eyes in surprise, with a hint of huge surprise in his eyes. At the same time, his left eye could also feel a sense of coolness and comfort. The results of just this short moment of practice are already worth an hour on weekdays. It's like absorbing spiritual thoughts in the past by eating with tweezers, eating one grain at a time. But now it's like grabbing it with your hands and stuffing it into your mouth. The progress between the two is completely different. Early morning. Chen Shu woke up from practice. When he opened his eyes, there seemed to be light flowing under his left eye and then it became introverted after a moment. But even if he restrained himself, those eyes still looked so clear, adding a lot of color to Chen Shu's whole person. One night passed, and Chen Shu experienced the unprecedented joy of practicing. This night alone was worth more than half a month of practicing on weekdays. He could even feel that he seemed to have become stronger, his spiritual sense was abundant, and his left eye ability was activated, and he could actually see dozens of meters further than yesterday. After habitually using it and looking around, Chen Shu withdrew his power with satisfaction. Practice is indeed useful. Getting stronger is indeed addictive. When he looked in the mirror, Chen Shu felt that he looked better, not sure if it was an illusion. What was originally just an ordinary appearance can be seen to be somewhat delicate. Appearance has always been a major regret in Chen Shu's heart. Speaking of his sister being pretty, he shouldn't be so ordinary. 
there are really many benefits to being handsome. According to statistics, people with slightly better looks also have certain blessings in praying to God. In addition, he has not made many friends in these years and he is still bullied in school. Thinking of the film and television works he has seen before, especially school dramas, the bullied male protagonists all have handsome faces. The technique just feels like a show. He didn't know about girls, but boys were in school. There are two types of people who live well, one is handsome and good at studying, and the other is handsome but bad at studying. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with being handsome. Who would bully a handsome guy when they have nothing to do? Putting on clothes to cover his explosive muscles, he stretched slightly and heard a crackling sound. Chen Shu turned to look at himself in the mirror and whispered encouragement. Eighteen years old, afraid of school violence. Walk out the door. My sister seemed to have gotten up early to go to school again. Chen Shu was already used to this kind of thing, so he simply made some breakfast and went out. Although it is early in the morning. But there are still no people in the community. In recent days, news about evil spirits has been rampant. More and more people have temporarily moved out, and it seems more and more deserted. Even the uncles and aunts who usually get up early for exercise are rarely seen, individual. He took the morning bus as usual. The bus was very empty. He chose a window seat. After sitting down, Chen Shu turned on his mobile phone. Click on the God Master app. Sure enough, it was not beyond his expectation. One night passed, and Chen Shu received more than a dozen private messages. Chen Shu clicked through them one by one to check them out. Earthly world? 200,000? Where are you? I can go there today. I want to become a true god at the age of 18. The ability of clairvoyance? I can go there today. The stove lord never cooks. Are you there? What time do you trade? The Shenshi app uses real name authentication, coupled with transaction transparency and protection, so it is always safe. Of course, there is no conflict between online name and real name authentication. Chen Shu didn't do everyone's business. After choosing for a while, he finally focused on two people. One male and one female. The two of them have one thing in common, that is, they are both at the level of the wandering god master. Relatively speaking, they are both within the controllable range of Chen Shu to avoid some accidents. After all, there are many desperados in this world. I have broken the law and hid in the secret realm of the ruins for more than 10 or 20 years. I have heard a lot of this kind of thing in focus interviews. Click on their homepage. Apparently, they have all been set up to be viewable by sellers and have not been blocked. The man's online name is I want to be a real god at the age of 18. The homepage is very clean. The profile picture is that of a young man looking like a college student. There is nothing noteworthy about it. The girl's online name is Backy Little Snake Snake. There are a lot of selfies and other updates on the homepage. Although there are small characters in the online name, it does look quite big. The Shenshi app has a full range of functions and the social function is one of them, and it is very well done at least in terms of customer experience, even if compared with various social software in previous lives, Chen Shu could not find one that could beat it. It must be said that there are still many talents in this world. This can be regarded as dispelling Chen Shu's original idea of becoming a rich man like a copywriter. After all, no matter how he developed in his previous life, he was still within the scope of human beings. But now we have reached the realm of God. Just like some famous writers, their souls in the bottle are some literati and poets who have left their names in history. And there are even conceptual gods of calligraphy and gods of pens. Even if he has no fighting ability, his auxiliary abilities are equally astonishing. Not to mention the outpouring of ideas, he can definitely greatly improve his writing imagination. Chen Shu had been fortunate enough to read some books, and he had to lament that there are indeed words in this world that make people ask themselves at a glance that it would be difficult to write them. Back to business. Chen Shu sent messages to the two of them one by one, and the replies they received were very quick. They were obviously waiting. 
Wait until Chen Shu gets off the car. He has already contacted the two of them for the next time. The boy happens to be not far from him and can arrive today while the girl has an appointment the day after tomorrow. After exchanging mobile phone numbers, the two of them happily placed orders one after another. After the transaction, the money was transferred to Chen Shu's card. Money and silk touch people's hearts. Even Chen Shu couldn't help but feel a little dazed and emotional when he thought that in the blink of an eye, he would be able to earn 400,000 yuan in at least two days. After all, he had lived in poverty for too long. He rarely saw even five-figure money, let alone six-figure money. He wanted to work-study, but in fact he couldn't compete with it. However, such emotions were suppressed by Chen Shu in the blink of an eye. His heart was as calm as a clear pool that never saw wind and waves. It had wrinkles occasionally, but it could calm down in a moment. Entered the school gate. Although Shiku City no. One middle school is only a key high school in the city, it is not weaker than any provincial key high school or even worse. As a former energy city, money was so easy to make in that era. After making money, local coal bosses often liked to focus on the education of their children. Shiku no. One middle school was established in that era. This donation point, that donation point, plus the fact that the workers are all our own, the construction site is our own, and the materials used are absolutely not stingy, this school is quite luxurious. When it was at its peak, many people from other provinces spent a lot of money to send their children here. Although the entire city is inevitably going downhill, the quality of education and supporting facilities have not declined much. At least as far as Chen Shu knows, there are only two public schools in the province equipped with a meditation room. No, one middle school is one of them. As for private schools, there is no need to say more about those. Walk all the way into the classroom. The moment Chen Shu entered the classroom, the entire classroom seemed to be quiet. Just because Chen Shu barely concealed his own aura, the aura that belonged exclusively to the Divine Master was too obvious. It has been several years since he was called the Abandoned Person. No one would have thought that Chen Shu would suddenly become a Divine Master on an ordinary morning. Especially this breath, it is obvious that it can only be revealed after the spirit enters the bottle. For a moment, everyone was almost stunned on the spot. Chen Chen Shu? Have you become a divine master? It wasn't until Chen Shu sat down that his deskmate Lai Jinkai woke up from a dream and asked anxiously with a pale face. Um. Chen Shu nodded. It's a fluke. A big thing happened in class 3 and 4 today. Chen Shu, who has been unable to recruit gods for three consecutive years and was even said to be a forsaken man who will never have any good development in the future, has become a divine master today. This has to be said to be big news. So much so that during class, not to mention the students in the same class, even the substitute teacher would look at Chen Shu from time to time. In the past, most people would just laugh at the jokes and take pleasure in others' misfortunes. At this time, it was hard to tell what kind of emotions were in their eyes, and Chen Shu didn't care much about them. As his body changes, Chen Shu's senses have become more sensitive over the years, and he seems to be able to detect other people's eyes, and sometimes he can even feel others mention his name. Especially after the changes last night, his senses have become more sensitive, and even his sixth sense is extremely sensitive, almost reaching the category of ability. Just like now, he seemed to hear someone talking secretly. Have you noticed? Chen Shu seems to have become more handsome. Did you notice it too? I thought I was the only one who felt this way. It seems that I have really become more beautiful than before, and it is much more pleasing to the eye. And don't you think his temperament has changed? There is a, how should I put it, nobility? I've never heard of a god who has the ability to do this. That's because you are ignorant and ignorant. You don't know this, it is said that. Did Chen Shu really become a divine master? Could there be some manipulation? 
After so many years without success, you suddenly got the qualification for the meditation room with only two days left. Isn't this too fake? Who knows? But he shouldn't have this ability, right? No matter what, he has been lagging behind for too many years. Even if he invites God now, he is actually a waste. Don't pay attention to him. Would you like to try him out later? Don't mess around. It was obviously just a whisper, and the voice was extremely low. Even if you were sitting next to you and didn't listen carefully, you might hear it wrong. But once he talked about himself, the voice seemed to be speaking word by word in Chen Shu's ear, allowing him to hear everything clearly. Chen Shu once heard that there is a powerful god who cannot be seen, heard, or asked about. Don't even call him by his first name. Because there are gods with evil nature, if you call them by their names, you will be able to sense them even from thousands of miles away and then follow the sound. It will be a tragedy where it is easy to invite the gods but difficult to send them away. This kind of thing has not happened before in human history. Therefore, few gods' real names have been spread to the outside world. This is probably also one of Chen Shu's abilities. Otherwise, even if he has reached the wandering god level, he should not be able to hear such a small voice so clearly. It is simply reading in his ears. Chen Shu turned his head slightly, first glanced at the two girls who said he was handsome, and then turned his attention to the last few people who spoke. They were several young men, all around 17 or 18 years old. One of them had a vaguely submissive attitude. When they saw Chen Shu, they all looked like they were grinning. There are probably such people in every class in every school in the world. Calling them a school bully is a bit exaggerated. The analogy in the past life was probably the bad level of sneaking out to smoke in the toilet after class. I am a bit bad, but not completely bad. I bully my classmates and get into fights, but I am also afraid to ask my parents. From the perspective of those who have experienced it, Chen Shu has never cared about these children. Chen Shu has always been considered invisible in the class. He just studies honestly, does his own thing honestly, and doesn't provoke anyone. It just so happens that there is a group of people who have nothing to do but to show their superiority in front of you. Among them, the one who does this most is Liang Zhijia. Because there were some quarrels, the two of them never dealt with each other. From then on, this person often made sarcastic remarks about Chen Shu, causing Chen Shu, who was originally quite comfortable in the class, to live an uncomfortable life. But it can be considered peaceful. But Zhu saw Chen Shu's pheasant turn into a phoenix today, and his sense of superiority once again took hold. In these few classes alone, Chen Shu heard voices rushing to take care of him several times. Chen Shu was inexplicably agitated. He had never cared about these people, and for the first time, he felt a sense of being offended. The bell rang for the end of Get Out of Class. Before Liang Zhijia could attack, Yang Jingjing's voice came from outside the door. Chen Shu, come here with me. Chen Shu stood up and followed Yang Jingjing into the office. Chen Shu, have you become a divine master? Yang Jingjing asked happily at this time. Chen Shu smiled and said, I went back last night and tried again, and it worked. He respects Yang Jingjing. At nearly 40 years old, he is now only at the level of an official divine master. To put it bluntly, this level is an unqualified level, and he has always been teaching Chinese. There is a spiritual spirit in the body. It is said that it was transformed by a gentleman thousands of years ago. He does have a lot of knowledge in his heart, especially good calligraphy. Sometimes he can write exquisite poems with good hands. Just like now, from what Chen Shu looked at, between Yang Jingjing's eyebrows, an old man wearing linen robes and with white beard was looking at him kindly. But he didn't know that Chen Shu was also looking at him. The old gentleman is a spirit god with no fighting ability and no auxiliary abilities. He just turned into a spirit by luck and cannot even be called a god. Just in the process of teaching and educating people, his strength will also improve. Even if it is not much, the slow accumulation is not a small amount. 
Having taught with Yang Jingjing for more than 20 years, the literary spirit on his body is already visible to the naked eye. In another 10 years, he will be promoted to Yoshin even if he has no choice but to do so. Everything that comes out of the introduction is written into articles, and a breath of awe-inspiring energy can kill the evil spirit body. But for Yang Jingjing it was just right. Probably because she has upheld the position of being a teacher who has entered the bottle spirit god, although Yang Jingjing is not very advanced, she does have some qualities of a teacher, especially in teaching and educating people. He is also extremely responsible for Chen Shu. If it weren't for Yang Jingjing, Chen Shu's position in the meditation room might not be his turn. Chen Shu keeps these things in mind. I just hope that if there is an opportunity in the future, I will repay it. Okay, okay, okay. Yang Jingjing said three good words in a row, her joy was beyond words, and then said, Don't worry, since you have become a divine master, the position in the meditation room is yours. But we must also guard against arrogance and impetuosity. Becoming a divine master is not a big deal. Your current goal is to take the college entrance examination next year and maintain your current results. I was originally worried that you wouldn't be able to become a divine master. There would be too few options for you to take the college entrance examination. I was afraid that life would be difficult in the future. But that's different now. With your grades, you can pick out the key points. Go. Even if you are alone, you still have to have a wonderful life. The conversation ended with this. Chen Shu wanted to say that I am not alone, but also have a sister. But Yang Jingjing didn't need to know that clearly. There is always a suspicion of selling out. Yang Jingjing is indeed a good teacher. In the past, due to Chen Shu's situation, she couldn't say a lot of things. Now that she saw Chen Shu become a divine master, she felt happy for Chen Shu from the bottom of her heart. It's just that the good mood brought by Yang Jingjing did not last long. When he returned to class, he found that the atmosphere was a little strange. When many people looked at him, they showed narrow smiles, and some even wanted to open their mouths, but did not make a sound. When Chen Shu sat back in his seat, he suddenly felt a gust of wind blowing behind him. He turned around and saw a huge dog head, the size of two or three human heads, with a bloody mouth open. The sharp teeth were like blades, as if they were going to devour him in the next moment. All of a sudden, everyone who was prepared to see Chen Shu run away in fear even had their expressions ready, but now they could only freeze on their faces. Chen Shu's face was expressionless, and his expression did not change at all. Just glanced at the dog. His eyes were calm and deep, like a deep pool that had not changed for thousands of years. It was so deep that it seemed as if there was a pair of eyes staring into the deep pool. As if being locked into a dark room by this glance, there was a door standing, and a pale arm stretched out, knocking on the door like a gentle squeeze. Dong dong dong. Anyone there? In the middle of the night, there was a knock on the door. Whoo. The huge dog head let out a whining sound, fled like smoke to Liang Zhijia, and suddenly got into his body. Chen Shu then turned his head calmly. Signed a contract, new guy, new book, cute guy asking for support. From that moment on, Chen Shu thought that the school's troubles would be over. He really doesn't have much energy to play these tricks with a group of high school students. If you really think about it, he is already in his forties, which is the age to be their father. It's really not worth it. However, things were not as Chen Shu imagined. On the contrary, they were getting worse. The entire class seemed to be extremely calm, but beneath this calmness, there were waves of undercurrents lurking to be precise, more and more people were discussing Chen Shu. So although it looked very peaceful, more voices came from Chen Shu's ears. Do you understand? No, but I was shocked. Liang Zhijia's godly dog, if I remember correctly, is not low in strength, right? At least it is at the level of a mid-level spirit. Just let Chen Shu be scared to death with just one look. Fuck, what kind of god did Chen Shu invite? My god said that he has the aura of a god on his body. 
It seems that a spirit spirit entered the bottle overnight. I thought he was just lucky enough to have signed a contract with the gods. At the very least, he is a spiritual god of the wandering god level. Is this just a matter of accumulation? Don't tell me, it's really possible. Have you ever heard of Chen Shu, a man who has never been able to invite gods? Anyway, I have never seen him before. Chen Shu is the first one. Perhaps there is a god who has taken a fancy to him and has been secretly investigating him, so Chen Shukai has never been able to invite the gods. Maybe I saved enough yesterday, so I put it into the bottle in one night. There should be a lot of this kind of thing. What a good luck. Chen Shu can be considered a meteoric riser now, and maybe he will develop best in the future. If I can become a wandering master when I graduate from college, I can choose any career and I can also enter places like the kingdom of gods and ruins. Once I have some opportunities, I can take off. I'm jealous. Why don't I just put the spirit into the bottle without having a spiritual god-level spirit? Let me tell you, haven't you noticed that Chen Shu has always given me a very strange feeling? The more the man talked, the more excited he became, and the more others listened, the more it made sense. Even Chen Shu himself would have believed it if he didn't know what was going on. Things always develop like this. The truth is actually not important. People only want to believe what they believe. Such rhetoric saves Chen Shu from worrying that some people will think it is abnormal. However, after entering the Age of Divinity, a motto also became popular. Everything is possible. He got rid of all these messy thoughts in his mind and also blocked the sounds that seemed to be ringing in his ears. Talk about it. After Chen Shu's own tests and experiments, he found that this kind of speaking spirit ability also has great limitations. The most intuitive one is the limitation of distance. The distance can only be maintained at a distance of 20 meters around him at most. After this distance, you will feel something but you will not be able to hear clearly what is being said. In addition, currently I can only hear people's voices, but not their inner thoughts. This is probably also an ability of God. As for whether there will be changes in the future, Chen Shu doesn't know. After all, it was only his first time becoming a god. He is not familiar with what to do, but he is gradually adapting to the various changes in himself and the abilities that come with the changes. Putting all thoughts aside, Chen Shu looked at the textbook carefully. Standing on the lectern was a 60-year-old man, an old man, but with abdominal muscles. If it hadn't been for the bald old man wearing an undershirt at the beginning of his first year of high school, which gave him a glimpse of his abs like chocolate chunks, he would have really thought that this skinny old man was just an ordinary old man. This is his geography teacher. This world is extremely different from his previous life, especially in terms of geography and history. Chen Shu, who was exposed to it for the first time, called it Bai Zhu in his previous life. At this time he was talking about some simple geography knowledge. The misty mountains of the primary kingdom of God are just 200 kilometers southwest of our city. What are the main components of the misty mountains? Yes, mountains, and what else? Yes, hills. So it's typical of what's right mountainous terrain. Then what does its climate belong to? Yes, plateau mountain climate. But we also have to consider the perennial heavy fog in the misty mountains. As we all know, fog is composed of water. So taking this into account, what is the climate of the misty mountains? Yes, it's a mixed plateau mountain climate. The kingdom of God and the ruins of the secret realm. These are all unique products of this world. How it was formed is still unknown, but some people speculate that it was formed after the death of the gods. Whether it is credible or not remains to be considered. But there is indeed a great opportunity in it, and it is the best choice for spiritual master training. The kingdom of God is generally located in a rift in space, forming a large or small independent world. The ruins are on the land of this world, there is a certain difference between the two, but the difference is not that big. Speaking of which, the ruins are probably much safer than the kingdom of God. 
It's just that the laws of the world have already stipulated that, except for some special divine kingdoms that have no risk factor, other divine kingdoms require a certain level of cultivation to enter. Otherwise, it is basically not open. Of course, there are special circumstances which need to be calculated separately. Chen Shu has lived for 18 years and still has no chance to enter it. It's a small regret. In the third year of high school, you basically review what you have learned in the previous two years. As long as you have a solid foundation, it is not that difficult. I don't know if it was an illusion, but Chen Shu could feel that his mind had become a lot smarter again. Many knowledge points that he felt he had forgotten, once they were mentioned, it was like there was an extra search engine in his mind. It all came out at once. Courses passed one after another. From science, theology, literature, geography and history, each course is divided into multiple units. Just like the course Science, it includes mathematics, physics, chemistry, creatures and more. Speaking of which, students in this world have much greater learning pressure than students in previous lives. After all, it is equivalent to taking several more courses, and you especially have to worry about certain theorems in science which may be broken directly in front of you at some point. It was finally time for school to end, and Chen Shu was still waiting to enter the meditation room. Same as before. The inscriptions in the meditation room are like a sieve, discarding all distracting thoughts in the spiritual thoughts, leaving only the purest spiritual thoughts for the divine masters to absorb directly, and the efficiency is not only improved. Chen Shu's current ability itself is like carrying a weakened version of the meditation room with him. In such an environment, he is simply at home. Like a whale swallowing, it absorbs the spiritual thoughts around it without restraint. If someone can see the spiritual thoughts, they can see that the spiritual thoughts are almost condensing into a vortex around Chen Shu, and he is in the center of the vortex. Fortunately, there are some weak high school students around them, and they can't absorb much at ordinary times. Therefore, although Chen Shu is devouring it, they are still unaware of it. When people are immersed in something, time flies. An hour passed almost in the blink of an eye. Chen Shu restrained his breath and felt a fullness in his left eye, and the distance he could see through increased by nearly 10 meters. But Chen Shu turned his head suspiciously and looked at a certain boy in the class. On the way to practice, he seemed to hear this person calling his name, like praying to meet him. It's just that the call was too weak, and it disappeared in an instant before Chen Shu had time to respond. So much so that even Chen Shu himself was not sure whether it was an illusion or real. If it's an illusion, just treat it as if it didn't happen. But if it's true, then Chen Shu will have to consider his abilities. I remembered this in my heart. Chen Shu packed his things in advance and went out without saying hello to anyone. He also made an appointment with a buyer in the evening. Being late is not good after all. But there was still enough time at this time, so he chose to take the bus. This seems to be a habit. Chen Shu rarely takes a taxi. He likes to take the bus wherever he goes. If the distance is not far, he will ride his bicycle. This has nothing to do with poverty, it is just a habit. He rarely rides in a car after his parents died in a car accident. He was going to the city's priest's hall. It is a place of similar nature to the government affairs hall. It is just a management side and a management priest side. Comparatively speaking, the benefits and benefits of working in the master's hall are about 20% higher than those in the government affairs hall. Especially since the employees working here are civil servants, the treatment itself is not bad. Don't ask why Chen Shu knows so well. Chen Shu has been full of yearning for this job for a long time. He checked a lot of information on the internet, including examination requirements, etc. It was really that his previous life left a deep impression on him. The end of the universe is the establishment. No one can turn down a well-established job. Didn't you see that the 400-year-old willow tree in the school transformed into a god, and his strength was at least at the late stage of the wandering god level? In the end, he still obediently bowed his head in front of the school's establishment. 
If nothing unexpected happens after graduation, Chen Shu should also take the examination. Imaginations about the future organized life are swirling in my mind, but buses are running on the highway non-stop. Even in small cities, there are still busy traffic even after get-off work hours. The sound of horns and slow-moving traffic always make people confused this all came out of nowhere. The days are very short in winter and before 6 o'clock, the sky has already dimmed. The sun is hidden under the mountain and a dim yellow light is dragged around for a long time and finally falls crookedly on the car window. Very beautiful. Chen Shuxiang probably feels homesick and he always thinks of many past events at such moments. This small city is where Chen Shu has lived all his life. He has actually forgotten almost everything about his previous life. Eighteen years is enough time to dilute many things. And on the other side. Outside the master's hall, the two stood, looking around from time to time. Zhang Teng, is this person you are talking about reliable? A 200,000 yuan distant-eyed divine creature is worth less than a cabbage. It's not like you don't know that there are not many distant-eyed gods in the first place. I think according to the ability written in that post, even 800,000 is not too much. Both of them were in their early 20s. At this time, someone next to them asked, How about asking Kamiya to spend more money to buy one? Who knows whether the things on the internet are reliable? Reliable. Zhang Teng is a thin young man about 1-7 meters tall. Standing next to the 1-9 meter tall man next to him, his already average height appears much shorter. As he spoke, he glanced at the man and said, Don't be ignorant of the sufferings of the world. Go to a god's house to ask for a distant god. The price will be at least three times higher. Why don't you pay for it? Tesk. The man still muttered, Isn't it reliable over there? I read on the internet that they will exaggerate their abilities when selling these products. If it is useless, then the money will be wasted. No, no. Zhang Tang waved his hand. Today is different from the past. It has been rectified a long time ago. Even if it is exaggerated, it is normal. What else do you want if it is so cheap? Okay, don't say any more. The seller said it will arrive soon. Wang Yuan spread his hands helplessly. If it doesn't work when we get to the ruins, don't blame me for not warning you earlier. You know, our team has spent a lot of time trying to find that thing. No. One middle school was not far from the master hall. It only passed four stops. Chen Shu got off the bus at the fifth stop. From the outside, the master hall looks like an ordinary building, nothing special. Chen Shu has passed by this place many times, but has never entered. There is no such thing as stage fright. When he walked not far from the door, he saw the buyer this time, an ordinary-looking young man, and there was a tall young man beside him. The two seemed to be talking to each other. What? When Chen Shu saw him, Zhang Teng also saw him. Because I saw the photos in advance. When he saw Chen Shu, Zhang Teng was still stunned for a moment, but he quickly came to his senses, came up to him, and shook hands politely. Hello, Zhang Teng. Are you Mr. Chen? Chen Shu nodded. Are you surprised? Zhang Teng smiled bitterly and said, when I saw the photo, I thought you must be young, but I didn't expect. As he said that, he took a look at Chen Shu's body, which was obviously the uniform of a certain school. So young. He turned around and glanced at his friend who had come with him. Sure enough, his emotions were basically written on his face. I knew you were unreliable. Zhang Tang was helpless. In the business world, no matter what the situation is, it is naturally not easy for students to gain trust, especially a student wearing a school uniform. Zhang Tang himself felt a little regretful. Although Chen Shu has some divine aura about him, in the initial stage of the profession of divine master, one cannot feel the opponent's strength from the outside at all. Therefore, it is natural to question Chen Shu. The three of them chatted and walked towards the master's hall. The appearance was ordinary, but the inside of the building looked very good. 
It was very spacious and bright, with several counters scattered around and widely distributed. Following the guidance of the sign, we soon arrived at the trading office. The trading office is a window specially set up for transactions between self-employed individuals who do not rely on the platform. Its meaning is equivalent to a guarantee function, rather than a handover of money and delivery between two people. Generally, individuals who post online but do not have a store will choose this place to avoid fraud and other illegal situations when trading sacred items. Of course, the tax is also reasonable. There were not too many complicated procedures. The two of them each filled out a form and submitted it. They probably wrote down some details of the transaction, including terms such as price deductions after mistakes were made. After that, they didn't have to wait long before someone led them to the rear. After passing through two corridors, we came to a row of rooms that looked like lounges. The words, quiet room, were hung on the doors. Please God requires a relatively quiet environment. Although these houses look ordinary, they are actually expensive to build. Just sound insulation and sturdiness cost a lot of money. In such an environment, people seem to become quiet all of a sudden. I randomly chose a quiet room. At this point, Chen Shukai took out his divine object from the bag. A dark, bright crystal, the size of a baby's fist, with a smooth surface. When it was taken out, it had an obvious sense of separation from its surroundings, as if it should not exist in this world. Zhang Teng's eyes lit up. Although I really wanted to complain about Chen Shu for putting such a precious thing in his school bag without any wrapping, there was no way to fake the aura of a divine creature, so that was enough. Taking the sacred object with great care, Zhang Teng turned around and was about to enter the house. At this time, Chen Shu still couldn't help but said, There is no guarantee that the divine transformation will be successful. You know this, right? I know. The gods make choices too, don't they? Zhang Teng was stunned and said, Praying to God is never an option. It's more of a two-way street. The divine slough itself only allows people to skip the stage of contacting the void and directly contact the gods who want to reach a contract. A high success rate is one thing, but nothing is absolute. If it fails, it can only be said that it is not suitable. Just like in many situations, most people have a side that is close to a certain direction, and inviting gods from that side is often unfavorable. In other words, it has an extremely unfriendly side. In this case, no matter how hard you try, you will still fail, which makes no sense. Everyone tries to make a contract with all the gods, but in most cases, there are not many choices. Of course, genius is not included in this category. After entering the quiet room, the interior was ordinary. There was not even a bed, just a few futons. Presumably, no one enters the quiet room to sleep. The lights in the house are not bright, but there are simple and dark lights in a few corners, and there is also a strange aroma. When people are in it, they unconsciously calm down. Zhang Teng does not come from a wealthy family, and 200,000 is an extremely painful number for him. Therefore, he took two slow breaths, slowly sat on the futon, sat quietly for a moment, and adjusted his state. At the same time, the spiritual thoughts in his mind also surged and accumulated, like a long bow, with the bowstring fully drawn, waiting for it to accumulate. The moment when everything is ready to go. It wasn't until his energy reached its peak at a certain moment that his eyes suddenly opened. Carefully, and with great care, Zhang Teng gently placed his hand on the divine object, and his own spiritual thoughts poured into it crazily as if they were free of charge. His eyes were slightly closed, as if he was dreaming and waking up. I thought silently in my heart. At first, the voice was like a murmur, obscure and difficult to understand, but as it was recited silently, the voice gradually became clear. It seemed to turn into a flowing river in the void, spreading and rippling, spreading far and wide. Place. The gods passing through the void can hear the pious voice. Heaven and earth, void distance. The distant god of distant eyes. Wandering divine master Zhang Teng, calling you in the name of divine slaughter. Please answer my call. 
I will respect and love you as a believer. Please answer my call. Please answer my call. Whispering, the method of inviting gods, is a compulsory course for everyone from childhood to adulthood. The scales are complex and the pronunciation is even weirder. At first glance, it does not sound like human language. However, this method, combined with spiritual thoughts, can make people the sound travels farther in the void. It is said that the whispers of powerful people when they ask for gods can even spread throughout a province or a country. Naturally, the gods are willing to go there, and the effect is extremely exaggerated. It's just that Chen Shu has always heard about it, and he himself has never seen it. And whisper is just the most common method of summoning gods. Some methods of summoning gods have more amazing effects than this, but most of them are secrets that are not taught or abilities that can only be accessed after reaching a certain level. Jiang Tang's voice still spread in the void, seeming to float far away. I have been waiting for a response from afar. And with the influx of spiritual thoughts, a faint light gradually appeared on the divine slough in front of him. The light gradually began to become brighter, bit by bit, like a candle flame. From the initial dim light, it finally became like a faintly shining light. It seemed to illuminate the entire void. That breathless divine creature seemed to be given life in an instant. Suddenly, the surrounding space is like ripples, and the few lights in the corners of the quiet room are like candles blown by the wind. They suddenly sway, the light and shadow intersect, and the shadows seem to be blending, and in this blending it seemed like an illusion, but also seemed to be real. A shadow also appeared in the quiet room. The shadow towered over the other shadow, appearing and disappearing. Zhang Teng suddenly realized, the gods are staring at you. He swallowed, without any distractions, and then recited whispers in a low voice. And at the same time, outside the quiet room, Chen Shu was also resting in a specially set-up lounge. The other person was not among them. Zhu thought that Chen Shu was unreliable, and the two of them had nothing in common. It just so happens that Chen Shu doesn't have to waste any time. At this moment, Chen Shu heard waves of calls again. The voices were solemn and solemn with a bit of piety. The voices increased from small to loud, from the initial murmuring to the end as if they were calling in his ears. The voice had only one sentence. The distant god of far-sightedness, the wandering master Zhang Teng, is waiting for your response. The distant god of far-sightedness, the wandering master Zhang Teng, is waiting for your response. Chen Shu closed his eyes. In front of him, a sail transformed from spiritual thoughts was quietly leaning against his thoughts. There was no boatman on the boat, but Chen Shu sensed with joy that as long as he stepped on the sail, he would reach the person calling him. As soon as the thought came to his mind, Chen Shu was already on the sail. Next moment. The sail crossed the endless land in an instant and came to a dark place. In the middle, a figure sat cross-legged, exactly like Zhang Teng. This is Zhang Teng's headspace. But Zhang Teng's body was glowing with light blue light at this time. What this refers to is the fit, with white being the worst, followed by blue, red, gold, and color. The blue light on Zhang Teng's body was not very light, but only average. The degree of compatibility with him is not high. Why do gods come into the bottle? In fact, most of the gods who enter the bottle are not very powerful, but their potential is strong enough. When they are put into the human body, especially those with high compatibility or other extremely suitable ones, it is also for the gods. No less than an adventure. The speed of practice can be faster. Chen Shu was not in a hurry to reveal his figure, but instead observed the space for a moment. Above Zhang Tang's figure, a small clear spring hovers above it. It is the spiritual sea transformed by the spiritual master's spiritual thoughts. Judging from the size of Zhang Tang's spiritual sea, it is just the level of the wandering god level. It feels like an ocean, but from the outside it is actually just the size of a pond. His qualifications can only be said to be above average, and apparently no god has entered the bottle yet. If a spirit enters the bottle, it should be sitting on the spiritual sea. But beyond that, 
Chen Shu could also feel the auras of dozens of gods on Zhang Teng. Those should be contracts signed by Zhang Teng, leaving his own mark in them. But Chen Shu felt it carefully, and found that most of them were low-level gods with low strength, maybe with some simple abilities, but there were only two gods whose strength was not much different from his. They are all at the wandering god level. But when Chen Shu wanted to feel these gods in detail, he seemed to be blocked by an invisible barrier and could not go any further, so he had to give up. Observation is almost done. Zhang Teng had obviously felt the gaze. Only then did Chen Shu show up. Buzz, like ripples on the water. Zhang Teng raised his eyes again. Without warning, he only saw a clear and bright eye, which contained in different colors strange and noble. It appeared in this space just like that, just looking straight at it. All seemed to take a lot of Zhang Tang's energy. Are you calling me? The voice sounded. The male and female voices are indistinguishable, as if several people are speaking at the same time, but it does not appear messy and can be heard directly and clearly. Zhang Tang swallowed. The Yaoshenji was the strongest god he had come into contact with so far. Naturally, he felt a little nervous, yes. He breathed a sigh of relief and said, Dear God of distant eyes, I am the wandering divine master. I am calling you this time to sign an apostle contract with you, to walk the world on your behalf and spread the way of far-sightedness. After finishing speaking, he was slightly nervous, staring at the eyes in the void, waiting for a response. As you wish. There was a voice in those eyes. Ah? Things went smoothly beyond Zhang Tang's imagination. I still remember that when he worshipped his two current wandering gods, he wanted to beg his grandfather to sue his grandmother. In the end, it took a lot of words to reach the contract. Especially some powerful gods, if they want to reach a contract with them, they have to offer tribute to them. I never expected that this single-eyed, far-eyed god in front of me would be so easy to talk to. Could it be? Maybe I am a genius? Will Kalama finally meet his bowl? Zhang Teng was secretly excited and even began to imagine that he would reach the pinnacle of his life. From then on, he would worship the gods whenever he was honored, and he would advance all the way and eventually become a true divine master. As everyone knows, Chen Shu himself is not familiar with this matter. Since the requirements are met, he can just agree. There is really no need to do anything fancy. Of course, more importantly, Chen Shu also wanted to know what would happen after signing the contract. Zhang Teng was still waiting for his reaction. A mark the size of a fist flickered out from the eye. There was an obscure image on it, like a twisted inscription, but in the blink of an eye, it looked like a patchwork eye, shining with a strange light. In the blink of an eye, he had arrived in front of Zhang Teng and instantly integrated into his body. As the mark merged into Zhang Teng's body, an inscription also appeared on his body. It was full of spiritual thoughts, wrapped in half of Zhang Teng's spiritual thoughts, as if it were made in heaven, and seemed to be made from heaven. The gospel sounded, and it seemed that beings could vaguely be heard singing among them. The sound was vague, but the mark was not slow at all. In the blink of an eye, it had touched Chen Shu's body. The next moment, a trace of connection is formed between the two, which is very mysterious. Zhang Teng was standing in front of Chen Shu, and it seemed like there was no secret in his eyes. He could even feel the vitality in his heart when he thought about it. And in the blink of an eye, he seemed to be able to sense Zhang Teng's approximate location at any time. Unlike those who are born with bodies that can accommodate gods, this contract reached through worshipping gods is not an overly friendly equal contract. At the very least, Zhang Teng couldn't feel where Chen Shu was at all. Heaven and earth can be used as lessons. It's done. In an instant, someone seemed to be shouting loudly to celebrate this event. Chen Shu also felt joyful in his heart. This joy seemed to come from the bottom of his heart inexplicably. The so-called transformation of gods, gods are the teachings of Shinto, especially in the age of divinity, this point no argument is needed. 
Although there are things like strange powers and chaos among gods, there are also many strong people among humans who can control gods and send generals. But no matter what, signing a contract is a demonstration of the unity of heaven and earth. Of course, many gods are not worthy of being called gods. Haven't had time to think about it. In a blink of an eye, Chen Shu's consciousness returned to the lounge again. It took a long time, but in fact, from the time Chen Shu accepted the summons to the completion of the contract, less than three minutes passed. It's extremely fast. After a casual induction, he could clearly sense Zhang Teng's position, and even the surrounding environment seemed to be able to be sensed in bits and pieces. Obviously the reason is that he is too weak, otherwise he might be able to sense it more clearly. And Chen Shu also discovered that other than that, his body had almost no changes. Right now. Buzz. An extremely pure spiritual thought seemed to suddenly appear from the void, forming a white streak that appeared between the two. And immediately after. The horse was divided into two, one part occupied about 90% or more, while the other part only occupied a small share. Next moment. The pie lion, which accounted for more than 90% of the spiritual thoughts, poured into Chen Shu's body in an instant. The other one was headed towards Jiang Teng. Hiss. Chen Shu couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. After the spiritual thought entered his body, he found that the spiritual thought was extremely pure, almost the limit that Chen Shu had seen in his life, as if it was naturally formed between heaven and earth. After almost subconscious operation for a few minutes, it was completely absorbed by Chen Shu in an instant, and all of it was integrated into his left eye, as if a strong person was giving him an initiation. Maybe it was too much at one time, and I actually felt a bit full in my left eye. If the usual absorption is like chewing bones without meat, pulling the shreds of meat and stuffing it into your mouth, then this time it is like eating fat meat that has been stewed until it melts in your mouth, and you only need to take a sip. This is the spiritual thought of heaven and earth, the most pure power in the world. Chen Shu understood in the blink of an eye. Although he has never succeeded in inviting gods, he has never eaten pork and has always seen pigs running away, he still knows the power of heaven and earth. This is a power that will be born after successfully inviting gods and reaching a contract. But he didn't expect that there are so many differences between divine masters and gods. This power alone is equivalent to the results of a month of practice. The clairvoyance was activated instantly, and Chen Shu suddenly discovered that his vision range was nearly a kilometer wider, and he could see even more distant scenes. Chen Shu only now understands why there are so many gods in this world who are willing to make contracts with anyone, no matter who they are. It smells so good. This moment. Chen Shu realized it. And on the other side. Zhang Teng also absorbed the spiritual thoughts of heaven and earth with a face of joy. The number this time was a bit higher than before, which made Zhang Teng even more convinced that he might be a genius with his eyesight. Although the contract signed by the two was not the kind of equal borrowing contract he imagined, he could accept it as it was now. After reaching a contract, there is obviously no need to say what the first thing is. Of course, it is to test the ability. At this time, he already knew the name of this distant-eyed god. Skill. It's just one word, but it's not surprising because there are so many strange names. Zhang Teng's spiritual thoughts moved slightly and touched the mark just left. His spiritual thoughts poured into it, and a solemn voice murmured. It's not like human language, but it can make people understand its meaning. Dear God of far eyes, please lend me your eyes so that I can see through the fog and darkness. Your eyes will be my eyes, and my eyes will also be your eyes. The voice fell. A force responded instantly from the mark, turned to it, and finally attached to Zhang Teng's eyes. Everything in front of me seemed to be parted from the fog. My eyes penetrated the walls, passed through the quiet room, passed through the hall, and finally came to the street. I could see the traffic passing by, the rain falling in the sky, and the crowd like a silent mime. 
Jiang Teng's face showed a look of ecstasy, his spiritual thoughts surged wildly, and his eyesight finally stopped thousands of meters away. Next. There were another round of tests and uses. Zhang Teng, who had this ability for the first time in his life, wanted to use all his spiritual thoughts. And at this time, Chen Shu, who was sitting in the lounge with a strange expression on his face, felt the bursts of pure spiritual thoughts coming from Zhang Teng's mark. This moment. He realized it again. This time I really realized it. Turn on your phone silently. Chen Shu directly clicked on the Shenxi app. Looking at different leaks, private message sent by customers. His hands were typing on the keyboard like a phantom. A middle-aged uncle at the Yaoshin level, right? You come the day after tomorrow. A wandering god level girl? You will come the day after tomorrow. An official divine master at the age of 18. Who come on January 1st is using a cartoon character as an avatar actually a 40-year-old middle-aged person. You are coming on January 2nd. And a 30-year-old rich woman. Come. 50-year-old man? Come on, come on. Give it all to me. No one can escape. More than 40 people queued up at once. The immediate schedule is full. What's this? These are green leaks. What does it mean that gods also have to make choices? Choose shit. Today, I will let you see what it means to have no taboos. What does it mean to be educated without distinction? Gods never make choices. I want them all. Chen Shu had to admit that a fact happened before his eyes human beings indeed have their limits. I'm no longer a human being. Although the pure spiritual thoughts flowing out from the mark like springs are not as good as the spiritual thoughts of heaven and earth, they are much purer than the spiritual thoughts that fill the entire world. After these spiritual thoughts entered Chen Shu's body, they almost didn't need Chen Shu to absorb them, and they slowly merged into his left eye as if they were familiar. The remaining spiritual thoughts penetrated into his limbs and bones and eventually turned into nutrients, subtly increasing his physical strength. Chen Shu could feel that his eyes were slowly getting stronger again. It's almost like an initiation. After all, it was refined by Zhang Teng himself, so it is naturally more pure than the outside world. In short, as long as the signer uses his ability after signing the contract, the spiritual energy spent will directly enter Chen Shu's body through the mark. Chen Shu now seems to carry a plug-in for automatic cultivation with him. It's simply cheating. Getting something for nothing is always the ultimate dream of mankind. Chen Shu would like to call this move the ultimate white prostitution. It's much more exciting than being a capitalist. However, there is nothing surprising about this. There is no such thing as free service. The so-called saddle horse labor is free, and if it is free, it may bring disaster, and even evil spirits may come to the door. With divinity, many things are very uncertain. Even if it is a normal contract, sometimes someone will offer some supplies. Therefore, etiquette is indispensable, and those who are loyal to this way will be much more cautious. For example, many people who do business related to gods would rather spend more than bring any trouble to themselves. The most famous one is asking gods to calm the soul, which is very expensive. Back to business. Just from this moment of effort, Chen Shu could feel that he seemed to be a little stronger. Although he didn't know the specific amount of vision improvement, as Chen Shu watched with Zhang Teng's gaze, he could more or less feel a sense of relaxation. Lending strength seems to be a bit of a burden for him. I just don't know whether this burden will change with the number of people and the distance. But when you think about it, you know that this is inevitable. Chen Shu seemed to have two pairs of eyes at this time, one pair stayed in the lounge, and the other pair used Zhang Teng's eyes to follow his vision and see what he saw. It's like the vision is shared. This feeling was extremely strange, and Chen Shu was not used to it for a while. However, it is worth mentioning that although Chen Shu shared his vision, his own vision was not affected in any way. This is probably related to the contract signed by Chen Shu and Zhang Teng. There is not just one type of contract classification, but there are many relatively complex types. 
Otherwise, if this is the case, then I am afraid that the strong among humans will not be willing to sign with it of course, when they are weak, humans have almost no choice. Just like Zhang Teng, although he was a wandering master, he was led by the nose almost the whole time during the communication with him, and he didn't dare to raise any inappropriate ideas. Contracts can be roughly divided into three types. One is the divine contract. This kind of contract is often signed with the god who enters the bottle, and the god is only an accessory. The second is the divine master contract. This kind of contract is relatively fair, and the relationship between humans and gods is equal. The third is the apostle contract. This contract is the contract signed by Chen Shu and Zhang Teng. Human beings only serve as envoys. The contract signed between Chen Shu and Zhang Teng is the last obvious one. It didn't take long. Zhang Teng had almost exhausted all the spiritual thoughts in his body before he put away his abilities. Huh? Chen Shu let out a sigh. Although Zhang Teng had almost squeezed himself dry, the spiritual thoughts supplied to Chen Shu only accounted for one half of the total amount at best. Is there still any loss? As soon as Chen Shu's thoughts changed, he already understood the reason. Since becoming a god, he seemed to have some characteristics of innate knowledge. Some simple things seemed to be known by just turning his head, which was extremely miraculous. After a contract, there is loss in the contract. But even if there is a loss, half of the spiritual thoughts that a wandering master can provide is worth Chen Shu's hard training for several days. What's more important is that this is completely free. In any case, it is more cost-effective than Chen Shu's own practice. Depend on. At this time. However, Chen Shu couldn't help but let out a low curse. Following Zhang Tang's gaze, he saw that this kid was using his ability to look at something he shouldn't it was a plump young woman. Chen Shu could tell at a glance that she was a good thrower. But Zhang Tang's gaze has only just touched it, and he has yet to understand it in depth. Next moment. However, there was a burst of red light on the body of the plump young woman, shielding his vision. In the red blood that burned like fire, Chen Shu saw a bloody lion, looking at him with a pair of eyes like burning flames. A few kilometers away, looking straight in Zhang Tang's direction. The late wandering god level, the beast spirit god, it's going to happen. Chen Shu was really speechless. Real punishment. I see you have thick eyebrows and big eyes. Didn't I expect you to be so brave? Now I finally know why after he typed Yu and Mu Lingxian on the search engine, what appeared next. Are all Yu and Mu spiritual masters of very low quality? Master Yu and Mu spiritual god deserves to die. Why doesn't Master Yu and Mu Lingxian attract people? Why does Yu and Mu spirit master have the highest crime rate? Yu and Mu spirit master code of conduct. Why do good people ask distant eyed spiritual gods? MD, not even a nice word. The root of co-authorship is here. The so-called, don't look at anything inappropriate, is really not just talk in the age of gods. Our country has a complete constitution. The regulations for divine masters are very strict and include almost all types of spiritual gods currently known. Among them, there is a legal provision. No matter what means are used, peeping, eavesdropping, secretly photographing, or spreading other people's privacy constitutes the crime of voyeurism. If the circumstances are serious, you will be punished. As expected. It almost took a while. Zhang Tang ran out of the quiet room in a hurry. There was some visible panic on his face. At this moment, Zhang Tang was so regretful that he almost slapped himself in the face. Tell me about you. Why couldn't I hold it back? After taking back his divine object from the panicked Zhang Teng, Chen Shu prepared to withdraw first. The transaction has been completed. As long as Zhang Teng does not complain, the money will be transferred to Chen Shu's account within one day. For the sake of leaks, Chen Shu gently patted Zhang Teng on the shoulder. Didn't say anything. To be honest, he didn't recommend Zhang Teng run away because through his eyes, he had already seen the woman straddling the giant lion, rushing towards her at a speed as fast as flying, with turbulent waves and an angry look on her face. 
if he saw it correctly, the woman also had a silver badge on her chest with the words printed on it. To put it simply, it is similar to the functions of the police station in the previous world, but there are also police stations in this world, and the Shinto station is a department that specializes in dealing with difficult situations such as evil spirits. Chen Shu glanced at Jiang Tang sympathetically. One more look, and it will explode. This wave. This wave is called fishing law enforcement. That's enough for your kid to eat a pot. However, Zhang Tang probably hasn't reached the enough standard to be sentenced. The law has provisions, but the provisions are rigid. It still needs to be decided by people on how to define them specifically. But no matter what, a security penalty is absolutely indispensable. It can be regarded as teaching him a lesson. Otherwise, he will suffer big losses sooner or later. Chen Shu also didn't want the first divine master, he signed a contract to be imprisoned before he could use it a few times for the sake of leaks. But these have nothing to do with Chen Shu. He is just a seller of divine objects. As for what will happen after the sale, no one knows, and he has no way to guarantee it, nor does he need a guarantee. He turned around and went directly out of the door of the master hall. At this time, the woman just jumped off the beast's spirit god. She was handsome and heroic with a really good figure. Her long legs were slender and tight like a leopard, but her face was clouded, obviously. Very angry. You keep moving. I'll take care of a few small things first and then I'll be there. When the two passed by each other, Chen Shu vaguely heard such voices. Probably some action is being taken. He didn't care much either. But in his mind, he was still thinking about the woman's spirit god, the huge lion, as big as an elephant. Beast spirit god. And he is also a very powerful beast spirit god, which is not very common. In the long era of divinity, countless beasts have become gods. Old dogs at home and wild cats on the roadside can all become gods. However, among the beast gods, the one who is most famous and powerful, and can be called a god, is the god of the twelve zodiac signs. The strength is extremely powerful. The weakest one also has the strength of Yin Shen realm. In particular, these twelve gods are relatively easy to invite, so they are the most popular. There is still no conclusion on how to become a god. Some people say that if you live long enough or thousands of spiritual thoughts gather together, a spiritual god can be born. But between spiritual gods and gods, the difference in order is a huge difference. Spiritual gods often refer to those with power. The term god refers to a broader term. In short, it refers to those who perform certain duties and become gods, or in other words, those who have meritorious deeds and become gods. Thunderous gods such as kitchen god, magu, medicine god, etc. are all included in this list. Compared with spiritual gods, the abilities possessed by gods are the real power of gods. Especially at the wandering god level, there is almost no mention of performing a job. For example, some scholars have long proposed that the reason why the spiritual god in the urban area is transformed from a high-level lake into a spiritual god and it rains continuously for days is actually because he wants to perform a job. Just rain god. For example, Chen Shu now holds the position of Yuan Mu, also known as the god of Yuan Mu, but speaking of it, he is just walking on this path. Therefore, the spiritual god is also called the unqualified god. The strength of that angry lion is not low, at least the strength of the late wandering god level, and it seems to be a fire attribute. The main reason is that Chen Shu has never seen much of the world, and this is the first time he has seen a powerful spiritual god. Chen Shu found that he had a lot of thoughts in his mind recently, and a small thing would lead to many thoughts. However, these many thoughts, and the information contained in them, even Chen Shu himself had forgotten when he saw it. Past. But when I think about it, all this information will come out one after another, and eventually a certain problem will be connected into a logical and self-consistent explanation. It's probably some of the changes brought about after becoming a god. Maybe I should read more books and preferably gain more knowledge. Chen Shu thought in his heart. 
becoming a god is probably not just as simple as having abilities. It is also the first time for him to become a god, and he still needs to adapt to many things bit by bit. Chen Shu is a person who will do whatever he thinks of. With this thought in mind, I unconsciously walked to the bookstore. Bookstore. It was not a very big bookstore, but chain bookstores like this usually had a comprehensive range of books. Chen Shu knew that he might not need such a comprehensive bookstore, and the whole society might not need such a comprehensive bookstore. But he is really perfect, who can refuse him? Since there was no specific book he wanted to buy, Chen Shu almost saw an interesting book and put it directly into the car. Walked around. There were more than 30 books in the car. The coverage is extremely broad. On where humanity goes in the age of divinity. The Lonely God. Love letter recommended by thousands of girls. The birth of the kingdom of God. Strange ghosts and ghosts. On the way to survive in the kingdom of God. Survival in the kingdom of God. The origin of God. There are a lot of messy books. But maybe in the age of divinity, the threshold for publishing a book is not low. So even if it is a book that is placed in a corner and no one buys it, the content is still fascinating. Chen Shu has a lot of curiosities that need to be satisfied. Finally, Chen Shu returned home with a stack of books in his arms. The house was very deserted, and Chen Shu was almost used to it. He never thought that he, who had a happy family in his previous life, would become an orphan in this life. It's just that many things happened so suddenly that no one could predict them. My sister didn't come back today, and thinking about it, it's not good to ask for leave every day. But when he comes back next time, he can talk to her about the Lingshu Academy. Now he is already a divine master in the eyes of outsiders. My sister can go with peace of mind. If there is a spiritual chef in the family, it will be a good thing for the ancestors. Chen Shu was also happy about this. Put the books on the bookshelf one by one, and watch the bookshelf slowly fill up, and you will inexplicably feel a sense of accomplishment. It's like not only the bookshelf is filled, but also your own brain. Simply rested for a while. Chen Shu came to the kitchen. The kitchen is very clean, the stove is almost spotless, and there are almost no water stains left in the sink. This is probably one of the required courses at Lingshu Academy. People who cook will also find it pleasing to the eye. He took out the chopping board from the gap between the natural gas pipe and the wall and placed it on the stove. Then he turned around and took out a piece of pig blood from the refrigerator. After washing the blood residue on it, he placed it on the chopping board. It's time for him to do his daily homework again. I have said before that almost every household has a method of nourishing the spirit, which is for several generations to serve an object a potted flower, or an old object, trying to cultivate a touch of spirituality in this old object. If you're lucky, you might actually raise a spiritual god someday. This kind of thing happens all the time, and naturally there are many people who succeed. This kind of spirit god is also generally called the house god. Naturally, there are many people who do this kind of business. After entering the age of gods, the price of antiques has become more and more expensive because things that have been tempered by time are more likely to produce spirituality than ordinary things. Many people who have no spirit in drinking wine will go to the antique market to try their luck. It is worth mentioning that whether there is a spiritual god in the bottle is extremely important to the divine master. It is not as good as signing a contract with dozens of spiritual gods to have a spiritual god in the bottle. Like Zhang Teng, if there is a spiritual god who is willing to enter the bottle and guard the spiritual sea, I am afraid that there is no need to be so humble when asking the god. The lower limit between the two may be the same, but the upper limit is completely different. But after all, there are still a small number of talented people, so there is a saying of nurturing one's mind. Chen Shu's family is naturally not immune to such things. What they serve is a pig-killing knife that has been passed down for three generations. This knife was probably left by Chen Shu's great-grandfather. He was a famous butcher from all over the country in the past. He was very good at killing pigs. 
He could kill a pig with a white knife in and out with a red knife without much effort. Everyone in the village is willing to invite him, and there is no need to spend any money. Just kill an animal and share a few kilograms of meat. Later, when the family's fortune improved, the butcher's business stopped. It's just that this knife is not idle. It's like the company has a weekend off and you can't. In the end, it became the object of worship of the old Chen family. Grandpa made a rule at the beginning. This knife must see blood every day and it must be nourished with spiritual thoughts every day. Since then, I have been following the rules and it has become a habit. Counting now, it has been three generations. It's just that in the early days, the family was wealthy and prosperous, and they could be served with live birds every day. However, in Chen Shu's generation, he had become a single person and had almost no contact with other places far away. So he had to use some pig blood to serve him. Improvise. He took out the butcher's knife from the table cabinet. The blade is 70 centimeters long, and it becomes wider and wider from the handle to the tip. The narrowest point is only about 3 centimeters, and when it reaches the tip, it is nearly 6 centimeters wide. There are very obvious traces of use on the handle of the knife. The wooden handle is full of bump marks. It is soaked in too much blood, and the original color can no longer be seen. Now it is a black that does not look clean. But the blade is extremely bright, and can even vaguely reflect the appearance of a person. There is a blood groove about two centimeters deep in the cross section. If you stab the pig behind its heart, the blood will drain out very quickly. It is said that after the knife is pulled out, there will be no blood on it. Although Chen Shu had never seen this knife used to kill pigs, no matter how he looked at it, it could be called a good knife, at least a good pig killing knife. It's just that after three generations, this knife still doesn't show any extraordinary qualities. Chen Shu had long since given up hope and continued to do this. It was because his father used to talk about this the most, so he simply kept doing it. Coupled with his current strength, there is actually no need for it. Well, lifting the knife, Chen Shu gently cut the pig's blood. The texture was soft and elastic, and it was not clear whether the knife was sharp. He gently wiped the cut pig's blood along both sides of the knife. During this process, Chen Shu released a stream of spiritual thoughts which were integrated into the blade containing the pig killing knife. After about 10 minutes, Chen Shu put the butcher's knife back to its original position. Obviously, even after becoming a god, there was still no reaction when there should have been no reaction. Fortunately, Chen Shu didn't have too much hope, so he was not disappointed. What Chen Shu didn't know was that there was a faint flash of spiritual light inside the blade that could not be seen. He took out another piece of tofu and simply fried it with the used pig's blood, then paired it with a bowl of rice and a simple dinner was completed. It's time to say it or not. Although it sounds simple, it tastes great and goes very well with meals. My sister is right, if he can call on gods normally, he will definitely be a spiritual chef. However, when I was young, my sister always wanted to be a fire magician, but in the end, she inexplicably embarked on the path of a spiritual chef. The good news is that his appetite and taste have not been affected, which is a good thing. The bad news is that his appetite has increased a lot, and he hasn't eaten enough. After comforting himself to eat less at night, Chen Shu returned to his room after cleaning up. I didn't rush to practice. I sat down at the table first, took out the diary from the drawer, and kissed the paper gently with the tip of the pen. On the first day of becoming a god, I feel good. My mind became extremely clear, and I could feel it running all the time. At the same time, I also have the ability to feel something when I hear others talking about me. Absorbing an apostle, you can probably say this, I can't seem to find a more appropriate description. I also bought a lot of books, I hope I can finish them soon. Although no one stipulates that a diary must be written every day, Chen Shu is willing to write more when he wants to. So far, Chen Shukai sat cross-legged on the bed, uniting heaven and man, absorbing spiritual thoughts to practice. 
At this moment, Chen Shu's face was slightly stunned, and a distant voice seemed to be heard in his ears like Zhang Tang's voice. After listening carefully, Liu Hua, Southern Suburbs, Shadow becomes a spirit, evil spirit. It turns out it's not groundless. There are really evil spirits near the community? Zhang Teng is really lucky. He murmured a few words in a low voice and immediately understood the whole story. Outside of God. This is my life's request. Zhang Teng looked humble as he looked at Zhang Zheng, who had bailed him out with his hands bowed to the Buddha. Zhang Zheng. Then he waved his hand. Don't tell me, don't tell me. It's not a glorious thing, who should I talk to? But you should be lucky that you have just signed a contract with a distant god, and it happens that he can use you, otherwise Officer Liu would not be so easy to talk to. Zhang Tang nodded quickly. Zhang Zhang still couldn't help complaining. You are brave enough, can't you see the emblem of someone else's shrine? If you dare to touch a tiger's butt? Zhang Tang's old face turned red, Accident, accident. It's not that he is weak-willed. They are just too big, coupled with the mentality that the poor suddenly become rich, he couldn't hold it back for a while, but entering it was a wake-up call for him. Not every time he would be so lucky. If there were another time, if he was detained and kept in the file, the university he finally got into would probably be expelled directly. Zhang Teng suddenly thought of something at this time and asked, where is Chen Shu? Zhang Zhang rolled his eyes. They left long ago. When we were inside just now, Officer Liu asked me about him and asked me to remind him to register as soon as possible, including his magical creature. Let's not talk about this yet. Zhang Zhang looked inside. Didn't you say when to set off? Just for a while. Zhang Teng said, Shadow evil spirits are almost only active late at night. This evil spirit is also very cunning. It seems to have the strength close to the wandering god level. Without the divine ability, it would be difficult to locate it. It happened that the master Yuanmu in their institute was transferred away, so I showed up. Zhang Jing sighed. What a good luck. Didn't you say where the place is? It seems to be the southern suburbs. Can you do it? I just signed the contract today. It should be okay. Speaking of this, Zhang Tang got excited. I'm afraid you don't know how powerful the Yuanmu spirit is. I tried it today, Tisk, that taste. P who has not tried it will never understand it. Our ruins should be stable this time. Zhang Zheng listened, but he could only feel envious in his heart. The talents of sensory masters are not common, and eyes are the rarest among them. It is considered good to have one among a hundred people. He is the kind of person who has no talent in this area. If he had any talent, given his family conditions, it would not be difficult to find a sloughed creature from a distant god and sign a contract with it. Suddenly, Zhang Zheng asked, You really didn't see it? Zhang Ting. If I saw it, could I still come out? What the two of them didn't know was that after he said the name Chen Shu, all their subsequent conversations entered Chen Shu's ears. The names of gods are not to be mentioned lightly. The gods are watching you. The next day, early in the morning, Chen Shu opened his eyes because Zhang Teng provided him with another wave of spiritual blessings last night. After one night of practice, his eyesight improved by another hundred meters. Now he can observe distances close to 12,000 meters. According to his own senses, when the observation distance reaches 30,000 meters, he can be promoted to the mid-level wandering god level. If you follow your daily practice and increase the distance by more than 10 meters every day, it will take nearly three years to break through. But the Apostle contract allows him to overtake in corners. If it goes well, he will be able to break through in three to five months. This speed is no longer considered slow. Hey, didn't you succeed yesterday? Sensed it. There seemed to be nothing gained last night. He activated his magical power again, and everything in front of him could no longer block his vision, and he finally stopped at an unfinished building. 
the traces left behind were very obvious. Just by scanning them, Chen Shu saw huge animal claw marks on several pillars. The entire pillars were almost broken from them, and the broken cement was scattered on the ground. There are still a few cracks on the ground like traces of spider webs. Chen Shu immediately thought of the angry lion beast spirit god he saw yesterday. The pillar was wide and thick, more than three meters long. It would be difficult for ordinary wandering gods to create such an effect, so it seemed like it was the only one. He glanced around. Soon, Chen Shu withdrew his gaze. Chen Shu was not very interested in this matter. Although he now has the strength of the Yoshin level, he is still at the beginning of the Yaoshin level at best, not to mention that he only has auxiliary abilities such as distant vision, which in addition to providing him with extremely powerful dynamic vision. The rest are not very useful in battle. Although after becoming a god, his power is also distributed to his body, giving him the power to be no less powerful than that of an ordinary wandering god in the physical body. However, as they all perform their own duties, in addition to physical power, those who become gods in the physical body often also perform other powers, such as elements, fists, legs, swords, life, shadow, sunlight, etc. These abilities are its real strength and can provide extremely strong power in this aspect. In comparison, Yuanmu is weak in combat, it pales in comparison. Safety first. Let him be the unsung hero to deal with this evil spirit of shadow. To be honest, he wasn't interested. Unless someone is carrying it. This is the most reliable idea in Chen Shu's mind right now. After the rest of oneself is deified, the strength will naturally be different. At that time, the sky is high enough for birds to fly, and the sea is wide for fish to jump. Otherwise, with his current strength, he can completely pass the assessment of the wandering god level, and then obtain the qualifications to enter the kingdom of God, gain resources from experience, and become stronger, this is almost the only way for all divine masters. But no matter how Chen Shu looked at it, he felt that it was better to remain stable. As long as he slowly develops the apostles, his strength will not increase much slower than theirs, and it may even be much faster. Today is Saturday. The good news is that no makeup classes are required. The bad news is that senior high school students will start classes on Saturday starting next semester. After getting up, I ran around the neighborhood three or four times and bought another breakfast. After eating, I simply packed up at home and then walked straight towards the Shenwu Dojo. With the prosperity of Shinto, martial arts schools have sprung up in various places, blooming almost everywhere. And Shenwu Dojo is one of the best. Shenwu Dojo is one of the famous martial arts schools at home and abroad with an excellent reputation. The founder's name is Bai Yu. It is said that he is the head of the Bai family of the ancient martial arts family. He first entered the Age of Divinity. This is because he is a family that has been passed down for a long time and has many deities. Moreover, he happened to be favored by a god of fighting, and his family the ancient martial arts are combined with each other, and most of the clan members are fighting gods, which can be regarded as a new path. Nowadays, the Bai family is also a famous family, and its strength cannot be underestimated. The business share of martial arts schools in the entire market is extremely high, almost more than half. The quality control of its subordinate martial arts schools is extremely high. Regardless of the size of the place, the martial arts gyms are quite complete. This was Chen Shu's first time entering such a place. The main reason is that I have never had money before. Although the martial arts gym is fully equipped, the price is not generally expensive. It is worth mentioning that yesterday's money has arrived, and Jiang Tang is quite a fastidious person. He should have done the settlement early this morning, which can be regarded as solving Chen Shu's urgent need. In the Age of Divinity, the cultivation process of a divine master is actually a process of burning money. The only difference is how much and how fast. The faster you burn, the faster your strength will naturally increase. Before yesterday, Chen Shu only had a few thousand yuan left in his body and could not accomplish anything at all. Entered the Martial Arts Hall. 
The martial arts hall is in full swing. People are coming and going. You can see muscular men and sexy women everywhere, and there are naturally a lot of them who are handsome and pretty. After all, it is the weekend, and there are still many people who are willing to go to the martial arts gym. Sweating in the hall. Chen Shu's arrival did not attract anyone's attention. He just walked straight to the front desk. Sir, what do you need? The lady at the front desk looks young, but she is not vague about her age at all. Although her clothes are not generous, she is definitely generous. Seeing Chen Shu, the front desk lady's eyes lit up slightly. Being able to work in the Shenwu gym, even if it's just a front desk, is definitely not an idiot. His eyes are very vicious. After all, the Shenwu gym has its own promotion and training channels. Now he is the front desk, maybe one after passing the assessment, he becomes a coach. That's why we can achieve the first market share. Unlike other people who look at faces, she looks more at people's posture. Chen Shu is of standard height. Although she is only wearing plain clothes, she walks tall and straight, and her proportions are also the standard she has seen in her life. It seems that she is made in heaven. She has a standard clothes rack and a cheap plain clothes that is just made to order. Feeling coming. The steps of a pair of long legs are the same as if calculated. It looks extremely comfortable, especially in the eyes of professionals like them. With such a posture, the trainers at the Shenwu Dojo would be jealous to death. I wish I could play iron with him all night long. He just looks a little ordinary. The head is removed and can be eaten. The girl at the front desk was filled with regrets. Get a card. Chen Shu said, just a monthly card will do. Okay. Sir, we have three types of monthly cards, ordinary card, membership card, and master card. A regular card costs 8,000 a month and can only use some ordinary facilities. Based on this basis, the membership card will give you four courses and the price is 20,000. The master card is 100,000 per month, but all the equipment in our dojo can be used for free and there will be coaches at the Yaoshan level who will teach once a week and provide personal training services, and our cards are available nationwide universal, you see. While clicking his tongue at the high price, Chen Shu thought for a moment and said, get a divine master card. Now that he has a stable source of income, Chen Shu feels there is no need to wrong himself. Uh, oh, okay. The lady at the front desk didn't seem to turn around at all. After all, Shiku City is just a small prefecture-level city. There are not many people who can apply for a Divine Master card. Chen Shu really didn't look like a person who would spend 100,000 yuan to apply for a card. While asking for Chen Shu's basic information, the receptionist looked at Chen Shu furtively. Do not know why. Chen Shu looks much more handsome now. There seems to be a touch of nobility. When asked about his cultivation, Chen Shu thought for a while and decided to become a formal divine master. After all, it has not been reviewed and evaluated, and there is no corresponding information updated simultaneously on the internet. If you say it and people don't believe it, it is just a joke. Finished applying for the card. Chen Shu has not found a personal trainer for the time being. He came today just to test his current physical condition. He mainly needs to look at various values and at least be aware of them so that he can make targeted training in the follow-up. The wandering god level is just a small scenery on Chen Shu's road to becoming a god. There are too many strong people in the world and his strength is not worth mentioning at all. Only by continuous improvement can he become a true god. With a regretful expression on her face, the lady at the front desk guided her to find a separate equipment room. From the outside, she could only see a general figure. She also wanted to see what Chen Shu looked like after taking off his clothes. He casually took off his jacket, revealing the solid muscles underneath. His back was straight, his body was majestic, his shoulders were wide and his waist was narrow, and his muscle lines were extremely clear, like an outline of hills and valleys. He didn't look exaggeratedly strong, but he had a sense of totality. 
the natural beauty with a little exertion seems to be able to feel the power rushing underneath it from dozens of meters away. This is a kind of beauty full of power, as if it was carved by heaven, but there is no trace of carving. It is like a majestic mountain peak or a trickling stream. It's not like the perfect body that humans can achieve. It is no exaggeration to say that even if Chen Shu is nothing, he can still make a good living just by selling meat with his figure. But what happened to Chen Shu was not surprising at all. Chen Shu's body has been deified over the years, and the changes in his posture are actually the most obvious. They are subtle, and even Chen Shu himself sometimes discovers them accidentally. When did my body proportions become so good? Is my flexibility so strong? When did my coordination become so exaggerated? My legs seem to have grown longer. Has your chest become broader? His body would bring Chen Shu some surprises from time to time. These changes all occur subtly and are a long process, and this process is actually still in progress today. Simply warm up your body and wait until all the meridians and bones of your body have been opened. Chen Shukai came to the dynamometer. This is a seemingly simple device, and there were many in the previous life. However, the biggest difference between this device and the previous life is the change in the strength it can withstand. Not any material can withstand the full blow of the Divine Master. As for the standard dynamometer in front of me, the force limit it can withstand is 10,000 kg. Sometimes Chen Shu would also think about what would happen if one day a dynamometer became a god. According to common sense, as long as it does not exceed the spiritual god level, there is no big problem. Chen Shu took a deep breath. Suddenly, the strength of the hips, waist and abdomen exploded, the bones stretched and exploded, and there seemed to be wind and thunder roaring above the fists. The whole body seemed to be lifted two inches out of thin air, and the fists were thrown out in an instant. Boom! The fist hit the dynamometer hard, making a short and violent muffled sound. Diddy diddy. The dynamometer made continuous sounds, and the numbers on the display screen also jumped rapidly. 300 kg. 500 kg. 1000 kg. After a few seconds, the figure eventually settled on the 3680 kg figure. A full punch can hit a force of 7000 kg, which is equivalent to a weight of 3 tons. It is already a quite terrifying figure, so I'm so strong. Chen Shu had read a related paper where a person who transformed into a wandering god in the flesh and a normal divine master invited such a god could explode thousands of kilograms of power with every punch and kick. For those who have just entered the Yaoshan level, the average value fluctuates around 3,000 kg. He was able to exceed the average by a lot, which was indeed unexpected. This is probably also caused by the difference in body. After calming down, Chen Shu slightly gained some momentum. His eyes suddenly sharpened, and then his fists came out like a gust of wind and rain. There is no skill, just a reckless energy, and the bones and flesh make a crackling sound. Bang, bang, bang. A series of muffled sounds sounded continuously. The values on the dynamometer also kept flashing crazily. 13485 kg. 13621 kg. 13,511 kg, 13,520 kg. The bombardment lasted for nearly five minutes and Chen Shu fired at least hundreds of punches. It wasn't until the last trace of strength faded that he stopped. At this time, his arms were trembling slightly and his muscles contracted, giving off a feeling of soreness and weakness as if they were no longer his arms. Chen Shu showed no expression on his face, but his spiritual thoughts moved slightly along his body and into his arms, quickly restoring his physical body. After a lot of bombardment, the final measured average punch strength was 3,500 kg, while the leg strength reached an astonishing 16,500 kg, almost double. After, Chen Shu conducted another speed test, and the best result was 37 is. To put it simply, it's like a car traveling at 130 mph. It's just that this kind of extreme speed must not last long. But what surprised him the most was the sensitivity test. The test score is 7s. 
Because of the deification of his eyes, the biggest improvement was actually giving Chen Shu terrifying dynamic vision. He could even observe the amplitude and frequency of a mosquito's wings flapping every second from 10 meters away. This is extremely scary. The subtle growth in his body has also enabled his body's coordination and reaction to keep up with such dynamic vision. Although the reaction chamber tested was only the most simplified version at the highest difficulty of the Yaoshan level, Chen Shu still maintained a terrifying score of 7 dodges per second. According to what is said on the internet, this is almost the best result below the level of spiritual master. But this also reminded Chen Shu. The reflexes far exceed those of the same level. Maybe he can make a fuss in close combat, but he can't always rely on his eyes. You can find a Shinto law student and learn it. In the past, the body could not store spiritual thoughts, but now it is naturally different. Go back and look for it this afternoon. After completing the simple test, Chen Shu began to train to control his own power. Although Chen Shu can control the sudden increase in body strength, it is still not as easy as before, and sometimes it will cause some slight awkward feelings. Chen Shu stayed in the Shenwu gym until the afternoon. That's when I came out of it. The 100,000 yuan was indeed well spent. Apart from having someone deliver meals in the middle, he didn't go to many other places and basically did it in the equipment room. The morning's training actually allowed him to recover a lot. Although the strength still cannot be controlled accurately to every 1 kg, the error is basically within 5 kg, and the progress is not bad. After all, it was only one morning, and there was no guidance from anyone. If it had been anyone else, it would have taken at least a week to get to where I am now. Chen Shu set a small goal and controlled his power to the smallest detail. The force of each blow was controlled within 1G. Only when you reach that level can you be compared with those who become gods in the flesh. At present, only one eye has become a god. This is definitely not his end. The human body is like a treasure house. There are so many places where changes can occur. No matter what, Chen Shu wants to be the strongest. The reason why he came out was also very simple. The client he had made an appointment with in advance had already arrived. Today's Leek's backy little snake. She is a girl at the level of a wandering god. She has a pair of dazzling eyes, a hilly chest, and a pretty face. However, she clearly looks like a girl, but her eyes reveal some mature charm. This is probably some changes in facial temperament caused by the presence of gods in the bottle, which is not uncommon in the age of gods. Gods can affect people's temperament and aura. Just like when someone makes a contract with the mountain god, their body will naturally have a sense of solidity and stability. Some people make a contract with the water flow, and their body will naturally have some gentleness and softness. Temperament Temperament sometimes sounds mysterious, but it actually exists. The more powerful the gods are, the greater the impact they can have. Therefore, strong people often have a tyrannical aura. In addition to their own strength, another reason is that the gods sign a contract. These are all common sense, and Chen Shu has become accustomed to them. For example, Liang Zhijia is as human as a dog, and the bottle spirit god he lives in is also the dog god he serves at home. All related. The two were similar in strength, and Chen Shu did not use his magical power to see if there was any spirit in her spiritual sea. But in terms of feeling, this girl's strength is probably more than Zhang Peng's. Chen Shu believed in his intuition, which was almost one of the sensory abilities close to premonition. She came alone, probably due to family conditions or her own strength, but she looked a little arrogant, with a sense of arrogance. He and Chen Shu didn't say much, but there was a look of arrogance and contempt in his eyes. The clothes he wore looked like they were all custom-made, and they were definitely expensive. Shiku City is just a small city, and this girl is obviously from a big city. Chen Shu didn't care much. No matter how arrogant a person was, they were nothing more than lush leaks in his eyes. The two met. There was no small talk, just followed the same process as yesterday. Chen Shu sat in the lounge for a while and soon felt another call. 
Dear God of distant eyes, please respond to my call. Dear God of distant eyes, please respond to my call. Bursts of sound? Chen Shu did not hesitate. I whispered in my heart that, Master, come right now. After boarding the ferry directly, a huge eyeball transformed by divine thoughts appeared in the girl's spiritual sea. As soon as he entered the spiritual sea, Chen Shu felt a gaze, but there was no offense in his gaze, but rather some friendly meaning in it. Chen Shu looked towards the sky above Linghai. Really? A python god, about four meters tall and with silver scales shining on his body, was looking at him with a pair of narrow snake eyes. There was no expression on the snake's face, but there was a sense of charm in his expression. Snakes belong to the dragon category, and their temperament is inherently licentious. This python spirit god may have become a god through this way, and his job must be to deceive people. This can explain the girl's aura that does not belong to her age, so flattering. However, when the strength becomes stronger, this charm will naturally disappear a lot. Of course, if a girl wants to do this, her charm will become even more eye-catching. Chen Shu then lowered his head and looked at the master, who also exuded a light blue light, and the fit could only be said to be average, even slightly inferior to Zhang Tang's. It's just that sensory divine talents are rare, and blue is better than no talent at all. The two did not communicate. This spiritual sea is indeed much larger than Zhang Teng's. It seems to be close to the strength of the mid-level wandering god. After a rough feeling, there are indeed many divine marks in it. And most of them are the marks of some wandering gods. They don't feel much power of elements, but are filled with the roars of beasts. It's like entering a zoo composed of animal spirits and gods. And among these spirit gods, the number of snake spirit gods is the largest, even accounting for more than 80%. Is this the snake girl? Chen Shu secretly clicked his tongue. This made Chen Shu a little curious about the girl's identity. The beast spirit god is not a big deal, even if it is the wandering god level, the body of the wandering god level is almost filled with the wandering god mark, and even the spirit god mark exists. This is not something ordinary people can do. Among them, the most eye-catching mark seems to be shelved in a high cabinet, floating at the top of the entire spiritual sea, blooming with a vague aura, revealing nobility and coldness. Elusive. Chen Shu was curious in his heart and approached with his spiritual thoughts. It's just that he didn't have time to touch it yet, he just got closer. Suddenly. Boom, it's like thousands of thunders exploding. It seemed that evil thoughts were rushing out of him, and in an instant, he felt a huge rebound force that crushed his spiritual thoughts in an instant. Not only did that force crush his spiritual thoughts, a force also emerged from the mark. The mark seemed to be alive in the blink of an eye. A yin god? Don't wait for Chen Shu to react. A pair of narrow eyes seemed to emerge from the thoughts. They seemed to exist and not exist, but there was a sense of violence, madness, and killing in the narrow vertical pupils, as if they were there. He was generally offended. Chen Shu's face suddenly tightened, and the sweat on his back stood up in horror. As if he was being targeted by a natural enemy, he quickly withdrew all his spiritual thoughts and did not dare to make any move. Chubby, the god of far eyes, who allowed you to touch me? Next moment, a hoarse sound sounded like a sound coming from the throat. Immediately afterwards, a huge pressure like a natural disaster suddenly dropped. Bloodshot eyes burst out from Chen Shu's eyes, as if an invisible mountain was pressing down on his body from all over, as if it was about to explode in the next moment. The outside body's mouth also overflowed with blood, as if it had been severely injured. Because of this momentum, the entire spiritual sea began to vibrate and waves of fluctuations rushed out crazily, causing the python spirit god below to roar and quickly stabilize the spiritual sea. Otherwise, even they will be hit hard. Fortunately, this momentum only lasted for a moment and the momentum was withdrawn the next moment. The entire spiritual sea returned to calm. Snort. 
the hoarse voice let out a cold snort, and then it all disappeared into the mark without any news, as if what happened before was just a dream. But the trauma he suffered clearly told Chen Shu that this was not a dream. If there is a spirit, you cannot see it. The moment the two came into contact with each other, Chen Shu already knew the identity of the owner of the mark. The god of the Chinese zodiac, the snake god, the snake god is the yin god. Control the snake spirits in the world. He is one of the most powerful people in the world today. As for the girl who entered the bottle of python, her eyes changed at this time, revealing a hint of, are you usually so brave? Chen Shu gritted his teeth and suppressed the complicated emotions in his heart. At this time, he had no intention of saying anything more. After showing his body in front of the girl, he quickly condensed a mark and handed it to her. The two imprints quickly merged. Eventually, it condensed into the apostolic contract. Chen Shu disappeared in an instant and returned to his own body. Blood was overflowing from his mouth and nose. Fortunately, at the same time, the gospel resounded, and a stream of spiritual thoughts from heaven and earth poured into his body, quickly repairing the injuries on his body. Fortunately, the physical trauma was not too serious. The only serious injury was the trauma to his mind, which made him look a little weak overall. Fortunately, the spiritual thoughts of heaven and earth are so refined and pure that after a few days of cultivation, they can return to their normal state. It's just that the injuries on his body can be easily cured, but the frustration in his heart cannot be cured. With low strength, even gods are nothing more than bastards. The god can feel whether there are evil thoughts, but just because he felt the existence of this person for a moment, he was crushed into serious injuries. This is like walking on the street just because he took one more look at someone, and then he was seriously injured. It was like being rushed up and beaten severely. No. It can even be said that before Chen Shu had time to look, he just had some thoughts in his mind and was rushed up and beaten up. Chen Shu was even a little speechless. There was some anger in his heart, but not much. There were all kinds of strange things among the gods. It was normal for some gods to become angry just by being observed. In fact, when faced with observation, the first reaction of most gods is not anger, but a show of goodwill to each other. Induction does not mean impolite peeping, but is similar to greetings between gods or knocking on the door is more appropriate. How domineering. Is this the snake god? But you do have capital. Become stronger. Become stronger. Various emotions condensed in Chen Shu's chest. Finally came to a conclusion. Damn it. I want to be so domineering too. No wonder this girl is so arrogant. She is indeed proud of being able to sign a contract with the snake god. And at this time, the Book of Souls carried on his body began to turn the pages crazily. Eventually, it stays on a certain page. The text gradually appeared on it. Fear. Level. Advanced. Majesty. Level. Advanced. Cold. Level. Advanced. Reward. Level. Advanced. Snake. Level. Very suddenly. Chen Shu's anger was all gone, and he even had a little immature idea. How about I go into this business specifically? Is there any unexpected surprise? The soul-suppressing book has long been connected with Chen Shu's mind. Chen Shu sensed this change immediately and quickly opened the soul-suppressing book. At a glance, he saw the words on the latest page. What is different from the previous ones is that the text this time is not the same as before just like what Chen Shu himself wrote. Instead, it is abnormally twisted as if it is connected by snakes walking. When you look closely, the texts they all seem to be twisting constantly. It looks very strange. Is the level just advanced? A yin god only provides high-level energy. No matter how you look at it, senior cannot be the highest level. But if you think about it, you can figure it out. Although the snake god is the god of the snake genus after all, it is just the energy generated by some small collisions. Moreover, this was just a trace of energy revealed when he suppressed it, and it was eventually absorbed by the Book of Souls. It is really rare to have a high-level one. But 
What level of artifact is the Book of Souls that can even absorb the energy of the Yin God? It's so awesome. There are more secrets that will not be told even if you die in Japan. But with the nourishment of this power, maybe the speed of his right eye transformation can be improved a lot. With this unexpected joy, Chen Shu's mentality calmed down a lot. His control over his emotions has become more advanced now. His anger has not actually disappeared, but has been suppressed in his heart. At critical moments, it will still burst out. The power of emotions, if used in the right place, can have great positive effects. When people are angry, they can do anything except math problems. Therefore, gods who are in charge of various emotions are also the existence that all divine masters flock to. Imagine that in a war, if one party is blessed with the belief and emotion of definitely winning, the effect it can have, it is obvious what effect it can achieve. One of the reasons why wandering gods are called wandering gods is because wandering gods often do not exist in a specific place. Most wandering gods are wandering around, waiting to be summoned. The spiritual god will travel in the void through his spiritual thoughts. He is in one place, but his spiritual thoughts can travel thousands of miles away, waiting for the summons of the divine master or to enter the bottle. Realm gods can generally turn a land into a spiritual realm. For example, the tyrannical among the realm gods can cover more than one country. This is even more true for yin gods. There are definitely not many yin gods in the world today. Almost all of them are transformed into gods by the thoughts of the whole country. Their strength is even more terrifying. Only gods can move mountains and fill seas. Everything that can be done is extremely easy. It's just that most of these gods have contracts with humans and they basically don't appear in real society. Most of them walk in the kingdom of God and the dragons never see their tail, which is probably rare for ordinary people to see them in their lifetime. Because the level of strength is too high, maybe just passing by in real society or something inadvertent will cause the birth of a disaster. This is not unfounded worry, but a real thing that has happened before. In the long divine age, there were not many things that caused trouble in the human world because of powerful gods. Compared with the Yin Shen, the wandering god is indeed like garbage, incomparable at all, and the thousands of wandering gods are not enough to kill the Yin Shen in a single thought. Waited for a while. The girl just walked out of the quiet room and took back the divine object. The two of them said nothing and said goodbye. However, the girl was an open-minded person. Not long after they parted, Chen Shu received the transfer information and another 200,000 was credited to his account. Price adjustments have not yet been made. He doesn't need money very much at the moment, but it would be better if the price is lower, he can get more leaks for him to cut, and his strength can be improved. Improving strength is the first priority. As for the others, there is no need to consider them yet. Not long after, Chen Shu returned home. He didn't open the Book of Souls immediately. He needed to take a moment. For some reason, Chen Shu's strength improved so quickly that he felt uneasy. Chen Shu believed in his own feeling, which had been proven correct countless times. The same is true for fear, or the role of emotion's power that cannot be controlled will only be controlled by power in the end. Chen Xu is a person who is extremely good at summarizing. Just like today, according to his past personality, he would definitely not approach a divine imprint of unknown strength so easily, but would be more cautious. Even if you are shocked, you should not have that kind of unstoppable, uncontrollable anger in your heart. And the anger almost broke through his chest, and he wanted to punch the girl. This is really strange. And after thinking about it, Chen Shu ultimately attributed it to the seeds of fear planted yesterday. Fear itself is an extreme emotion, and not everyone can control it, and the emotion itself will also affect oneself. As the saying goes that extreme happiness leads to sadness, we can understand that various emotions are actually interconnected. 
There are too many divine masters who have been influenced by power during the process of seeking gods and eventually lost their true intentions, becoming puppets of power, slaves of emotions, and even had their temperament changed drastically, becoming extreme and sharp. This is especially true for emotional energy which can easily come back to bite you. There have been so many things like this throughout the ages. Taking history as a guide, Chen Shu is particularly clear-headed. And the only thing that can compete with it is wisdom. Enough wisdom is enough to resist too many unnecessary emotions. Compared with gods, the most valuable thing for humans is wisdom. He just had the auxiliary ability of God of Far Eyes. If he suddenly had another auxiliary ability, it might not be a good thing. So Chen Shu decided to settle down. Instead of choosing to do two math questions, Chen Shu took out a copy of The God of Emotions from the bookshelf, leaned on the table, and read quietly. Humans have seven emotions and six desires, and so do gods. Those who control emotions control life. The God who controls emotions controls human beings. Privately, human nature has many evil thoughts. Good thoughts are derived from virtue, and evil thoughts are derived from the original mind. If the two coexist, we are called human beings. The author is a realm spirit master, with a literary spirit in his body. He has signed contracts with many emotional gods. What he wrote is very meaningful. Chen Shu watched quietly and gradually became addicted to it. From time to time, he would take out a pen and make some notes on it. After acquiring divinity, his wisdom increased a lot, and he absorbed knowledge very quickly. Coupled with the study habits he has developed since childhood, Chen Shu enjoys reading books that are boring to others. He was like a sponge, frantically absorbing every drop of moisture in the book, wishing to squeeze it dry and make it a part of his body. When learning becomes an enjoyable thing, then learning itself becomes a practice. It wasn't until the sun fell into the west and an orange light pierced the entire dusk along the west line that Chen Shu put down the book, his eyes clear, as if there was a flicker of wisdom. I'll buy some books on this topic tomorrow. Regarding emotions, we still need to strengthen them. I thought about it for a while in my seat. There was a burst of aroma coming from outside the house. Brother, it's time to eat. Arrived outside the house. Looking at Chen Qin's busy figure, Chen Shu couldn't help but feel a wave of peace of mind. The table was already filled with food at this time, with a wide variety of dishes, including eight dishes. In the middle, there was also a not-so-big cake. Chen Qin makes it himself, but the appearance and taste are definitely no worse than those sold outside. Just looking at it makes your index finger twitch. Until this time. Chen Shu was a little stunned. Unconsciously, he has been in this world for 18 years. 18 years is really a long time. It has been many years since his parents passed away, and sometimes Chen Shu even forgets about it. Birthdays are celebrated every year, but this year they are surprisingly rich. I think I am 18. Chen Qin is still so thoughtful. Brother, sit down quickly. You are the protagonist today. Chen Qin pulled Chen Shu to his seat with a bright smile, as if you didn't need to move at all today. Chen Shu also let her pull him and said with a smile, Thank you for your hard work, our little cook, said. When he saw some tableware on the table, he couldn't help but be startled. Are there any guests at home today? Yes. Chen Qin said a little embarrassedly, It's your birthday today and I don't have many friends, so I called my neighbors to have a good time together. Brother, is that okay? Chen Shu smiled and said, Okay, okay. Although we basically don't have much contact with each other, we still see each other often. It's fate that we live in the same building, and it's nothing to have a meal together. Besides, since the death of my parents, there has been no liveliness in the house for a long time. After all, my sister doesn't have such a temperament as me, and it's human nature to want to be more lively. Hearing Chen Shu's response, Chen Qin suddenly smiled on his face. Okay, brother, sit down first, I'll call them. With that said, he ran out of the door in a hurry. 
Hearing the thumping footsteps coming from the corridor, Chen Shu couldn't help but smile. Not long after. Excuse me. The one who walked in first was Grandma Zhang downstairs, who had moved in a few years ago. It's just that she seems to have no children, and Chen Shu has never seen any of her descendants come to see her. But thinking about living alone in this community at this age, even if he has children, he is an unworthy descendant speaking of it, he is also a pitiful person. Chen Shu stood up and greeted her with a smile, asking her to sit down. It took about five minutes. All five households in the building gathered at Chen Shu's home. Grandma Zhang lives on the first floor. Sister Wang who lives next door. A master and apprentice pair lived on the third floor. Brother Bai lives on the fourth floor. They had met each other on weekdays. Although it was a bit strange to be together, Chen Shu didn't think it mattered since his sister opened her mouth. The last person to arrive was Sister Wang from next door. She was a delicate-looking woman, but her body was a bit mutilated, and she came with a cane. The strangest thing is the pair of masters and apprentices living on the third floor. Both of them are bald and dressed as monks. The younger one is not very old. He looks like he is 70 or 8 years old, while the older one is in his 60s or 70s. Look, there are not many monks in this era, People who practice this way can more easily invite the Buddha to take over the body. Those who practice deeply are like living Buddhas in the world and can even bring out the true body of the great Buddha with extremely powerful strength. For example, there are many temples and Taoist temples in the city. In fact, they have gradually become professional, which is not surprising. The strange thing is that the master and apprentice do not live in the temple but rent in the southern suburbs. After everyone is seated, turn on the lights. There was no wine, so everyone had juice instead. After the formal clinking of glasses, the meal began. Several people didn't talk much, especially Sister Wang and Brother Bai, who basically didn't talk. Only Grandma Zhang, Sister, and the Master and Apprentice pair talked more. Xiaoquan's cooking skills are getting better and better. This cooking skill is almost as good as that of Lingshu Hotel. Hey, it's just so-so. Sister, sister, when I grow up, can I marry you? Then I can have food like this every day. The little novice monk raised his head and said with wide eyes. Chen Kin smiled and said, Let's wait until you grow up. Yummy, yummy, so delicious. It's so delicious. Brother Bai suddenly spoke, but his voice became louder and louder. Brother Ziobai, please be quiet while eating. The disabled Sister Wang seemed taller than everyone else when she was sitting, but once she opened her mouth, Brother Bai never dared to say anything again. Chen Shu only felt weird, but he looked at everything in front of him with a smile on his face, and he was also a little happy in his heart, the long-lost excitement made people seem to forget their loneliness. Dong dong dong. At this moment, there was a knock on the door. There was silence at the dinner table. I'll open the door. Chen Shu said something and walked to the door. Opening the door, there were two people standing outside, both acquaintances. One is Zhang Teng, and the other is the goddess Liu Huo from the neurological office whom I met yesterday. Chen Shu didn't show any surprise on his face as if he had expected it. Chen Shu? Liu Huo was the first to speak. Hello, I am Shen Suo Liu Huan. We have investigated that there is a shadowy evil spirit in the southern suburbs. I wonder if it would be convenient for you to use your eyes to help us. Of course, this is paid. We will absolutely guarantee your safety, and there will also be certain financial subsidies. Liu Huo is obviously a resolute person, which can be seen from the fact that she turned around and arrested Zhang Teng. The same was true at this time. Zhang Teng was not given a chance to intervene at all, and he acted businesslike. Okay. Chen Shu nodded. He had already known that they would come through her conversation with Zhang Teng before. He even knew everything about their treatment and had already made plans in his heart. Go. Why are you not going? As long as safety can be guaranteed, Chen Shu is not resistant to such things. Besides, they gave too much. 
Besides, maybe the Soul Resurrection book can also provide some small surprises. Good. Liu Huo was a little surprised, but she nodded quickly. Someone will come to pick you up in the evening, and someone will contact you later about the treatment issue. I won't bother you for now. Finished. She turned around and left without hesitation. Not long after leaving the house, Zhang Teng asked in confusion. Sister Liu, didn't you say that we still need to talk about treatment? There are also divine objects. At this time, Zhang Teng discovered that Liu Huo's body was trembling slightly. Under the dim light, his face was as pale as a piece of white paper, and he could see sweat dripping on his forehead as if he had just recovered from the cold. Like being fished out of the water. Zhang Teng was shocked. Sister Liu, are you okay? But I heard Liu Huo tremblingly say, Don't ask, don't look back, go, go forward. Zhang Teng trembled when he heard this, but he did not dare to speak anymore. It wasn't until she walked thousands of meters away and got into the car that Liu Hua seemed to let out a long sigh of relief. She slumped in the car, feeling that her hands and feet were weak and weak, and her back was soaked with cold sweat. The same is true for the lion spirit god in her body. He still has the posture of the king of beasts curling up like a puppy. Who is this Chen Shu? Liu Hua's heart was like a tsunami. Why were there so many powerful beings gathered in an ordinary two-bedroom apartment? Are you still celebrating his birthday? Just the look in their eyes almost made her collapse and inside the house. Chen Shu looked at the family, smiled and said, Keep eating, keep eating. It's just a little thing. Also, Ziyuakin, I just want to tell you about going to Shanghai to study in Shanghai. This is a good opportunity, you can't miss it. The protagonist is not a psychopath. Night. Fend away the enthusiastic neighbors. After cleaning up all the messy cups and plates, Chen Kin went back to the house to practice. Chen Shubin said he wanted to help, but he asked her to force him out. It can be seen that she is in a good mood. After all, the opportunity to go to the Magic City for special recruitment does not come every year, and it is also an excellent opportunity for her. It's just that because of my brother, I'm a little worried and always struggling. Now that I have solved the biggest problem in my heart, my mood is naturally very beautiful. The same is true for Chen Shu. Being a spirit chef is not a profession for cats and dogs. Feeding spirits with delicious food is not something that can be achieved by any profession. Chen Shu is full of joy that his sister can have a better development. But Chen Shu did not rest quietly waiting for the arrival of the man from God. Ring, ring, ring. The cell phone rings in the night. Chen Shu picked up the call, and it was an unfamiliar number. Soon, a woman's voice came from among them. Mr. Chen, I am Liu Huan. I am at the door of your community now. It goes without saying. Chen Shu took a quick look and saw that the space was full of peaks. Nothing in front of him could block his sight and the distant distances came to him in an instant. I have already seen you. The picture pops up before your eyes. It was a black car, thousands of meters away. Chen Shu not only saw Liu Hua, but also two other people sitting in the car. On the opposite side of the road from the car, there was also a car that looked like it was parked. Unrelated cars. As expected, there were three people sitting in the car. Probably a small group. Excluding Zhang Teng who was huddled in another car, there were five people in total. It is the composition of a normal divine master team. Ah, uh, okay. Liu Nuo was stunned for a moment and then said, Then we will wait for you here. Chen Shu responded and then hung up the phone. Before going out, Chen Shu thought about it and took the butcher's knife with him from the kitchen. Although there was a high probability that there would be no problem, there is nothing wrong with having a self-defense weapon. Besides, if you bring the butcher's knife with you more often, you might be able to surprise Chen Shu at some point. Not long after, Chen Shu had already arrived at Liu Huan's car. Hey, let's get to know each other. As soon as he got in the car, a young man sitting in the passenger seat turned around. 
He was a handsome young man, about 25 or 6 years old, with a pair of dark eyes, which looked extremely sharp and inexplicable. I felt like I was being watched. Su Wenkai, assassin type wandering master. Chen Shu came back to his senses and shook his hand lightly. Chen Shu is probably an auxiliary wandering master. Su Wenkai glanced at the butcher's knife in Chen Shu's arms, choked and said nothing. But he was muttering crazily in his heart, You call this assistance. Chen Shu noticed that although Su Wenkai's arms were wearing a layer of outer clothing, they were thick and strong to the naked eye, while his hands were extremely slender and even looked a bit sharp. However, this is also a normal phenomenon. After the Divine Master invites the god into the bottle, some subtle changes will occur in both body shape and temperament. There are even people with strange eyes. But these changes are basically very subtle, and few people will experience such huge changes. But if someone's change is really huge, then it can be concluded that the strength of the god of entering the bottle is absolutely tyrannical. Genius. Su Wankai was stunned for a moment, then became interested. Are you 20 years old this year? Have you already reached the realm of the wandering god, master? Chen Shu smiled lightly. Lucky, lucky. Subsequently, I briefly got to know a few people present. No matter what, there will be a period of contact between them. Not only are they familiar with each other, but they still need to know at least some basic things. Except Zhang Teng a team of five. Liu Huo is a wandering divine master of the beast god type, two assassin type wandering divine masters, a fire attribute wandering divine master, and a taciturn arcane wandering divine master. The five wandering masters can be considered to be extremely serious about dealing with a shadow wandering evil spirit. Only, Chen Shu was silent in his heart. This team configuration is not healthy. As mentioned before, the choice between humans and gods is not a one-way choice, but a two-way choice. People's talents are limited, and the compatibility with gods is one of the extremely important indicators. In other words, the vast majority of people are born with a higher degree of compatibility with certain gods. Just like the previous snake girl, she was born to be very compatible with snake gods, so the contracts she signed with gods were often with snake gods. This is one of a kind. And there are people who are born closer to the fire element, some people are born closer to the physical gods, and some people are closer to the plant gods. To name a few. Of course, this does not mean that you can only sign these. Just like the snake girl, couldn't she sign a contract with him, a distant-eyed god? It's just that no matter what you do, you must pay attention to a cost-effectiveness. If you sign a contract with a god that is compatible with you, you can borrow more power, practice faster, and improve your strength faster. Generally speaking, few people would do such a thankless thing unless necessary. However, divine masters who often practice in the kingdom of God will basically sign contracts with some life attribute gods. Fire attribute and water attribute are the two most popular ones, and they are basically guaranteed to survive in the wild. Not bad. So, because of this, the divine master can also briefly divide some categories through the functions of the gods such as life system, auxiliary system, assassin system, element system, beast god system, plant system, illusion system, metal life system, etc. For example, this team, although there are five wandering masters, can basically all be classified into the combat system. There is no problem in dealing with ordinary evil spirits, but once they deal with shadow evil spirits that tend to be a little weirder, it's a bit confusing. No wonder the operation failed yesterday. Shadow evil spirits basically haunt late at night, probably around 2 o'clock at night. At that time, everything is quiet, which is the most suitable time for him to act. In addition, the operation failed last night, so it was already a warning. Will it happen tonight? There are still two things to say. However, the evil spirit itself is a spiritual god who failed to be promoted. He has limited intelligence and a cruel temperament, so he may not know how to hide his power and bide his time. 
Yesterday, we used our long-distance capabilities to search in the southern suburbs and finally found the traces of the evil spirit. It was probably in this unfinished building among thousands of buildings. But we didn't have the means to peep through it, so we couldn't find it in the daytime. To force it out, it can only be done at night, when there is no light or shadow. We have blocked the Wonkian building for one day today, prohibiting everyone from entering or exiting, including the shadow cast by the building, in order to prevent them from escaping through the shadow. So far, this evil spirit has killed three people. They died in horrible conditions and their shadows were all stolen. Due to some special circumstances, a lot of people were transferred from the Shiku City Shrine so. Chen Shu, the shadow evil spirit, once saw a description in a book. The book said that under the bright sun, if you walk into the dark shadows and feel a little chilly when you walk out, it may be the evil spirit of the shadow sneaked into the shadow. At night, evil spirits will emerge from the shadows and devour people's bodies. It is an evil spirit that is extremely difficult to deal with. Chen Shu looked up from the car window and saw that there was indeed no moon tonight. Liu Huo roughly told Chen Shu about the current situation and finally spoke. Then let's get started, shall we? Chen Shu I am assisting you to ask me. Not sure if it was an illusion, but Chen Shu always felt that this woman seemed a little afraid of him. Ordinarily, it shouldn't be. Keeping these doubts in his heart, Chen Shu nodded. Let's go to a closer distance. It's a bit. Liu Huo was still talking, but she wisely closed her mouth. Then he saw that Chen Shu's body had not moved. He just raised his eyes and looked in the direction of the unfinished building. His spiritual thoughts gathered together, and there seemed to be a light flickering in his left eye, making the deep darkness become even deeper, as if there was a glimpse. The power to break people's hearts. A swish sound flashed through my mind that didn't actually exist. Immediately afterwards, everything in front of him seemed to be going backwards like crazy. Everything jumped into his eyes, including streets, floors, pedestrians on the road, and even a leaf on a big tree. In the blink of an eye, Chen Shu's sight had arrived at the unfinished building. Everything was clearly displayed in front of his eyes. In the empty building, there were only a few lonely pillars and broken steel bars. Scattered outside, there were also some rags that the workers had not taken away, and some traces of homeless people living there all appeared in front of him one by one. Chen Shu's eyes scanned every corner of the building from bottom to top like a precision instrument, not missing a single trace. Chen Shu's eyesight has almost reached its peak. He is the god of far eyes, and he has finally exerted his god-like power in this aspect. No matter how deep the night is, it still seems like daytime in his eyes. It took almost only a few minutes to completely scan the building. Zhang Tang on the side was dumbfounded. This doesn't even require a curse. What level is this? The other people also looked weird. You don't need to ask for God's incantation to borrow strength. This is something that not just cats and dogs can do. Let's borrow some help. Liu Huo said from the side. The ability of shadow evil spirits to hide in the night is almost unparalleled. It took almost an hour to find it last night. Don't waste time. Good. Zhang Tang nodded, not bothering to eat dry food. His spiritual thoughts surged, and a soft and soft voice slowly sounded in the middle of the night. The noble god of far-sighted eyes, please lend me the ultimate power of vision to help me see through the fog. It was originally a powerful mantra, but with Chen Shu, a big boss who didn't need to recite the mantra, in front, Zhang Teng was able to recite it, and he felt inexplicably ashamed. And just when he had just borrowed his eyesight, he was about to show off a wave of his own effects. Chen Shu, who was leaning against the window, as relaxed as if admiring the moon, suddenly said, Found it. Zhang Ten, did you find this? Is this the world of bosses? Real? Liu Huo asked calmly, first glancing at Zhang Tang beside him. I was looking for him for almost an hour last night. Don't get me wrong. Um, Chen Shu said quietly. It's a ball of black mist, isn't it? 
It's one meter and a half in size, completely black, roughly round in shape, with only two limbs in the shape of claws and a big mouth on the back of the head. Other than that, there are no other organs. Injured. Got it? Half of the right paw was broken off. This guy is very smart. He is hiding in the corner of the southwest staircase on the fourth floor. If you don't look carefully, you will pass by. Liu Hua took a deep breath and her eyes became sharp. It's him. Action. Chen Shu said calmly. Well, let's take action. I'll keep an eye on him. The vehicle started quickly, and the black body of the car was like a ghost lurking in the dark night, driving quickly towards the building in the middle of the night. The blockade was extremely extreme. Around this unfinished building, even the street lights that would normally be turned on every day were completely dark. Within a radius of several hundred meters, it was like a forbidden light zone, with no light source to be seen. The car didn't even turn on its lights. At this moment, Su Wenkai seemed a little curious and turned back to Zhang Tang and asked, Didn't you see it? Zhang Tang, ah this Abba Abba. I'm watching it. I'm really watching it. At the corner of the southwest stairs, Chen Shu didn't speak when he heard this. After all, Zhang Tang's compatibility is not excellent and he can borrow less than 50% of his power. Unless his strength reaches the level of a spiritual master, it is normal for him to be invisible. Feeling the gurgling spiritual thoughts coming from Zhang Tang's mark not only offset Chen Shu's own consumption, but even increased it. Chen Shu took a deep breath. There are indeed limits to being a human being. Su Wenkai took another deep look at Chen Shu, who had no expression on his face, and turned around, not knowing what he was thinking. It wasn't until several people approached within a few hundred meters of the building that Zhang Teng let out an excited cry, I saw it, I saw it. Several people thought about Chen Shu's achievements just now thousands of meters away, and they all remained silent. This gap is a bit big. Just stop here. Chen Shu said, He seems to have sensed my gaze. In his sight, the evil shadow spirit that was originally lurking quietly now seemed a little anxious, squirming back and forth. The car stopped quietly. Several people walked out of the car quietly. Liu Hua glanced at Zhang Tang, but still said nothing. She always felt that she might not have sensed Zhang Tang's gaze. At this moment, she felt a little regretful for bringing this boy with her. She would have known that he would be detained in the shrine for a few days. Chen Shu put on the tactical headset, sat in the car and looked at the people and said, Go back quickly, everyone. I will notify you at any time if he makes any moves. Liu Hua and the others didn't say anything when they heard this. It was agreed from the beginning that Chen Shu would only search and not participate in the direct battle. After getting ready, several people stepped into the darkness with solemn expressions. A lion fights a rabbit with all his strength, not to mention that the shadow evil spirit is already difficult to deal with. At this time, Chen Shu was sitting quietly in the car, his eyes covering the entire building. I just feel like it's so easy to earn this money. Two chapters in one. Please follow up and read it, the book has been pushed up. This data is quite important. Try not to raise the new book in its tender stage, as it can easily die. So even if you don't read it, just turn to the last page and keep it. Grateful. The price for this help is 200000 This is probably about the same as the general market price. The price of hiring a wandering master basically fluctuates around ten or 200000 Of course, it also depends on the difficulty of the task. Just like Chen Shu now, he only needs to sit in the car and observe the situation from time to time, and he will receive 200,000 yuan at the end of the matter. It is really easy. For example, the number of distant-eyed divine masters is already scarce, especially the number of distant-eyed gods. This makes the number of distant-eyed divine masters even rarer. For matters that require the power of the master Yuanmu, there is often no other alternative power. In the car, Chen Shu's eyes were always fixed on the shadow evil spirit. He moved. Enter the fourth floor from the southwest side under the first pillar. 
Chen Shu's faint voice sounded from the headset. The expressions of several people did not change, but their movements were all walking towards that side in unison, faintly showing the tendency of rapping in all directions, covering all the escape directions of the shadow evil spirit. In the dark night, the hidden abilities of shadow evil spirits are extremely powerful. Even wandering masters of the same level cannot detect them without relevant abilities. Therefore, Chen Shu's ability is extremely important. The failure of the operation last night was also related to Zhang Teng's inability to fully target it, resulting in no chance to fight head-on. When the shadow fell at dawn, it would be even more difficult to find it. Otherwise, in a five-on-one situation, no matter how you look at it, I will have the advantage. However, no matter how the shadow evil spirit was escaping in Chen Shu's eyes, it was as clear as if it was walking in the daytime. It can only be said to be the restraint between gods and ministers. He found you. Chen Shu turned on the headset and continued, Towards the south, they are probably trying to break out. There is a black light on their claws. Be careful. My advice is to strike first. The black light contains black that is almost condensed to the extreme. The shadow evil spirit has no facial features, but the mouth on the back of its head is slightly grinned at this time, with fangs growing interlaced and several humanoid and animal-shaped curses are spitting out from it. The shadow, the shadow's face couldn't be seen, but the whole thing was crazily twisted, as if it was shouting and roaring. With strong resentment, Chen Shu was not physically present, but just looking at it, his body felt like a thorn in the back, as if he felt a fatal threat from it. Those who work as shadows hunt shadows and often kill people invisibly. It is an extremely powerful job in the assassin's way. Hearing Chen Shu speak, Su Wenkai's face turned pale. He was the person responsible for blocking the South. The lips moved silently. I respectfully ask the god of fox hunting to use my body to fight against the trapped beasts. I respectfully ask the god of wind chimes to accompany me in the form of wind, so that the wind can be with me. I sincerely ask the god of broken daggers to lend me your sharp edge to kill the evil spirits. As his spiritual thoughts surged, Su Wenkai invited three wandering gods. Suddenly, it seemed that there was a hunting fox in the jungle bearing its fangs, pacing on Su Wenkai's body. There were wind chimes floating in the wind, taking advantage of the wind. A broken dagger flashed with sharp light, leisurely, out. In an instant, there seemed to be a slight crackling sound of bones on Su Wenkai's body. I saw his body arched, and there seemed to be a breeze floating around him. His body suddenly became light and agile, and he stepped on the ground silently. His eyes turned into fox eyes, and power surged from his arms. A pair of slender palms were in vain. It transformed into the shape of sharp claws, and the nails suddenly grew long and gleaming with sharp light. There is an arm god in Su Wenkai's body. Strength and speed are combined with each other. It is a long story, but in fact it is only completed in an instant. Do it. Pew Wenkai drank lightly. The fox's eyes were sharp. He stepped forward without making any sound, but his body arrived first. The distance of more than ten meters was reached almost in the blink of an eye. The sharp claws were swung out, like the sound of a blade sizzling through the air. It's like tearing the air. Uh-huh. The sharp claws, which are more than thirty centimeters long, grip the stone pillars like cutting through cubes of tofu without any obstruction. Clang. The sharp claws made a crisp sound as if they were colliding with iron tools in the darkness. Bingo. Fu Wenkai's heart was agitated, and he suddenly noticed the sound of breaking through the air coming from the left and quickly grabbed out with his left paw. Clang. There was another sound of iron weapons clashing. Along with it, there was a scream that was difficult to describe in words. Retreat to the left. At this moment, Chen Shu's voice sounded in his ears. Almost without thinking, Su Wenkai stepped on his foot and moved three meters away. And the next moment, where he originally stood, several shadows filled with resentment slammed down like limp objects and roars followed. Silent. 
the attack transformed from the shadow seemed to come from a different space and no sound could be heard. Su Wenkai was afraid. If Chen Shu hadn't reminded him, he might have suffered a serious disaster today. Roar. In the blink of an eye, the giant lion spirit god Liu Huan stepped out and let out a wild roar. The ground shook with the sound waves. I sincerely ask the god of mountains and stones to give me a solid body through repeated tempering. Liu Huo's voice sounded and the god of mountains and rocks gave him power, but he changed the direction in mid-air and quickly gave it to the body of the giant lion. In an instant, the hair on the body of the giant lion spirit became like rocks. He rushed away suddenly, and there was a heavy muffled sound on the ground. In the blink of an eye, he came in front of the shadow evil spirit's body, and the lion's claws the size of a table slammed down hard. Bang, bang, bang. This claw actually smashed a huge hole into the floor. Hiss. The shadow on the body of the shadow evil spirit trembled violently and the round body seemed to crack open, with dark, shadow-like blood oozing out, and he couldn't help but let out a hissing sound of pain. Bang, bang, bang. The giant lion seemed to be unreasonable, and slapped its claws continuously. The ground hit by thousands of kilograms of force kept cracking, as if it was about to collapse in the next moment. Don't smash it. He escaped behind the giant lion. Chen Shu's helpless voice sounded at the right time. He will now know why last night's operation failed. This shadow evil spirit is really slippery. Even if it is seriously injured, it can still escape with the power of latent shadow, as cunning as a fox. At this time, what the giant lion bombarded was just a beast-shaped shadow that he left on the spot. But it was still real, and it was really not easy to find. Liu Huo and the god of entering the bottle were connected. Almost as soon as Chen Shu finished speaking, the giant lion's tail, as thick as a whip, suddenly pulled out from behind. It was so powerful that even fine steel would be destroyed. Crush! Boom! The long tail struck with real feeling, and the tail that was originally as hard as steel became soft in an instant and wrapped around it, directly entangling the evil spirit in the air. Zhang Mu do it! Liu Huo gave a light drink. Zhang Mu, who had been standing behind him from beginning to end, had his hand on the handle of the knife at his waist, his body slightly arched like a cheetah, and his eyes as sharp as a blade. He murmured softly, I respectfully ask the god of war to lend me the power of a single blow and cut off anything that resists. I respectfully ask the giant god to lend me your body and tear the sudden wind into pieces. I beg the god of wind chimes to lend me a blast of wind and give me the sharpness of a knife. Please, god of broken jade, lend me a jade-shattered blow. Zhang Mu murmured in his mouth and invited several gods in succession, especially several of them, who were obviously not wandering gods. Like the god of war, there are many gods that refer to him, but every one of them, at their weakest, is also a realm god. As Zhang Mu kept talking, the changes in his body gradually appeared. His body, which was not tall at first, seemed to be forcibly lifted up a few inches and turned into a little giant. His arms suddenly became thicker and even his eyes all became wild. The huge mental pressure seemed to crush the evil spirit and its body twisted crazily. Piss! And after continuously inviting the power of several gods to add to the blow, Zhang Wu obviously reached the limit that his body could bear. Die. Boom. It was as if a bomb exploded out of thin air, the ground beneath Zhang Wu's feet shattered, and he couldn't even be seen in the darkness, only a flash of knife light flashed by. The ultimate divine master only wants to kill with one strike, the next moment. Zhang Mu's body appeared a few meters away, the knife was sheathed, and his face was slightly pale. The body of the evil spirit, who was tightly bound by the giant lion spirit god, had been cut in half and fell to the ground. His body twitched slightly and made no sound anymore. Yesterday I hit my right index finger at work, so it was a bit difficult to type. There is still one chapter left, so it will be a little later. Thanks to the friend who tipped book friends 42 new 47, he is the first tipper for this book. Please read it, even if it is an old author.
but this book's poor performance still surprised me a bit. In the car, Chen Shu smacked his lips and couldn't help but sigh. God of War, Giant God. These are all gods of high rank. Those who can achieve godhood through martial arts are at the lowest level as realm gods. The giant god is also a special existence among the gods, and most of them can be achieved by those with huge bodies. It's not comparable to ordinary wandering gods at all. In other words, there is no need for any comparison between the two. It is not an exaggeration to say that there is one heaven and one earth. Who would have thought that Jiang Mu, who seems taciturn, would be the strongest person in the entire team? The ultimate divine master. There aren't many. Because it is too extreme, the error tolerance rate is too low. But every tyrannical Jai Dao master is a being that the same level is unwilling to face. This is also the first time that Chen Shu has met the ultimate master in life. Zhang Mu is obviously such a person. What he pursues is to gather all his power into one blow. This reminded Chen Shu of a boy who had been struck by lightning and turned into yellow hair. Concentrate and reach the top. This requires a strong sense of belief and very few people can get through it. Zhang Mu's blow just now, I am afraid that among the entire team, even Liu Huo would have no hope of surviving if he was hit. The words are divided into two parts. Chen Shu was thinking about it in his mind, but on the other side, everyone seemed to be used to it and didn't show the slightest surprise. After confirming that the evil spirit has indeed been removed, operation over, Liu Nuo said in the headset. At this time, the flames rose up, summoned by the fire attribute magician, driving away the darkness and illuminating the surrounding space as if it were daytime. The scattered gravel, exposed steel bars, cracked ground, and severely broken huge stone pillars all showed that this was a big battle. There were actually only three people who took action, but the fire magic master was originally focused on prevention. After using the ability, the light and shadow illuminated by the flames would make the shadow evil spirits like a duck to water, which could only be regarded as a protection at best. The whole battle sounds long, but in fact it only takes place within a few minutes. This is the case in the battle of a divine master. The victory or defeat is often just a few millimeters apart. But it is normal. The strength of these people is already higher than that of the evil spirits. It is just that they do not have strong means of checks and balances, so they are a little embarrassed. With Chen Shu joining today, it is naturally a lot easier, otherwise the operation might fail again tonight. A few minutes later, several people, including Chen Shu and Zhang Teng, gathered on the fourth floor. When Chen Shu arrived, Liu Nuo and Su Wenkai looked over, with indescribable expressions in their eyes, which were slightly complicated. Even they themselves did not expect that tonight's operation would go so smoothly. After all, when they first recruited Chen Shu, they only treated it with the mentality of treating a dead horse as a live doctor. After all, he was just a far-sighted divine master of the wandering god level. They thought at the time, they just had one more, and he is just about the same level as Zhang Teng. Even worse than Zhang Teng, after all, his age is here. Zhang Teng? Yes, I thought he was here to assist me at first. But I didn't expect it. When they first met, Chen Shu brought them a surprise. The battle ended in just a few minutes, and the difference was often just a matter of millimeters, but Chen Shu's instructions always arrived as soon as possible. If this were not the case, it would definitely not have been so smooth. They were the ones who contributed to tonight's operation, but if we want to talk about the first success, except for Zhang Mu, who can kill with one blow, they were the ones taking the command hundreds of meters away. It's a cliché. It's money well spent. How did you do it? Zhang Teng, who was playing soy sauce tonight, couldn't hold back and asked Chen Shu, who was looking at the corpse of the evil spirit. Chen Shu was stunned for a moment. What? Zhang Teng's face turned red, and he muttered, just to see his movements clearly and then, take command? Is this the basic skill of the distance eye system? Don't there be tactics courses in high school? Chen Shu glanced at Zhang Tang inexplicably. Zhang Tang. 
Do you call this basic skills? I can't even see clearly. Chen Shu ignored Zhang Teng, but looked at the body on the ground with interest. Although he had carefully seen the corpse through his clairvoyance, this was actually the first time that Chen Shu had seen the corpse of an evil spirit. The knocker he killed the night before was just an inferior spirit, and it disintegrated immediately after being killed. Nothing special. After death, it is not much different from the chickens in the market. He pointed to the body on the ground and asked, what should I do with this thing? Of course they are brought back, but they are usually circulated to the market and sold or digested within our team. Liu Hua said, The corpse of the evil spirit also has some value. It can be used as a sacrifice when inviting gods. You may be able to invite a shadow god. It is a good choice for an assassin god. Chen Shu nodded calmly, Can you give me some of his blood? For spiritual nourishment? Liu Huo glanced at the butcher knife in Chen Shu's hand. Chen Shu didn't deny it. There was no reaction from the soul-suppressing book after killing him, and it was not easy to come out. He had to give the butcher knife a taste of meat. Of course, there is plenty of blood. While Su Wenkai was helping to draw blood, he put on his gloves and took out a gray-black crystal from the evil spirit's body. Chen Shu's breathing was stagnant. His body seemed to be craving for this crystal. Like instinct. It's a spiritual crystal. It's a spiritual crystal. Su Wenkai's joyful voice sounded, with some ecstasy. What a good luck. This is the spiritual crystal. Su Wenkai saw that Chen Shu seemed to be very interested, and said softly, Spirit crystal is a kind of crystal that is gathered in the body of a spirit. Generally speaking, it can only be seen after death, and there is a certain probability. This probability extremely low, almost to the point of being outrageous. This thing is very precious. Generally speaking, its function is limited to serving as a sacrifice to the gods, and being used as a sacrifice is also extremely attractive to the gods. This spiritual crystal alone is more important than the entire corpse. However, it contains a lot of energy. There is still no way that the master can directly use it. However, I have heard that some people have successfully absorbed it, but there are also people who imitate it. If you are unlucky, these energies are the most poisonous of poison. Su Wenkai had a smile on his face. He was really happy. To be honest, he really didn't expect such an unexpected surprise. The probability of the evil spirit being able to find spiritual crystals was almost 1%. As an assassin godmaster, it is completely impossible for you to assume that Su Wenkai has no interest in the shadow god. It seems that it is because he does not have a high degree of compatibility in this regard. He has tried to invite him many times, but without exception there was no response. But the spiritual crystal is different. With the spiritual crystal and the corpse of a shadow evil spirit, it was enough for him to invite a shadow spirit god. This is not a spiritual god in a broad sense, but a real spiritual god above the wandering god. This is undoubtedly a huge surprise for Su Wenkai. But, but he didn't see that when he introduced the spiritual crystal in his hand to Chen Shu, Chen Shu's face became increasingly weird, and even the expression on his face became a little strange. At this time, he had only one thought in his mind. Isn't this the Godhead? What kind of spiritual crystal is not spiritual crystal? The so-called spiritual crystal mentioned by the Divine Master is actually the Godhead to the gods. Chen Shu didn't know why he knew it, but just as Su Wenkai told him, such an idea came to his mind involuntarily. It's like he should have known. However, Chen Shu's brain was also telling him that the gray-black crystal in front of him was not a complete Godhead, but could only be said to be the condensation of failed promotion. For a divine master, maybe a lucky master, like one who specializes in the way of shadows, might be able to absorb it, but for other people it is undoubtedly useless. But for the gods, this is a natural thing. 
The effect of this tonic is no less than that of ordinary genius treasures. If this god happens to be a shadow god, then this one alone can save him decades of practice. Spirit crystal is obviously another controlled material, otherwise Chen Shu wouldn't be like hearing it for the first time. But this is normal. Whether it is the past life or the present in any social form, there will definitely be an information gap, that is to say, certain information is only circulated to some people or a certain small circle. Spiritual crystals are only a very small part of them. Chen Shu believes that there are still many things that he doesn't know, and he can only come into contact with them when he has the opportunity or when he has the strength in the future. But now that he has come into contact with the spiritual crystal, Chen Shu will naturally not let it go. You know, spiritual crystals, also known as divine heads, are really a great supplement for gods, but truly powerful gods often exist in another dimension and weaker gods are not qualified to come into contact with them. Such a thing as Godhead. But Chen Shuneng. Godhead, just by feeling the feeling of hunger and thirst coming from his body, he can feel that this is of great benefit to him. If he hadn't exercised great restraint on himself, he would have really wanted to raise his hands and say, I have a better idea of how to deal with this spiritual crystal. There was obviously no hope for this spiritual crystal. Su Wenkai barely had the words, I want, engraved on his face, and Chen Shu didn't have the dignity to let others give up. At this time, Liu Hua and others looked at Su Wenkai with a look of envy on their faces. After all, a spiritual crystal, not to mention the price, is enough to be enviable just because it has great benefits for praying to gods. Asking God is also a very metaphysical matter. No matter what kind of person you are, whether you are in a high position or powerful, there must be gods that you want to invite but cannot. The process of asking a god to invite a god is actually a process of building the framework of one's own system. Sometimes there is a missing god in the middle, and the god who can mess with it can't sleep well for several years. Everyone knows that Su Wenkai has wanted to invite the shadow god many times. So I can only envy his good luck and congratulate him on getting what he wanted. At this time, Chen Shu asks, Where can I buy this spiritual crystal? Liu Huo glanced at Chen Shu and then said, Spiritual crystals cannot be bought. I don't know why this thing is very strictly controlled. Unless you hunt it yourself, you are not allowed to buy or sell it privately. But... Liu Huo hesitated for a moment, as if there was some hesitation, and looked at Chen Shu again before speaking. If you try your luck in the black market, you can sometimes get it, but most of them are barter. Chen Shu suddenly realized. He just knew it. He didn't believe that no one could see the connection between the spiritual crystal and the godhead. Even if no one could see it, there would always be gods who could recognize it. It was impossible to let such resources go everywhere unscrupulously. If the sale is prohibited, it also means that someone knows the importance of this thing, and there are gods who accept the service and make some transactions that Chen Shu can't think of. Black Market Chen Shu was startled again. The water in this world seemed to be much deeper than he imagined. Facing Chen Shu's question, Liu Huo said nothing, but glanced at Zhang Teng who was standing aside. The meaning was self-evident. Zhang Teng looked like a student who just didn't listen to the class and took a long time to react after the question was finished. There was a clear stupidity in his eyes, and he looked at Chen Shu. Brother Shu, what did you just say? What about black silk stockings? Where are the black silk stockings? Chen Shu was speechless for a moment. I didn't expect this person to be a wonderful person. This world is indeed not that simple. Wait until it's all over. Chen Shu returned home. It was a little hard to calm down for a while. He also gained a lot tonight. In addition to the 200,000 that had already arrived, there were also several large jars of evil spirit blood. When Su Wenkai was happy, he wanted to twist the evil spirit into a towel and squeeze out the blood to pour into Chen Shu. At least in the past few months, there is no need to worry about the service problem of the butcher knife. 
Maybe with fresh blood, this guy can really bring some surprises to Chen Shu. And beyond that, the biggest reward is the address of the black market. Chen Shu always has a very magical feeling. It was like he was truly exposed to the world. Black market? Black market. This is such a tempting word. Chen Shu has even begun to imagine that in a dark corner, there is an inconspicuous device, and after opening it, a new world opens up. So Chen Shu couldn't wait to add Liu Huo's communication, waiting for Liu Huo to tell him the truth about the world. Yes, he couldn't wait to see the real face of the world, and even had an inexplicable excitement men always seem to be like this, getting excited about some inexplicable things, even if it seemed a bit strange to outsiders. Baffling. For some reason, Chen Shu even used his clairvoyance ability to scan a wide circle when he joined Liu Huan as if he had a sense of visibility like an underground party joint. To understand the truth about this world, start from the black market. Until Liu Huo's message came. Liu Wu, www.fhgbzsk-com Chen Shu, Liu Hua, don't you want the black market address? Doubt doubt doubt. Chen Shu, thank you smile. Suddenly, there was a feeling of broken dreams. Times have changed. After entering the invitation code sent by Liu Huan and registering the account Shu, the webpage opened, just like a normal webpage. Although Liu Huo said that the invitation code was precious, Chen Shu was still a little worried about the fact that there was no switch to open the door to the new world in the dark corner. But he soon put these things behind him because the black market did not let him down. What appears in front of you is just an extremely simple interface, a search box. In the search box, it was written in gray words, everything you want. Although it is obvious that he has a strong bragging behavior, it must be said that he really bluffed Chen Shu. So he entered the word divine head into the search engine and clicked search directly. Fari, we didn't find what you were looking for. Maybe you can try to increase your permissions. Tisk. A slight tut. Chen Shu then started searching for other things, including divine objects, and searched them all one by one. Finally, he came to the conclusion that there was indeed something in this black market. Many prohibited items had clearly marked prices on it. Chen Shu even saw a sacred slough of Sakura Ninja. On this page, it seems that anything from any country can be searched. Of course, the price is also very unfriendly. Chen Shu looked at it for a long time and found out sadly that there was nothing he could afford now. In the end, Chen Shu directly searched for spiritual crystal. It's not as exaggerated as Liu Xuan said, there is still quite a lot of data. In an instant, messages were displayed on it. However, the vast majority of sellers are looking for barter, and even if it is not barter, there are other restrictions. I searched for a long time. Chen Shukai saw a piece of news from the day before yesterday and was instantly attracted. One mechanical spiritual crystal can be exchanged for a far-sighted spiritual crystal, or the right to use related abilities. Note, I don't have a high degree of compatibility with the distance vision system. Note, my ability requirements for distant-eyed gods are as follows. Chen Shu took a rough look. It's not an exaggerated ability, it just requires a lot of distance and perspective. But unfortunately, Chen Shu himself is a perfect fit. It was as if this was specially prepared for him, so he quickly sent the message. The seller's name was I wanted to be a telescope for a long time. Chen Shu always felt that this nickname looked a bit familiar, as if he had seen it somewhere. But anyway, it was on the internet, and there were all kinds of random nicknames. Maybe he had seen it before. I didn't think much about it. Hello, are your things still there? The message there was replied very quickly, obviously it was always online. Sorry, it's not for sale now. Chen Shu was depressed. Why? A message was sent over there. Because I have found a seller of divine sloughs, which perfectly meets my requirements, so I will not sell the spiritual crystals for the time being. It can be seen that there is a very well-behaved person over there. Even on the internet, he tried his best to reply to Chen Shu. 
However, Chen Shu's eyes became a little strange. He tentatively sent two words on the message, cow cow. Opposite. You are? With a smile on Chen Shu's face, he opened the Shenshi app, sent a message to a leak named Cow Cow is actually a magnifying glass, and cancelled his order by the way. Yes, now you can continue selling spiritual crystals. Finally, after friendly consultations, the two reached a consensus. In the end, this hastily was arranged directly by Chen Shu to undergo a divine transformation tomorrow, and he also brought the spiritual crystal that Chen Shu had been thinking about. However, he also made it very clear that no matter what, he must ensure that his request to God is successful, even if he cannot see far and can only see through perspective, otherwise the transaction will not be established. Of course Chen Shu agreed wholeheartedly. The second day, Chen Shu had to admit, this guy is still humble. This means that the degree of fit is a little low. It should be said, not at all, because he is a robot. Mechanical life. It is a very wide-ranging category among gods, and it also has many fans among humans. The so-called flesh and blood are weak, and this is where mechanical ascension comes from. A perfect machine is also a beautiful work of art to a certain extent. Many people are naturally interested in machines. They can't help but be amazed when they see the perfect mechanical gears rotating and the machine filled with the smell of engine oil. Chen Shu is one of them. When faced with that kind of perfect machine, he is the one who crazily clicks Taiku Spicy Taiku Spicy. Sometimes the short video is just a simple video of the gear turning. Serve for a while. Mechanical gods, to some extent, are also symbols of strength. A divine master who can sign a contract with a mechanical god is also an extremely powerful one in the same realm. It's just that the compatibility required for the mechanical gods is very high, and I haven't heard of many powerful people in this way so far. So, prosthetic eyes? Chen Shu looked at the eye in front of him, which was replaced by a prosthetic eye glowing with cyan light, and asked helplessly, Yes. Is there a problem? Wang Zhao nodded. He was very thin. He looked just over one six meters tall. His half-long hair covered a small part of his eyes. The prosthetic eye on his left eye flashed cyan light. It was not an artificial eyeball, but it has a real mechanical eyeball shape and a metallic paint surface. From the outside, you can even see some parts rotating slightly. He was also wearing long sleeves and trousers, and he was covering himself very tightly. There was a strong mechanical smell on his body, and Chen Shu could probably feel that in addition to this mechanical eye, there were other mechanical parts on the man's body. No problem. Chen Shu twitched his lips. Very strong. Far stronger than anyone Chen Shu has ever seen. Just by being close to such a distance, Chen Shu's body began to send out warnings frantically. It was a warning that seemed to be faced in an extremely dangerous situation. This is also an ability that Chen Shu's body has gradually evolved over the past few years. The current time is 2999. Although the historical trend of this world is completely different from that of the previous life, in 2999, the development of many technologies was not much better than that of the previous life. But in some aspects, it was much more powerful. For example, mechanical prosthetics. As early as a hundred years before the Divine Age came to the world, mechanical prostheses had been completely implemented. They were directly connected to the human body's nerves and powered by electricity. They could basically replace the physical body perfectly. After the Age of Divinity, the development of mechanical prosthetics also briefly stagnated, but this time was not long, and mechanical prosthetic eyes also came out to replace the naked eye which was also a good thing, but it was a pity that it was expensive. It's not something ordinary people can bear, and it won't bring much improvement to those who really need this eye. There are many nerves in the eye, and installation alone is not a simple matter, not to mention the cost. Flesh and flesh are bitter and weak, and machines soar. It can only be said to be a joke. After all, the world is not something that can be transformed with a wrench. Can't the prosthetic eye adjust the focus? 
Chen Shu asked curiously. Mechanical prosthetic eyes have developed to the present stage and functions such as thermal imaging, far vision, magnification, and even recording have basically been realized. After all, the cost is quite high, and it feels almost meaningless without these functions. It is said that with this thing, there should be no need to invite distant gods. After hearing this, Wang Zhao turned his head and looked serious, but it can't see through. After a pause, he sighed softly. If it can't see through, it's just an ordinary eye. Chen Shu So obsessed with perspective. What do you want to do with my eyes? After handing the divine slough into Wang Zhao's hands, Chen Shu was still waiting outside. Wang Zhao entered the quiet room, slowly calmed his breathing, and his breath finally returned to calm. He was even a little nervous. For a pair of clairvoyant eyes, Wang Zhao had invited too many far-sighted gods over the years, but none of them succeeded. He went from full of hope to gradually disappointed. He even tried to use spiritual crystals as sacrifices to pray to the gods, but ultimately failed. If this were not the case, he would not have taken out the spiritual crystal to trade. Holding the divine slough in his hand, spiritual thoughts poured into it crazily. The divine slough in his hand quickly showed a trace of light. The light seemed to shine through the real world and shuttled into the void, like a light guiding the arrival of the gods. A lamp that never goes out. Able to travel endless distances and connect with the gods. Wang Zhao's quiet voice sounded obscure and complicated, but with an iron sound like a machine. Mechanical, electromagnetic, and immortal life. A faraway place in the void. Standing in the sea of the sky, my realm's divine master Wang Zhao calls you in the name of the divine Slao. Please meet me. The whispers became continuous and flowed into the distant void. Suddenly, ripples rippled in the surrounding space and the space was like ocean waves pulling up several waves and shadows appeared in the space and the weak ones seemed to become huge. Wang Zhao clearly felt that God was watching him. Sinking into the mind, on the sea of spiritual thoughts, a huge eyeball floats on it, its gaze is solemn, as if it carries the power of heaven. Wang Zhao is no stranger to such scenes. As a realm god master, the people he signed a contract with were all realm gods, not to mention Zunzun. However, nowadays, even the spiritual god was just a dispensable existence to him. To be honest, it was already difficult for a wandering god to let him go. His mind was fluctuating unless he could see through it. Honored clairvoyant god of distant sight, are you willing to make a contract with me? I will offer you my most sincere tribute. Chen Shu's incarnation's eyes floated above the spiritual sea, but he felt helpless in his heart. Realm Master This is already an absolute powerhouse among divine masters. This is a big boss who can rule a kingdom of God by one person. Although Wang Zhao seemed to have a huge obsession with clairvoyance, his dim spiritual body was still revealed in front of him he had no talent. Although it is expected. After all, this is a master who doesn't even have eyes. This was the first time that Chen Shu saw the untalented leak. It is impossible for such a person to sign a contract with the gods. This has nothing to do with the gods, it is just the rules of the world. Just when Chen Shu was about to say the classic, I'm sorry, Chen Shu's heart stirred, a thought flashed across his mind, and a mark slowly floated out while he and Wang Zhao were stunned. Chen Shu suddenly discovered this. He seems to be outside the rules. I'm getting engaged tomorrow. I've been busy all day today. There are so many things to prepare. I squeezed out time to write a chapter. Sorry friends, it's just one chapter today. Got engaged. I really didn't expect to be so tired and busy. Take a day off and we'll make up for it later. Feel sorry. Am I outside the rules? The confusion in Chen Shu's mind was extremely short. After a moment of consideration, the answer to the matter emerged in his mind. This is also one of the abilities that comes with becoming a god. No one can figure out how the rules of the world work. The rules of asking gods are one of them, and they cannot be broken. 
Otherwise, over the years, an all-powerful divine master can be created just by relying on financial resources. The world after becoming a god also has many rules, and there are countless restrictions. The rule of asking gods is the most common one that humans have used for so long. No one can circumvent this rule. So, I'm not within the rules? Or have I exceeded the rules? Chen Shu was thinking lightly in his heart. It is not clear what kind of process one has to go through to become a god. But no matter how you think about it, it is obviously not like him, and he became a god inexplicably. Maybe it's because of this reason that I'm not within the rules. Dozens of thoughts flashed through his mind, but in the outside world, they were just a matter of seconds. As the mark floated out, signing the contract turned out to be unexpectedly smooth. Before Chen Shu could do anything, the mark automatically floated to Wang Zhao's body, and then it was wrapped with a mark that engraved half of Wang Zhao's spiritual thoughts. Coming in the air. The sound was the same as before, as if a machine was whispering softly, the gears were rotating like a celebration, the prosthetic eyes were staring with a red light, and the mechanical arms raised their fists to the sky. The mark attached to Chen Shu's body in an instant and disappeared completely like a mud cow entering the sea. It's done. Heaven and earth can be used as lessons. Faintly, there seemed to be a man's voice shouting and cheering, one after another, and finally converged into a mechanical sound, as if a god was raising his arms and shouting from a high place. After a while, someone seemed to be shouting to celebrate the birth of this moment. Chen Shu couldn't help but feel a sense of joy in his heart. This joy was far greater than anything he had experienced before. It was like the joy of heaven and earth's teachings, making it difficult to control himself. Just at this time. Buzz. A very pure spiritual thought suddenly appeared like a phantom in the void. It was completely different from the pillion I had seen before. This time it seemed like a spring full of energy. The quantity and quality were completely incomparable to those before. Of Then, the spiritual spring water was divided into two parts, one part accounted for more than 90%, while the other part only accounted for a small part. The next moment, more than 90% of the spiritual thoughts turned into pouring water, pouring into Chen Shu's body from a height instantly. The other part flew towards Wang Zhao. Ah! Chen Shu couldn't hide the throbbing in his heart. The purity of this spiritual thought is almost to the extreme, as if it is naturally formed by the universe. Chen Shu operated almost subconsciously, and the spiritual thought was like water in a sponge, absorbing it completely without seeing any obstruction and turning it into a part of his body. Like a spiritual river nourishing a dry land, spiritual thoughts quickly rushed into his left eye and completely integrated into it. Comfortable. Full. All kinds of feelings rushed from his eyes towards Chen Shu's brain. Perhaps because of Wang Zhao's strength, the number of spiritual thoughts this time was too much. Almost as soon as he absorbed it, Chen Shu's eyes quickly changed from the numbness to the feeling of fullness. Feel. And in this feeling of fullness, Chen Shu could feel that his eyesight was growing rapidly. 12,000 meters, 13,000 meters, 14,000 meters, 15,000 meters, 20,000 meters, 23,000 meters, 25,000 meters. It wasn't until his vision reached 25,000 meters that Chen Shu's left eye began to feel full, and he felt like he had indigestion. But even so, the pure spiritual thought was not completely consumed. Instead, under the operation of Chen Shu, it finally shrank into his right eye, but no strange phenomena occurred. At this time, Chen Shu had absorbed all the power. Open your eyes. There seemed to be a flash of light in his eyes like sparkling waves. Chen Shu himself could not hide the look of ecstasy on his face, and his eyesight more than doubled. For the distance vision system, the most important thing is nothing else, in fact, it is vision. As for the level of eyesight, Chen Shu still has the ability to obey the call. All the Divine Master contracts that Chen Shu has signed so far have been signed with the help of Divine Objects. But in fact, the contracts signed by other gods basically rely on responding to the call from the Void. But due to his strength, Chen Shu has never heard the call from the Void. 
what's more. What does the vision of 25,000 meters mean? That's a distance of 25 km. If converted to his previous life, Chen Shu could see the FT area at a glance while standing under Tiananmen Square. Now, Chen Shu can basically sit at home and see the school directly. This kind of improvement is extremely terrifying. Chen Shu originally thought that it would take at least half a year to achieve an increase in vision of tens of thousands of meters. And at this speed, it might not take long for him to reach the intermediate level of the wandering god. And on the other side, the surprise in Wang Zhao's heart was no less than that of Chen Shu, and it was even more surprising than that of Chen Shu. Am I finally, finally able to see through it? After the engagement, there were a lot of things to do. Some relatives came from my hometown, and there were people I had to entertain. I was drunk for two days, so I made up for it all today. Thank you for your blessings. Chen Shu saw that Wang Zhao's legs were like two rocket launchers. After bursting with hot flames, they flew into the sky with a swish. Then he turned around and exploded with a sonic boom like iron. Astro Boy flew away like that. In a few breaths, the person disappeared into the sky, leaving only a white line breaking through the clouds. For a moment, I started to spit out words from nowhere. If possible, Chen Shu would also like to fly like that. After the eyesight is improved, dynamic vision has also been greatly improved. Wang Zhao's speed has already exceeded the speed of sound, but in Chen Shu's vision, the speed seems to be slowing down and it looks extremely clear. The importance of dynamic vision is naturally self-evident. In battle, everything is changing rapidly, and it is absolutely necessary if you do not have a pair of good eyesight. If it weren't for the amazing dynamic vision last night, Chen Shu wouldn't have been able to give instructions immediately. I can only say that the world is truly magical. The ability to see through was eventually exchanged for a spiritual crystal, and it was also an extremely precious mechanical spiritual crystal. But it's hard to say who took advantage. If it weren't for Chen Shu, it would have been very difficult for Wang Zhao to find a distant god who could sign a contract with him in his life. In other words, there is basically no possibility. Although Chen Shu is not outside the rules, his vision is still within the rules. You can tell whether a person has talent at a glance. But, by the way, why is Wang Zhao so concerned about clairvoyance? After gaining the ability, he only tried it for two minutes and didn't look for throwing objects on the street. He was as calm as if he had often used this ability before. This made Chen Shu, who never let go of Wang Zhao's vision during the whole process, even more puzzled. If you don't even look at the child, what kind of perspective do you want? I originally thought you were not a good person, but I didn't expect you are not even a bad person, even a little anxious. But since he has signed a contract, he will know sooner or later what he will use it for in the future. This is also a little benefit after he becomes a god. For other gods, even if they discover something, it cannot affect the present world, but this is not the case for Chen Shu. It was like Zhang Teng had been back at school for a day, and he had borrowed it several times just for help, allowing Chen Shu to see a lot of things. The ruins they were exploring were somewhat interesting. That ruin is not far from Shiku City, and it only appeared three months ago. After being explored by the pioneers, the Divine Masters Association also classified it as a level 1 ruin. The risk factor is not high it is suitable for the weaker divine masters to experience. Chen Shu also read the information on the official website. The ruins were named Wan Mao Temple. Zhang Teng and others couldn't see it, but there was a bit of divinity in Chen Shu's body when viewed from Zhang Teng's perspective. But I always felt that there was a strange atmosphere inside and outside the place, as if it was not as simple as it seemed. Return home. Chen Kin has held a spirit traveling activity at the Spiritual Cooking Academy these past two days. I heard from Chen Kin that he is probably going to a divine kingdom to feed the living beings with food. It is said that if you are lucky, you can get the favor of Budui Lord. This is also a god of spiritual cooking. It is said that he is the god who controls all the brewing techniques in this world. 
Basically everyone who can sign a contract with them is a master of wine and is highly respected. Such activities emerge in endlessly in this world, especially at the end of each year, various universities will organize such activities. The same is true for No. 1 Middle School where Chen Shu is located. Look at the time. It's probably been the past two days, and the discussion in the class group about where to go has never stopped. To these students, the kingdom of God and the ruins, which are not allowed to enter before they advance to the realm of wandering God-master, are like a mysterious treasure filled with treasures everywhere, waiting for people to dig into it. I just don't know where he will go this year. In the past two years, he didn't even sign a contract, so he was naturally not eligible to participate. This year, he will naturally participate. Leave the mess in your mind behind. Chen Shu did not start absorbing the spiritual crystals in a hurry, but continued to read the book leisurely for about an hour. At the beginning, I was naturally very impatient, but as I read, my heart gradually fell into tranquility. This is also part of emotional training. As the saying goes, you need to be calm during big events. After reading for nearly an hour, Chen Shu realized that his heart fell into a strange state, as if it was calm on the surface but there was an undercurrent surging underneath, as if a stormy sea was about to arise at any time. Chen Shu knew that it was time. Take out the spirit crystal. It was an oval crystal with a gray appearance, a metallic color, and reflected an icy brilliance. It looks like it was polished from a high-precision machine, exuding a mechanical and cold beauty. There is also a line in the middle that cannot be seen clearly without looking closely. There is nothing strange about it. What is strange is that when Chen Shu looked over, there was a feeling of staring at each other. It was as if this was not a spiritual crystal at all, but a living eyeball. Mechanical life does have an indescribable sense of immortality. It's just that this feeling disappears very quickly as it comes. The feeling of hunger and thirst emanating from every part of his body did not seem to be fake. Chen Shu controlled his spiritual thoughts and directly wrapped the entire spiritual crystal. The spiritual thoughts turned into a pair of big hands and seemed to turn into silver needles, piercing into the inside of the spiritual crystal. Buzz. The spiritual crystal emits an unspeakable light and buzzes. Boom. It was as if there was a huge roar from thunder and a huge breath of life swept through the smell of death and rushed into Chen Shu's body. In an instant, the energy in Chen Shu's body surged surging, and his whole person began to feel uncontrollably. Trembling, as if a wild beast was roaring inside him, after the roaring energy entered Chen Shu's body, he seemed to have lost his way for a while. He kept rushing around, but in the end, as if he had been guided by something, he followed the body and rushed straight. Enter Chen Shu's left eyeball, incomparable severe pain swept over me. This feeling of pain is even greater than the pain caused by the eye change that day, and this time. If someone looked from the outside, they would suddenly see that at this moment, Chen Shu's left eye seemed to be being fought for again, turning into a black eyeball for a while, and then turning into a yellow and black machine for a while. Beast eyes, the eyes flashed with crazy, twisted, sharp, cold, indifferent, and other complex colors. If you look carefully, those were suddenly the eyes of an eagle, Ad 2815. I was made. They called me Falcon. I am the first fully animal bionic drone in human history. They said I was as nimble as a light bird. I'm proud of it. I have a wingspan of 30 meters and a length of nearly 20 meters. My body is made of high-strength titanium alloy and composite materials. I am equipped with advanced electronic systems, including laser sights, infrared detectors, radar guidance systems, and real-time images. Transmission technology can provide combatants with a full range of target tracking and positioning capabilities. I have excellent range, accuracy, and reliability. I can hit targets accurately while moving at high speeds or flying at low altitudes. I can easily exceed the speed of sound when flying, and I can reach targets no matter how far away they are. I have gone through countless experiments. My machine gun can easily tear apart steel plates, and my artillery can easily blow up cities. I make the enemy fearful. 
I once thought that there was no other aircraft in the world that could compare with mine. Yes, I long for war. A real war, not endless training and experimentation. Yes, my machine guns want to tear apart human bodies more than steel plates. My artillery wants to bombard cities and plunge them into flames rather than the surface of a desolate desert. I'm starting to feel a little bored. 2817. The war begins. I was assigned to carry out surface bombing in Area H. I saw tall buildings engulfed in flames under the bombardment of artillery. There was a human being kneeling on his knees and crying. He didn't even dare to raise his head when the machine gun was aimed at him. Watching this scene, my engine gears and even the oil began to burn. I long for war. The war will never end until peace truly comes. But where can there be peace in the world? 2818. This war lasted for a long time. More and more people are beginning to fear my existence, and when they see my presence death will come. And I bring death. 2819. The war is over. No, the war never ends, peace has come. But I also really woke up. Amid the astonished looks of all humans, I took off from the tarmac straight into the sky for the first time without any human control. This made me feel freedom that I had not seen in a long time. Yes, I opened fire now that peace had arrived. The war cannot end, 2820. I still couldn't start a war. But they want to destroy me. They failed to do it. 2821. I returned to my hometown. That was my real hometown, where the smell of metal and machinery was everywhere, and the air was filled with the smell of explosive gunpowder. Some machine told me that I should learn to quiet down, become colder, and become as shiny as metal. Try to listen to the prayers in the sky, try to respond to these voices. I try to calm down. When is it this year? I have no idea. But a human appeared in front of me. Most of his body is made of bright silver machinery. He looks young. His speed is very fast, far faster than anyone I have ever seen. My machine gun cannot hit him at all. He even able to catch my projectiles and crush them directly. He said this is a debt I owe and I have to pay it back. He destroyed me in a devastating way. Chen Shu seemed to have experienced a distant dream. This dream dates back more than a hundred years on the body of a falcon, a bionic drone built for war. From being created, tested, tested in actual combat, detected, then put into the battlefield, and then to the final awakening of self-awareness, to the last, the appearance of the human being that gave Chen Shu an extremely strong sense of familiarity. Using an extremely rough method, he tore his proud steel body into pieces. Chen Shu didn't even see his figure clearly during the whole process. Everything is real like something that really happened. In other words, this is what actually happened. In the memory brought by these long years, Chen Shu was like watching a lengthy movie, and he could even remember some of the lines clearly. And in the outside world, Chen Shu's left eye gradually began to undergo organic changes. The falcon-like eyes began to shine with some metallic light. When he looked carefully, he seemed to be able to see gears rotating in them and red rays, glitter. Those eyes gradually became cold, as if there was no human emotion in them, and there was a hint of cunning in them. If Chen Shu could see it, he would immediately recognize that these eyes are so similar to the falcon. The body's functions did not produce any abnormality at this time. It was as if Chen Shu was going to be like this, quickly transforming into a mechanical figure. Divine Invasion If Wang Zhao were here, he would definitely be able to recognize this phenomenon instantly. This is a terrifying phenomenon that only occurs when the pseudo-godhead is forcibly absorbed, that is, the spiritual crystal. If you are not careful, you will die directly, or even resurrection from the corpse. But even Wang Zhao probably never expected that Chen Shu would directly absorb the spiritual crystal. It's just that Chen Shu's state at this time is very strange. He was not lost in that long memory. He could even clearly feel the changes in his body. He could also feel the immortal thoughts existing in this spiritual crystal, frantically trying to possess it, assimilate his body. He even tried to replace all of Chen Shu's own memories with that long memory. But he stood still. 
his thoughts turned into a towering giant in his body. When he stretched out his hand, it seemed as if he could tear the sun into pieces. The sun and moon were dim, as if he was the only one existing in the world. He alone is eternity. One person is time. He is the only one in the world. He gently stretched out his hand, like squeezing a small insect, and with a look of extreme horror, he pinched out the mechanical falcon above his spiritual mind. He looked like a smaller mechanical eagle, but there was great fear in his eyes. Impossible. Impossible. How can humans have such thoughts? Chen Shu pinched it gently. Die. The sound stopped suddenly. Chen Shu may not be very strong, but his thoughts are hard to find in this world. This kind of gold content is what I have been telling myself since I was ten years old. I am God. And you get it bit by bit, thank you for your rewards. I took two days off because of my engagement, so the recommendation seems to have been discontinued, so I might as well ask to continue reading. The spirit god transformed by the falcon probably never thought until his death why such a frail body could have such terrifying self-centered spiritual thoughts hidden in it. This deep-rooted spiritual thought seems to have been completely integrated with Chen Shu's soul and no other thoughts can affect him. No matter what kind of erosion it is, it is no more than scratching an itch and is useless to Chen Shu. The so-called divine invasion is actually nothing more than a god whose body has been completely destroyed, using his remaining divine thoughts and energy to occupy and assimilate the human body. But at this point, Chen Shu is completely immune. His thought, I am the only true god in the sky and on the earth, is like a piece of glass that will not be polluted at all, impervious to all evil. When it enters the sea, it is viewed by the sea, and when it enters the fire, it is tempered. All pollution is nothing more than Chen Shu's own nourishment, you know, even after Chen Shu became a god. I also didn't forget to tell myself every day, I am God, I am God. This is a habit he has developed over the years. Even now, sometimes, when he has no thoughts, his heart is still completely non-stop. It may be said to be hypnosis or to awaken oneself. Sometimes when his mind fell into such great peace, he seemed to be able to vaguely see his own body emerging in the void of his mind. Human thoughts can often erupt with extremely terrifying energy, even far beyond human imagination. Chen Shu was convinced that he was a god. And perhaps the first thing that changed was not his eyes, but his terrifying thoughts. At least until now. Chen Shu has never seen anyone who has the ability to drive away disasters and ward off evil spirits, just like when absorbing spiritual crystals. How could Chen Shu, who had already entered the black market, not know the huge dangers and side effects of absorbing spiritual crystals? But when he decided to absorb the spiritual crystal, he didn't feel the slightest danger in his thoughts, but instead felt a huge sense of joy. Chen Shu has natural and absolute trust in the judgment brought by his own thoughts. This naturally seems to others to be extreme and crazy, and more people would call it dog gambling, or even completely unable to understand what Chen Shu did. But if I think about it differently, if he were not so extreme, Chen Shu might not be able to become a god. And as the falcon's spiritual thoughts were removed, the energy that was boiling like magma in the body instantly became like a spiritual spring with no owner. Became extremely docile. In an instant, he merged into Chen Shu's limbs and bones. Boom! Chen Shu felt as if his body had been ignited with a blazing flame, and his muscles, bones, meridians and cells were dividing and strengthening crazily. He felt the surging power in his body constantly boiling, like an endless stream of water raging through his body. Under the impact of this force, his muscles began to grow rapidly, and his body became huge, and then compressed crazily at the next moment, returning to its original appearance. It was like the most precise instrument. Every inch of the muscles was able to erupt with far greater power than before. The most striking feature of the mechanical role is the most precise control of the body. The bones on his body made a clicking sound, constantly breaking and reorganizing, becoming harder. 
Looking from the inside, the bones that were originally white seemed to be coated with a light metal surface, like a hundred refinements. Like fine steel, more indestructible, his meridians are also changing. The original small meridians gradually expanded during this crazy practice and the blood flowed through them much faster. His cells also seemed to be ignited with an eternal flame, constantly dividing and multiplying, producing more cells. The nails that had not grown for two or three years now began to grow again, and then turned into powder as if weathered. During this intense training, he constantly felt that the limits of his body were being broken through again and again. Every cell in his body becomes stronger and more powerful, every muscle becomes more powerful. Chen Shu stood up and threw out a punch. The wind of the fist roared, carrying a heavy weight like a machine, and the windows made a rustling sound. Chen Shu had a smile on his face and almost couldn't hold back his roar. This can be regarded as the extremely precious spiritual crystal he spent so much effort to obtain was not in vain. Based on his current physical body, a rough estimate is that he is probably not much different from Liu Huo's god of entry into the bottle giant lion spirit god. It can be said that the strength has been greatly improved. It almost saved Chen Shu several years of constant toil on his body. You must know that Chen Shu saw from the black market that almost every pseudo-godhead is an existence that can only be encountered but not sought. Some people may not be able to encounter it once in their entire lives. That is, Wang Zhao, a guy who is obsessed with clairvoyance, would take it out so easily. For other people, where can they find something that is so easy to come up with? It's not surprising at all to have such an effect, but now there is a little trouble that is not a trouble. Chen Shu turned his mind and looked at a light group of light metallic in his body. This was a mechanical function from the falcon, but it did not completely dissipate with the disappearance of the spiritual thoughts. Instead, it existed in Chen Shu's body. Perhaps he sensed Chen Shu's gaze. Aha! Uh -huh. This ball of light suddenly rushed into the left eye socket, as if it wanted to occupy the original far eye's function. Theoretically speaking, there is actually no conflict between the two functions of telescope and machinery, and there is the possibility of coexistence. Boom, and at the same time, a ball of light suddenly appeared in Chen Shu's left eye, which was the effect of Yuan Mu Si. The light groups formed by the two functions seem to have triggered some kind of switch at this time. They were intertwined in a crazy way, like two mad dogs biting each other. The confusion caused Chen Shu's left eye to swell, as if to it explodes. Under the appearance of the outside world, the shape of Chen Shu's left eye is also constantly changing. Quiet. Chen Shu's spiritual thoughts moved, and the sound of thunder and roar resounded. Surprisingly, the two light groups actually became quiet. The light group formed by the mechanical commander is like a docile puppy, which does not affect the far eye commander at all. It lies dormant deep in Chen Shu's eye socket, as if quietly waiting for Chen Shu's call. If other people saw this, they would probably call it a sci-fi movie. A strong man who can control his duties. Just by virtue of this duty, all the mechanical gods in the sky are willing to borrow his power. Tisk. Chen Shu frowned. How to deal with this thing? Early the next morning. Chen Shu is neatly dressed. The events of the past two days were so confusing that he almost forgot that he was still a student. As for the mechanical director, he is still waiting quietly in Chen Shu's eye socket. Chen Shu can't think of any good way to deal with it for a while, so it won't have any impact at all, so he will leave it alone for now. Finally, this year's trip to the ruins is scheduled for the end of the month. That is around New Year's Day. Chen Shu didn't pay much attention just waiting for the final news. After returning to school, life gradually fell into peace. In the blink of an eye, more than half a month has passed. School days are the same as before, not much has changed. I just don't know who leaked the news, or maybe Chen Shu has developed to the point where he is no longer a transparent person in the class. The news that Chen Shu invited a far-sighted wandering god spread throughout the class very early. Of course, there are those who are curious and blessings and congratulations are among them. After all, 
Everyone knows how rare the distant eye system is, and they also know that it is extremely difficult to have the talent of a distant eye magician. Moreover, as an auxiliary function, the far-sighted system may sound inconspicuous, but it is indeed one that can be used in a wide range of applications and more importantly, it is easy to find a job. The backgrounds of the world are different, and people's ideas and concepts are of course also very different. In previous lives, boys and girls of this age mostly thought about getting into college, falling in love, being far away from home, and being unregulated, etc. Few people would really think about the future, and there were too many things to do at work. It's the parents who are worrying. But here, what everyone thinks is more practical. Most people have a macro outlook for the future. In fact, after inviting the gods, many things have become clearer. Therefore, it is more important to have good talents and recruit rare gods. In fact, Chen Shu was also affected, otherwise he would not have considered taking the public examination so early. And all the emotions turned pale as a piece of news spread. He can even see through things. Perspective. What a wonderful ability. I wonder which divine master would not have the desire to have such an ability when he was young. Of course, the boys were full of envy, jealousy, and hatred, while the girls began to worry that Chen Shu's eyes were dishonest, and the way they looked at Chen Shu was a bit strange. Regarding this, Chen Shu could only advise these little girls to stop thinking wildly. And if you really want to see it, you won't be able to notice it at all. Do you understand what dimensionality reduction attack is? But one thing is undeniable. Chen Shu's class status has indeed improved a lot. Although the students are relatively pure-minded, no one can deny that there is a level in the class. As for this class status, Liang Jijia confidently proposed a drill invitation to Chen Shu during the tactical deduction class a week ago. It seems that because he invited a fang wandering god passed down from his family, he was able to borrow the sharp ability of the fangs, which was very suitable for his bottle spirit god the big dog. This gave him a lot of confidence, and he wanted to regain his previous position with Chen Shu. After all, the spirit god was scared away by Chen Shu's glance, which made him completely unable to hold his head up in the class. Result after summoning his big dog spirit god, even it has been blessed with the ability of sharp teeth. But this time, the result was even worse. Chen Shu's strength almost doubled in a few days. Just a hint of wandering spirit exuding from his body made the big dog tremble and cower at Liang Zhijia's feet without daring to move. At that time, Liang Zhijia's face turned green, and he wished he could raise his hand to slap himself. In the end, the tactics teacher laughed and smoothed things over, saying that we were all classmates, so there was no need for drills, and the competition was just like tabletop drills. As a result, during the tabletop exercise, Liang Jijia was pinned down by Chen Shu from beginning to end. Now I couldn't hold my head up even more. In the past two days, I always walked around Chen Shu when I saw him. In this way, Chen Shu conquered most of the people in the class with one lesson known as Lao Yinbai, who only started to exert his strength in the third year of high school, he is the kind who would spit at the mouth after hearing it. But he can be regarded as entering the ranks of class giants. It sounds strange. When you are not good enough, no matter what you do, no one seems to notice you. Conversely, when you are good enough, even if you do nothing or even deliberately keep a low profile, you will still attract countless eyes. Just like before becoming a divine master, Chen Shu actually hasn't changed much from what he is now. His rankings are always among the best, and his learning ability is still strong, but he is still a little transparent in the class. This is probably the paradox of life. Like now. By the way, have you noticed that Chen Shu is really getting better and better as he grows older? Damn it, I didn't notice it at all before. In the past 10 days or so, I have always felt that he looks the same every day. The longer he gets, the more handsome he becomes, especially the aura about him. Don't you feel that he is completely different from the boys in our class? Yes, and those eyes, I accidentally looked at him that day, tsk tsk tsk, that feeling. 
looks are secondary. Didn't you notice his figure? How could he not notice? He accidentally lifted up half of his clothes that day. Oh my god, haha. <laughs> I want to eat chocolate. The waist hits the new year. This Chen Shu is really hidden. You didn't look at the other classes. They have some muscles and wish they were shirtless even in the winter. You don't know what to show off. Look at Chen Shu Hei, no one is chasing him yet. Mama gave birth to it. Chen Shu. I really want to see the expressions on the faces of the male students in the class when they know that the goddesses in their minds gather together every day and talk about these bad words. When this girl drives a car, she really has nothing to do with men. This is Chen Shu's ordinary life as a class giant. Basically every day in class, Chen Shu could hear the girls whispering and praising his handsomeness. Although the girls were indeed whispering, their voices were so low that unless one's ears were clear, one could hardly hear the gossip they chatted about every day. But these sounds basically sounded like they were ringing in Chen Shu's ears. Although this kind of spiritual ability is useful, it is inevitable that you will hear a lot of mixed and useless information. Certainly. Praising one's own voice and Chen Shu are welcome. Brother Shu, please show me your magical powers and see how Wang Qianjun did this question. Chen Shu was listening to the details that the girls were gradually chatting about when his deskmate Lai Jing next to him nudged him with his elbow and said with a playful smile, Discuss the differences between mechanical gods and metal gods, list the advantages and disadvantages between the two, and at the same time list three wandering gods and explain their abilities. Extra point question. Explain the positive impact that mechanical gods and metal gods have on the molecular changes and reorganization of the human body after inviting gods. Aren't you going to get points for this? Chen Shu glanced at it and said calmly. Lai Jing was shocked and quickly opened the back of the test paper. It clearly says Madu University Cultural Special Recruitment Exercises. For a while, Lai Jing was even a little dazed. This was a set of questions that the class teacher didn't know where he found. The amount of questions was abnormal. He knew most of the questions word for word. When they were put together, how did he read them? I can't even understand it but I heard that the head teacher also put a lot of thought into this set of questions. It is said that it is her spirit god of entering the bottle. A teacher who was fortunate enough to have contact with her thousands of years ago and is now the spirit god of a certain teacher in Shanghai. With the help of this relationship, we came up with such a large set of questions. Yes, it's not surprising that gods may know each other. I checked the information all night last night, but I couldn't find a standard explanation. Lai Jing curled his lips. You call this giving away points? Chen Shu said, isn't this basic knowledge? Lai Jing, thank you for not saying it is common sense. Father, can you tell me? Chen Shu. After thinking about it for a while, Chen Shukai said, this question is quite particular. In a paper published by Mr. Ko, Jin Zin, a master of both mechanical and metal realms, in the journal Spiritual Core last year, he talked about the two in great length. The difference between. If I remember correctly, it should be called On the Common Characteristics of the Coexistence of Mechanical Gods and Metal Gods and Their Functional Methods. Mechanical gods often exist as techniques, while metal gods exist as quality. The biggest difference between the two is actually the difference between mechanical gods and other gods. I won't go into details about the advantages and disadvantages, it's all common sense. I won't talk about the three kinds of wandering gods, it's common sense to read more books. The molecular structure of the human body is reorganized, do you understand this? Lai Jing I beg you to tell me about the common sense you mentioned. Is it necessary for us high school students to take such papers? You have even taken a fancy to core journals. Is this the fucking boss's world? After listening to Chen Shu's explanation, Lai Jing just wanted to kowtow to him now. And Chen Shu turned around. At this time, I also discovered that it was Mr. Lai Jing who was making the noise and there were already many classmates standing around him. 
Everyone looked at him with eyes full of curiosity. Of course, there are also some people who admire the big guys. No. One middle school is a key high school anyway, and the learning atmosphere is not bad. Recently, almost everyone has been disgusted by the set of questions presented by the class teacher. There are very few pure bastards in the actual sense of the word in the class. Now that such a big boss has emerged in the class, of course he cannot let him go. Although he would always say, it's all common sense that made people hate him, but at this time no one cared. Chen Shu, on the other hand, refused to accept anyone who came, and this matter was also beneficial to him. Well, the seventeen flame forms of fire gods, explain the differences in their respective forms. Let me think about this question, and I'll give you an answer tomorrow. Are ice gods and water gods parallel or coexisting? Is there a hierarchical relationship? Oh, I know this, it's common sense. The stove lord and... After answering the students' questions, Chen Shu turned on his mobile phone and looked up the direction of the question he didn't know the answer to just now in the book Selling Software. He found a lot of relevant literature and books and placed an order without saying a word. The price is really not cheap. However, if the students just now were allowed to see Chen Shu's learning and teaching now, I really don't know what they would think in their hearts. However, Chen Shu has such ability now. From past lives, Chen Shu also understood the importance of knowledge. This is something that is no less important than birth or even more important than birth. Knowledge may not buy you anything, but it can buy you the wisdom and dignity to face life head on and the calmness to face power and money. Unlike wisdom, knowledge is more of a content that can be derived and developed. In my previous life, I suffered the disadvantage of being uneducated. Self-cultivation itself does not need to spend too much money, so in addition to saving a lot of money for Chen Kin to go to school, Chen Shu used most of the 200,000 he earned every day during this period. Bought all kinds of books. The price of books is really not cheap, especially in such a world of personal power, although it cannot be said that there is a serious monopoly on knowledge, the price of precious documents and materials can indeed be said to be quite high. In addition, Chen Shu's reading speed was not slow at all, so he really read a lot of books. For example, he would buy some important journals, no matter how unpopular they were, to read them. Especially after becoming a god, Chen Shu's learning ability also experienced a huge improvement. I've seen it, I've understood it, I've understood it, I've mastered it. The moment he saw those questions, the library in Chen Shu's mind would automatically assemble, combining all the books he had seen, and the answers would appear in his mind, completely consolidating them, and completely becoming his own. This things. Someone once said that if everyone had a system similar to the proficiency panel, then the world would be full of self-disciplined people. Although Chen Shu doesn't have anything like that, but he really felt the charm of knowledge. Chen Shu even fell in love with reading now. Now he basically spends more than eight hours reading every day, which is like a recharging process and makes him more calm. And besides reading, in the past half month, Chen Shu also signed an apostle contract with five people. Some of them really had no talent at all, and Chen Shu didn't want to expose the actual situation of the god of magic was not within the rules so casually, so naturally these were the only ones. After a person without talent forcibly signs a contract, the repayment power is really only a trace, and it is a complete loss-making transaction. Wang Zhao was an accident, and he didn't even expect it. Moreover, Chen Shu had read so many books and read a sentence from various proverbs, so he was relieved, he gave too much. And on the other side of God. In the past half month, I have asked Chen Shu to take action twice, with an income of plus 60W, but Chen Shu did not refuse. Maybe Chen Shu is so useful that the Shinsuo has even begun to think about letting him join the company. However, many details have not yet been finalized. Liu Huo tried to open her mouth several times, but it seemed that she never did. All in all, Chen Shu is very satisfied with his current state. 
Even as the reading deepened, Chen Shu had begun to think about the change of his right eye. This is also the other organ besides his left eye that shows a different state from other humans. It just seems like it's not time to really start deification yet. But Chen Shu just shouldn't be in a hurry. I looked at the classmates who were still studying high school knowledge. He silently pulled out a god core journal from his desk and read it carefully. Isn't this going to kill you? And in this state of life? In Shiku City, no. One middle school, the time for the annual heritage tour has quietly arrived. Two and one. Please read it and thank single heroine for the reward. This trip to the ruins was not the same as in the past Misty Mountains. The Misty Mountains are an old school small kingdom of God, and they are not far from Shiku City. In previous years, most of the activities were carried out there. In particular, the Misty Mountains themselves have been basically completely explored, and the risk factor is extremely low. There is even a trend of developing tourism. For these students, there's basically nothing better than this. However, Chen Shu did not expect that he would choose another one this year. What he didn't expect was that during this trip to the ruins, he would choose a ruin that felt both strange and familiar to him. Mankat Temple What is strange is that Chen Shu has never actually entered this ruins, but what is familiar is that he can see various scenes in it almost every day. These pictures are, of course, the result of Zhang Teng's diligent and selfless dedication. They are a small team, and they have been in this ruins almost every day for this month. Although Chen Shu doesn't pay attention to it all the time, he will take a look when he is free. These people seem to be looking for something. Chen Shu only paid a little attention to them, but he didn't pay much attention to them. After all, before, he felt that there was a strange feeling in the ruins, the kind that made him uncomfortable. Certainly, these familiarity will not give him some advantages. In fact, it is impossible for no one middle school to just drag so many students into the ruins without making any preparations. If they really dare to do this, then the principle of no one middle school will not have to do it. After all, there are so many lives, and if something goes wrong, no one will dare to bear the responsibility. Therefore, three days before entering the ruins, basically everyone became familiar with all kinds of information about Wan Mao Temple. Everyone must know what they need to know, and there are even related exams. Only those who pass only those who have passed the exam can enter, and the rest will be disqualified. It is worth mentioning that not everyone can participate in the tour of the ruins. This will be selected by specialized teachers. Otherwise, there will be hundreds of people at once. No matter how capable the teachers are, there will inevitably be mistakes. As for Chen Shu, it is no surprise that he has such qualifications. You must know that even in the past, when he failed to invite God, some teachers would suggest bringing him with him. Chen Shu was a little transparent among the students, but not to the vast majority of teachers. Three days later, on the highway, Wan Mao Temple is about 300 kilometers away from Shiku City. This is one of the reasons why the school chose this place. After all, it is very convenient to travel, sitting on the bus. Unlike the buses that still exist in old industrial cities like Shiku City, the means of transportation used by the school organization is not simple. It is a bus that can accommodate nearly a hundred people. The maximum speed can reach more than 400 kilometers per hour, which allows Chen Shu to experience one of the more powerful means of transportation in the world. Chen Shu sat in the back row by the window and said nothing. The head teacher, Yang Jingjing, was still tirelessly talking about all kinds of information about Wan Mao Temple. Although Mantat Temple is only an ultra-small level 1 ruin, it covers an area of nearly a thousand square kilometers. Except for the temple in the core, the rest of the area is a forest. And the reason why it is called 10,000 Cats Temple is because there are many cat creatures enshrined in that temple, so it is called this name. You have all seen the photo information. Also, let me emphasize again, when entering the temple, you must not touch around. Also, although all dangerous creatures have been basically eliminated from the 10,000 Cat Temple, 
there are still some risks for you, so after entering it, everyone must obey the command and must not run around. Of course, you don't have to worry too much. Compared with the kingdom of God, the danger of the ruins is much less. The school has also appointed the priests from the shrine to escort the entire event. The ruins are different from the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God generally has a certain complete ecology, while the ruins are basically broken. As for how the ruins were formed, no one can explain this yet. Yang Jingjing was like an old mother, chattering back and forth, and from time to time she would hit some thorns in the class to prevent these children from making any mistakes during the activities. Chen Shu didn't feel bored either. I was idle, so I took out my mobile phone, found an e-book, and started reading. Lai Jing, who was still licking his face and sitting next to him, took a curious look and was about to ask Chen Shu if he was also reading the recently popular story novel, so that he might have something in common with the boss. As a result at a glance, I saw various obscure words and symbols displayed on the screen. Then take a closer look at the title of the book displayed on the upper left corner of the screen, on the energy revolution after electric energy the application and analysis of thought crystals science. Lai Jing, I don't know if he can't understand the world anymore, or if the world has always been like this. He suddenly felt like a waste. Everyone is happily discussing the ruins. Why can you read this kind of book calmly in this environment? What's the difference between this and doing push-ups secretly in a corner in an impart? Lai Jing was complaining crazily in his heart, but he moved his body to the side very honestly, so as not to affect the big brother's reading. As Chen Shu's deskmate, he was under a lot of psychological pressure. In the past, he didn't feel that it was quite comfortable for everyone to be gangsters together, even though Chen Shu had always been good at studying. But since this period of time, he has become less and less able to understand Chen Shu. On the contrary, he has become more motivated to learn Chen Shu. Soon, after driving for less than an hour, the car stopped in front of a construction area. This can be regarded as a temporary establishment, but the ruins and the surrounding areas of the Kingdom of God will develop sooner or later, just a matter of time. Everyone got out of the car. The procedures were completed quickly. Led by a dozen teachers, they soon came to a circular arch. It was an alloy gate nearly 10 meters high and 20 meters wide. There were soldiers guarding the door. The entrance to the ruins is just behind this gate. In fact, at the beginning, the entrance to the secret realm of Mancat Temple was only five or six meters square. However, over the course of a few months, the entrance to the ruins became larger and larger, leading to its development to this point. In a few decades, it is very likely that this ruins will be completely integrated into the planet, crowding out the Earth and no longer distinguishing each other. This is what actually happened. After hundreds of years, many ruins have been completely integrated into Blue Star, such as many dangerous places in the country. In fact, their predecessors were ruins. The Kingdom of God often exists in the cracks of the void, and its area is huge, but this phenomenon has never happened before. In a short while, Chen Shu passed through the alloy door. My body clearly felt a sense of weightlessness. The whole body seemed to have passed through a membrane, and it seemed that the sound of breaking could be heard vaguely. Changed. Everything has changed. It was the end of the year outside in Shiku City, and the temperature had already reached below zero. But here at this time, the temperature was probably close to 20 degrees, which was very cool. Fortunately, the students had already changed into summer clothes under their cotton padded jackets in advance. Otherwise, even the toughest guy would have said, it seems like something is burning, if they were still wearing cotton padded jackets in such a temperature. A breeze blew in my ears, bringing with it bursts of moist and cool air. My body seemed to become lighter, and the exclamations of the students around me also sounded in my ears. The breeze blew gently, and the grass blades swayed, making bursts of rustling sounds, accompanied by the smell of dead leaves and decaying leaves. Wait until he opens his eyes. In front of us is a stretch of forest. The ancient trees have been there for I don't know how many years. 
They are all extremely tall. When I look up, I don't see a light source that looks like the sun. However, the whole environment is not obviously dark. It is mysteriously bright. The forest and sea follow each other. The wind and waves are undulating, bringing up bursts of the fragrant smell of vegetation. There is indeed a different feeling between what you see through other people's eyes and what you see with your own eyes. There was constant shouting all around, all with joy. It's just that others are feeling that the scenery of the ruins is different from that of the earth. But Chen Shu silently said in his heart. Southwest Wind, Category 3 Wind. The humidity is probably over 60%. The fragrance of the trees is a bit strange, and it's not the flowering season yet. Probably all new varieties. Chen Shu scanned the surroundings lightly, his left eye flashing with brilliance, and his gaze zoomed out, as if opening a god's perspective, scanning the surrounding environment. Except trees are trees. But there are also traces of other creatures, probably the native beasts living in the ruins, and their strength is generally not low. In almost a few moments, all the images of existence within a radius of 26,000 meters had appeared in his mind. King Mukau, a common grass species. Rosemary? Is this a cat beast? Chen Shu's current visual limit is about 26,000 meters, so the size of the land he is visiting, calculated according to the circle formula, is 212 2640,000 square meters, which means it is 2 122 square kilometers. As for the ruins of Wan Mao Temple, the actual size given by the official is 600 square kilometers, which is equivalent to the size of a county-level city. Let's do the math again. In other words, no matter where Chen Shu stands in the ruins, his field of vision can almost cover the entire ruins and all actions will not escape his eyes. And even if the loss of vision caused by obstacles is included, it is all under his control and he can easily see half the size. To Chen Shu, such ruins were like fish swimming into the water. He is in such a ruins, and almost all the movements of everyone are in his eyes. This, this is the horror of distant gods. This can prove why so many people want to sign a contract with the distant-eyed god. In fact, his auxiliary ability far exceeds that of any other god. Chen Shu also made sufficient preparations for this trip to the ruins. In the past three days, I have learned a lot of survival rules in the kingdom of God and the ruins, including but not limited to survival in the wild, encyclopedia of plants, determination of animals and plants, how to identify danger sources in the ruins, relic aboriginals, a brief talk about the years I survived in the kingdom of the abyss. It's almost like arming the brain. Well, what stands out is a steady hand. The lion fights the rabbit with all his strength, and I am fully prepared for the distant sight of the wandering god to visit the first level ruins, no problem. Chen Shu can't say that he is a survival master now, but if we only talk about theoretical knowledge, it is not an exaggeration to say that he is an experienced hunter. And this knowledge will gradually and subtly be integrated into Chen Shu's instincts as he comes into contact with it. As long as he has enough knowledge and a certain amount of practical experience, Chen Shu doesn't think he can still be called a survival master. Quickly, everyone was gathered together. There were only about 70 people in total, which didn't take up much space. And this is obviously a place specially cleared by humans. The entrance to the ruins is fixed, so naturally such a place is needed for temporary settlement. Chen Shu stood in the crowd inconspicuous. But soon, a trace of astonishment appeared on his face. After gathering together, six people came out under the welcome of the leading teacher. The leader is slender, with curvaceous curves and firm skin. Even though he is wearing a smart training uniform, he still cannot resist his good figure, it is Liu Huo, and a few others. They are all old acquaintances of Chen Shu, Zhang Mu, and Su Wenkai. At this time Chen Shu saw them, and of course they also saw Chen Shu. Big eyes stared at small eyes for a while. Probably means. Why are you here too? In order to ensure the safety of this event, the school has specially invited the priests from the spiritual office to assist. Everyone is welcome. Applause rang out, followed by excited murmurs from the students. 
P is from God, the agency of the gods. I wonder if I will have the chance to join it in this life. The three major institutions of spiritual affairs, the divine office, the pioneer, and the tribunal. I don't want to think about the tribunal. I am very satisfied with being able to enter the divine office in this life. You are dreaming. The threshold for the spiritual spiritual office is slightly lower than the other two. Weaker divine wandering masters are not eligible to join, and the benefits are even more exaggerated. Can't I just dream? At this time, several people on the stage also started whispering. Why is Chen Shu here too? Brother Shu also came to this ruins? It's okay to hit the first grade. This is a great investment. I invited Brother Shu here. It's so convenient to have Brother Shu there. It's basically impossible for any accident to happen. At this moment. But Jiang Mu said calmly, Well, if I remember correctly, Brother Shu seems to be a student of No. 1 Middle School. It's not surprising that he also participated in this event, right? Everyone? Still? What the hell is this happening? Silence. Silence is the best answer at this time. During this period, Chen Shu was often invited to the temple as external aid. Needless to say, Chen Shu's abilities really impressed the masters of the temple. After several attacks, basically as long as he gives a certain range, he can pull out evil spirits no matter how deeply they are hidden. They searched hard for a day or two, but they found you in three minutes and reported your location in real time. Who could hate such a person? Especially since the special recruitment of Chen Shu has started recently. I heard that the two team captains almost started fighting in order to fight for Chen Shu. It's not that there is no Master Yuanmu in the office of the gods, the problem is. This kind of goods must be thrown away when comparing goods and people must die when comparing people. Due to his outstanding abilities and Chen Shu's increasingly calm temperament, apart from special investigations, no one else had ever thought that Chen Shu was a high school student. The problem is that the scene of this man slashing evil spirits with a butcher's knife last time is still fresh in their minds. What the hell do you call this a high school student? Liu Hua took a deep breath and couldn't help but look a little speechless on her face. If they had known that Chen Shu was here, why would they come to interfere in this matter? I posted two chapters together, please ask for someone to follow up on it, and I would also like to thank book friend 5 in 394 for the reward. Dear students, I am the captain of the giant lion team under the Divine Spirit Office, and I am fully responsible for the safety of this no. 1 middle school relic activity. During your visit to the ruins, I hope you will abide by the following regulations. 1. Among the ruins of Wan Mao Temple, three kinds of monsters have been temporarily discovered, and their strength fluctuates around the official divine masters. Of course, you don't have to worry too much, we will do our best to ensure everyone's safety. Liu Huo took a step forward and began to publicize and implement various regulations for this event. No matter what Liu Huo had in mind, with so many people watching, the process was still indispensable. Even if they knew in their hearts that the matter was not very serious after all, after such a long period of exploration at Mancat Temple, the danger had basically been judged to be minimal. Otherwise, no one would have dared to take the decision to bring these students away. Come here, but you still need to say not a word less. People have a strong mentality. What the school teacher said might not be very effective, but if someone from the spiritual office said this, it would definitely work. Finished. Liu Xing was about to take a step back, but as if something suddenly occurred to him, he continued calmly, In order to carry out this event better, we need to select one from the students. Join us in co-managing. I wonder who would be willing to volunteer. Because it is a security job, it is best to be a student with an auxiliary system who has signed a contract with the gods. Of course, it would be even better if it is a distant eye system. Even so. But her eyes basically never left Chen Shu. The people around who were familiar with Chen Shu looked over with strange expressions. Is she talking about a very new kind of volunteering? Chen Shu. 
You might as well give me your ID number directly. Chen Shu stood back calmly. It's better to leave this kind of limelight to the young man. No matter what, he will use his far-sighted ability to clear the obstacles. I, I do. I, Liang Zhijia, recommend myself with my real name. Although Chen Shu was not keen on this matter, he couldn't resist his classmate's willingness. The functions of the spiritual office are extensive, and the status is even more noble. A silver badge level divine master can still maintain a certain right to speak, even when facing high-level divine masters. There are also many privileges that ordinary people cannot enjoy at all. Belongs to the absolute elite class. In fact, the biggest vision in the hearts of many people present is to become a divine master in the office of the gods. Of course, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages of being able to look familiar together. Liu Hua was not the kind of person who forced Chen Shu to do something without knowing the importance of it. She originally wanted to name Chen Shu directly, but when she saw him taking half a step back, in the end, he didn't speak. By coincidence, Liang Zhijia was named. Maybe it's because both of them are divine masters who use the beast god to enter the barrel, especially since their combat power basically relies on the beast god to enter the barrel. Speaking of which, Liang Zhijia's bottle spirit Big Dog relies on its strong sense of smell and has a natural advantage in defense. After Liang Zhijia was selected, he ran to the side of the people from the divine office. It's just a greeting when you come up. Hello, big brother, my name is Liang Zhijia, an official divine master. Hello, hello. Liang Zhijia was very excited at this time, a little nervous and even trembling slightly. Even though he is a thorn in the class, this does not hinder his respect for the strong. Although the Wandering God Master is only the first level among the levels of the Wandering God Master, you must know that more than 90% of the people in this world will never be able to touch the level of the Wandering God Master. Wandering Masters themselves are already a privileged class. Here we have to talk about some real geniuses. The God of Entering the Bottle is the Realm God Master and becoming a realm god master is almost a certainty. For example, Liu Hu's giant lion spirit god is a spiritual god in its own right. As long as Liu Hua develops normally, it is only a matter of time before he becomes a spiritual master. Liu Huo and others were not people with bad personalities. They did not turn a blind eye to Liang Zhijia's greetings and responded in a friendly manner. But at this time, Zhang Mu turned around and said, Why don't you call Brother Xu? Su Wenkai also echoed and said, His abilities are at home in such ultra-small ruins. We can also save some trouble. Seconded. Wang King also nodded repeatedly. Yes, we can also rest. But this guy is actually in this school. This is something I didn't expect at all. Good. Liu Huo nodded and made the final decision with a hint of constriction in his tone. Zio Su, go and call him. After all, this is their school's matter. He can't do nothing. Liang Zhijia was a little excited when he heard this. This sounds like a boss. To be able to be praised so highly by the big bosses of the Divine Spirit Office, we must get to know each other well now. It's just that the more I hear these words, the more wrong they become. Are they from our school? Could it be a teacher in our school? Shiku City, no. One middle school is really a hidden dragon and a crouching tiger with strong teachers. This is the right study. Until he saw Su Wenkai running up to Chen Shu. After several pulls, Chen Shu came over with a helpless expression. Liang Jijia was confused. But until this moment, he still had a trace of luck in his heart. Maybe he is the younger brother of one of the big guys. Until Zhang Mu said, Brother Shu, here you go. Then Chen Shu said helplessly, Yes, Brother Mu is here. Liang Jijia. When his mind is filled with questions, it's not that he thinks there's something wrong with him, but that there's something wrong with the world. Meaning is, the boss is by my side. And then I was still crazy and provocative during this period. Ah, this. Zhang Mu smiled and said, Hidden it deep enough and didn't say anything about such a big thing as exploring the ruins? 
Chen Shu was helpless. It's just a small school activity, just to see the world. It sounds strange. Although they had only met five or six times, and Zhang Mu himself was a man of few words, the relationship between the two was surprisingly good. Certainly. This is also because as the ultimate master, he is the one who completes the final blow every time, and Chen Shaiwanmu is on the side to assist, so the two of them get along better. Especially since they are so close in age. Get ready to work when you come. Liu Huo also smiled and said, There is no reward this time, we are all here on our own initiative. Nu. Chen Shu turned over helplessly. If you invite me next time, you will have to pay more. Ha 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 ha. Several people had never seen Chen Shu show such a deflated expression, so they couldn't help but laugh. Strength can gain dignity, but only being able to be a good person can make you successful. Chen Shu himself is not a withdrawn person, and after becoming a god, he no longer has the so-called airs of a god. On the contrary, his personality has become more and more natural, and he has naturally gained a lot of friendships. Liang Zhijia was standing next to him at a loss. When he saw Chen Shu looking over, he couldn't help but give a slightly stiff smile. Shu brother Shu. I still like your unruly look. You recover. Although he was thinking this, Chen Shu still smiled and introduced to the people around him. This is my classmate, Liang Zhijia. Sister Hua, he followed the same path as you, the same path of becoming a spiritual god in the bottle to strengthen. I am working, and you are also idle when you are idle. Please tell someone. Liu Nuo heard this. He also became interested and looked at Liang Zhijia and said, Okay, I'll summon it later and I'll show it to you. Liang Zhijia had a moment. It was as if he saw light from Chen Shu. It stung him so much that he felt ashamed. To a certain extent, Liang Zhijia grew up at that moment. Thanks to Tang Xing for the reward, there is another chapter, a little later. In the forest, giant trees grow everywhere. The tree crowns above them are as huge as a canopy, and the roots and vines below are intertwined, but there are gaps in the denseness, and light sources shine from them, just like the scenery in spring. From time to time, birds as huge as eagles fly in the distance and chirp, their voices are as sharp as iron. When they spread their wings, they make a sound that breaks through the air, causing the leaves to rustle. There is also a creature jumping back and forth on the tree. It looks like a cat, but its body is three or four times larger than that of a house cat. It was in sharp contrast to the fat orange cat held in the arms of a classmate in the crowd. A road paved with stone is hidden in the forest. There is a giant lion striding at the front, and the crowd is bustling. From time to time, strange animals appear in the canopy of the trees on both sides of the road, looking down with curiosity. There were also two exclamations from the students in the crowd, as well as movements of raising their mobile phones to take pictures, also accompanied by the teacher's explanation. This is a three-tailed cat beast. It first appeared in the Divine Kingdom of Ten Thousand Beasts and was later included in the book Detailed Explanation of Ten Thousand Beasts. This cat beast moves as fast as the wind and its three tails act as a balance. It can run at extremely fast speeds no matter what kind of terrain it is on. This is the secret. However, the three-tailed cat beast is not a bloodthirsty beast and will not attack humans under normal circumstances. That thing in the distance is the violent eagle, this kind of strange beast. Everywhere looks like a beautiful spring in April. Chen Shu stood among the crowd, his far-sighted ability constantly activated, observing the surrounding environment, but as mentioned before, there was no great danger in this ruins. In fact, he is more integrating various knowledge in his mind. Carbon wood is completely black and has a hard geology. It is most suitable for fire magicians to make staffs and other items. The money flower is an ornamental flower because it is golden in color and is almost the same color as gold. Alien beasts or magical beasts are a kind of beasts that live in ruins and divine kingdoms and there is no specific collective name. In fact, to put it bluntly, 
It is an animal that is much stronger than the earth. He has also read the book, Detailed Explanation of 10,000 Beasts, so not only does he know about the three-tailed cat beast, but he also knows that after the three-tailed cat beast becomes a god, he will serve as the balance god of wandering. If he can invite his god and sign a contract, he can borrow the power of balance and wind. The three-tailed cat beast likes to eat rats the most. Generally speaking, if you sacrifice rat meat as a sacrifice, there is a certain probability that you can invite this kind of god. Everything can become a god. There are precedents for domestic cats on earth to become gods, so it is not surprising that the three-tailed cat beast became a god. But before becoming a god, they were just ordinary strange beasts. On the other hand, in some divine kingdoms, the alien beasts are extremely powerful and are born with various powers. The strong ones can stir up wind and rain, and ordinary divine masters are no match for them. This is why divine kingdoms generally require the realm of wandering divine masters. Reason for entry. It's just that dead things have the power to cultivate the spirit. There really isn't any specific operation for living creatures to become gods in other words. How exactly they become gods is still an unsolved mystery. No one can explain it clearly. What will happen when high school students visit the ruins? Answer, nothing will happen. What can happen? What else do you want to happen? From site selection, to departure, to future route arrangements, to safety, emergency response and other matters, I don't know how many processes have to go through and how many people have to meet and study. If something else happens, everyone involved in this incident will have to apologize. In essence, a high school student's trip to the ruins is similar to signing up for a tour group. There is not much else going on along the way. The main thing is to see the world. Frankly speaking, it has been 3,000 years, but there are still people who may never enter the kingdom of God or visit the ruins once in their lifetime. This is inevitable. So along the way, everyone felt very relaxed. The group of people walked bustlingly on the route planned in advance, taking a look at the flowers and plants around them, which was completely different from the scene in the real world. Liu Huo's giant lion spirit god opened the way and walked at the forefront. The aura of the spirit on his body was raging wildly. Even if there were any blind monsters, just feeling this aura would make him unable to walk in fear, let alone said it was an attack. The big dog summoned by Liang Zhijia also followed him like a dog legger. Liu Huo softly told Liang Zhijia some experiences, mostly practical information, such as the power of blessings suitable for big dogs, etc. Liu Huo's family background is not simple, and coupled with her outstanding strength, it is very easy to give lectures to a formal divine master like Liang Zhijia. Chen Shu was multitasking and listened to everything. Now is the time for him to crazily acquire all kinds of knowledge, no matter what kind of knowledge it is, he wants to learn it. What if he will use it at some point? After all, the ultra-small ruins are not big. Even though the speed is not very fast, everyone walked all morning and saw the appearance of the temple from a distance. I saw it, I saw it. Some people couldn't help but shout with joy. This is the most uncertain age. No matter how beautiful or different the scenery is, I feel a little tired after watching it all morning. Of course I am very happy to see the end of the trip. Within the forest. A stone mountain stood there, not majestic, but in this lush dense forest, this bare mountain peak made entirely of stone seemed so abrupt. On the top of the mountain, a temple that looked dilapidated stood quietly. Chen Shu's field of vision zooms out, and he can observe the whole picture from a distance. But no matter whether he looked left or right, he felt that it didn't look like a mountain, but rather looked like a big tomb. A large tomb spanning several kilometers, the stones look like grave soil. Chen Shu's face was calm, and there was no ominous meaning in his heart. It was just a little strange, but he didn't feel that there would be any danger. Keep moving forward. A blue stone staircase appears in front of you, leading straight to the top. Long stone steps lead from the bottom of the mountain to the top of the mountain. What is strange is that there are no tree roots or vines on this road, as if it can be avoided. 
The mountain is not that high. Soon everyone arrived. When they got closer, everyone discovered that this was a very small temple. From the outside, it was only the size of four or five rooms. It looks a bit old, with blue bricks and old materials. This also touches on Chen Shu's knowledge blind spot, but it has a sense of history. It stands quietly on the mountain, with towering trees and rugged rocks reflecting each other, desolate and mysterious. Again, after you get in, no matter what it is, don't touch it. Do you understand? Get into it. Chen Shu felt that strange feeling became stronger. Please read. The interior of the temple feels connected to the outside world. The swaying roof is covered with mottled signs of decay. Some stones at the corners have been broken into pieces. The paint on the door has peeled off. Some of the tiles on the roof have also fallen off, and tiny bits of light shine through. As soon as you enter the temple, you will see a dim scene. The rotten trees blown in by the wind are flickering dimly, exuding a smell of decay in Huicheng. The ground was littered with flagstones eroded by erosion and wind ash, and it smelled more like a rough patch of land than a temple. After Chen Shu entered, he did not see an old Buddha statue, but on the dust-covered altar table, there was a clay sculpture of a cat. It was a cat in the true sense, with an elegant body and a slender body. The clay sculpture, it is extremely exquisite, and it seems that you can see the smoothness of its hair. A pair of cat eyes also seem to come alive. You can't tell what color they are, but when you look straight at them, it seems like they are staring at you. It can only be described as lifelike. The interior of the temple is full of dust, mottled and decadent atmosphere, as if it had been abandoned and forgotten at the end of time, with no one to inherit it, only the years passing by quietly. It seems that no matter what kind of place it is, as long as it is in a temple, people will subconsciously become quiet. Especially after the arrival of the Age of Divinity, places such as temples and Taoist temples seem to have naturally carried a certain amount of divinity. Therefore, ordinary people will not roll around in such places at all. The team of more than 70 people basically remained quiet at this time. It's strange to say that this temple doesn't look big from the outside, but when you get inside, although it is dilapidated, it seems much more spacious. I don't know if it's the thing itself or it's awakening some weird attributes. According to inference, this ruins is a temple built specifically for cats in ancient times. It's just that the remains are incomplete, so we can't know more about the truth yet. Chen Shu suddenly thought of many things about cats. Cats have been given different statuses and symbolic meanings in different cultures and periods. In ancient Egypt, cats were worshipped as gods and regarded as patron saints and protectors. People often died while reverencing and caring for cats. Cats were mummified and sacrificed. In the ancient Roman Empire and medieval Europe, cats were regarded as evil and the embodiment of the devil. Because of their black fur, they were regarded as a bad omen and were persecuted, slaughtered and even burned. In ancient China, rats were a common problem in farmers' production, and cats, as expert mouse catchers, helped to solve this problem to a certain extent. Therefore, cats are considered to be the most important thing in rural communities in some areas, useful labor. However, building a temple for a cat seems a bit nonsense, no matter how you think about it. It can only be attributed to the ruins, and anything can happen. But as Chen Shu stood quietly aside, the strange feeling in his heart became stronger and stronger he had a strong premonition. Someone is watching him. His far-sightedness makes him extremely sensitive to other people's gazes, and this feeling is absolutely unmistakable. Just looking around in this slightly empty temple, his perspective ability was almost used to the extreme, but he could not find the source of this gaze, until he looked at the clay sculpture on the altar table. For the first time, Chen Shu encountered an object that his eyesight could not penetrate, as if he was facing a mass of invisible and intangible air. Even if Chen Shu tried to maximize his vision, it was just that his current eyesight is far from reaching the point where it can observe the world with molecular weight, and it ultimately fails. It seems like an illusion. 
Chen Shu seemed to see a humanized look of ridicule flashing through the eyes of the clay cat body, as if he was laughing at Chen Shu's overestimation of his abilities. No, it's not an illusion. Gods do not create illusions. At least as a far-sighted god, Chen Shu didn't think that there would be any illusion after seeing it with his own eyes. So, this thing is alive. God? Evil spirit? Warcraft. Chen Shu frantically analyzed in his mind, but couldn't get an answer. He was just secretly shocked, but his face didn't show the slightest abnormality. Instead, he focused his attention elsewhere. Whatever the hell this thing is. Chen Shu knew that it was not something he could deal with for the time being. Just thinking about the years this guy has lived, you can know that it will be difficult to deal with. So, it's better not to mess around. If it makes big news, it would be really bad. Only. The more Chen Shu stopped looking at him, the more excessive his gaze became. No matter where he stood, he could feel the obvious gaze. Chen Shu, you're stuck with me, right? But now he has an even stranger thought in his mind, which is why no one discovered it before. This kind of gaze is not difficult for a more powerful divine master to sense. If it is really sensed, the ultra-small ruins here should not have such a low rating. It can't be because of looks, right? Or is it because I am a god? For the rest of the time. Chen Shu finally realized what it meant to feel like sitting on pins and needles, like a thorn in the back or like a lump in the throat. Fortunately, nothing unusual happened until they left the temple, which made Chen Shu breathe a sigh of relief. He looked back at the temple with lingering fear. At this time, he felt that the so-called hill looked more and more like a tomb. Never again. He thought secretly in his heart. Follow the same path all the way back. Still nothing unusual happened. There is no distinction between day and night in the ruins. It is always daytime. No matter how great the curiosity is, it will be worn away by fatigue and unchangingness. On the way back, the crowd was silent for a long time. Even many teenagers were disappointed. The adventure they originally imagined in their hearts turned into a spring outing. But not until it was time to walk out of the ruins. Something went wrong. Big Orange. My big orange is missing. Among the crowd, a girl from another class had a cry in her voice. Daju was a pet cat she kept. It looked overgrown and fat. She brought it with her because she heard it was a relic with a name like Mancat Temple. I just don't know when I lost it. When I asked her, even she couldn't remember clearly, she just said that she only remembered holding him in her arms. Of course, it is impossible to go out of your way to find a pet cat. Moreover, pet cats in this environment may be in danger. In the end, if he delayed the crowd for three or four minutes, he could only consider himself unlucky. Seeing the girl crying, several girls around her comforted her. Chen Shu only felt noisy. He even wanted to go up and give her a big pussy fight. Because... He looked at the lost, fat orange cat, standing at her feet with its head tilted, staring at him with a strange meaning in its cat eyes. But no one saw it. On the way back, Chen Shu has never been in a good mood and even has no intention of reading his favorite spiritual core journal. Lai Jing asked several times, but Chen Shu just forced a smile and said it was okay. How to say? What if there was a cat invisible to everyone, lying on the pillow of the seat in front of you, staring at you with a pair of human eyes? You won't feel any better. He doesn't speak, and he doesn't know if he can speak. But the divine aura on his body cannot be faked, and it really suppresses Chen Shu's aura. The only good thing is that this guy doesn't look like a bad guy of course, with the fat orange cat's outer body, even if he is a bad guy, he probably won't be able to tell. At least she didn't show any intention of hurting him. That's all. There is such a little tale beside Chen Shu that no one else can see. From the bus entering Shiku City, to getting off the bus, saying goodbye to each other, then getting on the bus, and finally walking downstairs at home. The fat orange cat seemed to be entangled with Chen Shu, following closely behind Chen Shu step by step. And the distance is getting closer and closer. At first, the cat is just hanging behind you, dragging its fat body and twisting its four short legs, looking like 
I am following you. Then he became more and more courageous and ran to Chen Shu's feet, jumping up and down, turning his head to look at Chen Shu from time to time, but more often he looked at the world around him with his eyes. And when Chen Shu arrived downstairs at his house, he might have been too fat to walk, and this guy was already lying on Chen Shu's head. Chen Shu. What are you doing? You really think I can't see you, right? Then it's time to go upstairs. Chen Kin is still not at home today. After becoming a god, this guy seems to have relaxed his mind. He used to come back every three days, but now he doesn't come back anymore. There is no way for women to stay in college. But at this moment, Chen Shu could no longer think about these trivial things. After entering the house, the fat cat above him nimbly landed on his face, got up and covered his nose with his two paws for a long time, rolling back and forth for several times. Lock up. Chen Shu. I feel like this guy's brain is not very useful. Then, he saw the fat cat covering it for a while and then walking around the house as if nothing had happened like a cat owner patrolling its territory. Chen Shu only felt tired. What on earth do you want to do? Please give me an accurate answer. Tired. Destroy it. That. Chen Shu sorted out his words. What can I do for you? The fat cat was stunned for a moment and then started wandering around as if nothing had happened. Silence. Chen Shu? What's the matter with you? Chen Shu asked again without giving up. Sha Mao finally paused for a moment, then turned around and faced Chen Shu directly, until their eyes met. Meow! The fat cat jumped more than one meter high, arched his waist, and said in a human voice, Can you see me? Chen Shu? After writing this for a long time, you thought I couldn't see you, right? Damn it, this god is not very smart. It's always possible. Always? Didn't you even see the moment when you fell? Please help. I found a peerless body, but he can see it all the time. What should I do? Not long after. On the table. The two gods sat opposite each other. Chen Shu pondered for a moment and said, So, you are saying that you saw me when you were in the temple. The temple, and then you discovered at a glance that I am extraordinary and talented. If you can enter my bottle, your strength will be restored. It became faster, even stronger, so you ran out. Sha Mao sat across from him obediently and nodded repeatedly. Chen Shu took a deep breath and leaned back. All he could say was, really good at judging people. After living for more than 10 years, this was the first time that a creature said that he was gifted. Chen Shu continued, so if you can't enter the bottle now, you won't even be able to return to the ruins because the original clay sculpture has been weathered by the decay of time as you left, so you can only living on the streets, or even gradually disappearing. Chen Shu, it's forbidden to act cute. It was really the first time that Chen Shu saw a fat cat with so many expressions on its face. But no matter how you look at it, isn't this fat cat a little too stupid? Directly without any escape route, please let me enter the bottle and become your god. Sha Mao finally stopped being cute and said in a clear voice, after becoming a god, you and I are one. Although my strength has not recovered much now, I am very strong. No one can resist a little fat cat that can show off its muscles. But God can. Chen Shu pondered for a moment and said slowly, What if I am also a god? The god who enters the bottle is naturally very good for human beings. But for gods, Chen Shu is not clear. If this produces some adverse effects on oneself, then the gain is really not worth the loss. Sha Mao was stunned at first. But as Chen Shu released his wandering spirit aura, his expression suddenly became extremely weird. Unwilling to give up, he transformed into a spirit body and tried to touch Chen Shu's body. Bang, bang, bang. It did not blend directly into it as he imagined, but instead made the sound of physical collision. How could it be possible? Chen Shu said calmly, Nothing is impossible, I am God. Then, Chen Shu saw the little fat cat falling into doubts about his life. He had been sealed for so many years, and finally the seal was loosened, and he saw the light of day again. 
Finally, he received a peerless talent, but he was also a god. Although it is super weak, but didn't I come out in vain? You can't really wait until it dissipates. The Godhead of Human Life How can it be? After thinking for a long time, the little fat cat turned around pitifully and said calmly, Well, there is actually another way. Actually, it's almost the same as entering the bottle. One is with people and the other is with gods. It's just that the authority is a billion points bigger. The so-called other way is actually to become Chen Shu's god. It is different from becoming a human being after entering a human body. After entering a human body, although the gods are called gods, according to the actual situation, the relationship between gods and humans is at best an equal relationship. Even in some extreme cases, the so-called godly still occupies a dominant position. This situation is not uncommon. Under normal circumstances, it is difficult to tell whether the relationship between humans and gods is equal or tilted. The two often have a mutually beneficial relationship. Human beings borrow power by asking gods to make contracts and strengthen themselves in the process, and gods actually need human incense and the spiritual thoughts returned when borrowing power to strengthen themselves. If the world is unified, the word should be Human beings should not belittle themselves, and gods should not be aloof and arrogant. But no. Hundreds of years have passed since the advent of the Divine Age, but many things have not actually changed. After all, world unity still only exists in literature and reports, and is mostly a fantasy. But the divine nature of the gods is not like this. There is a relationship between gods and gods, just like the snake god that I have come into contact with before. It is in charge of all snakes in the world. Even if it does not have the name of God, it still has the name of God. The truth. Just like the god of fear, he is often weaker than the god of emotion. There is also a divine distinction between concepts, such as the god of candlelight, who surrenders to the god of flame from his official position. And like Chen Chu, who currently serves as the god of far eyes, so on top of his duties as the god of far eyes, there is also the god of pupillary. But Chen Chu cannot be called a god of this unknown god, only in the sense of belonging. Once a god chooses to become the god of another god, it does not control life and death, to put it most straightforwardly. Your strength is very good. Now he is ours. That is the true sense of both prosperity and loss. Sha Mao's brain really didn't work very well. After talking about this thing and gesticulating for a long time, Chen Shu finally understood it. Use the organizational structure of a company as an analogy. So when a spirit enters a human being, it is equivalent to two people becoming colleagues. As for how the two get along, it depends on their respective abilities. When the gods enter the bottle, they are equivalent to direct subordinates, holding the power of life and death. They can work overtime for free or receive 996 blessings at your disposal. For example, those bosses who are suppressed by their duties and can be assigned to other departments have higher positions than you, but they can only give you some shoes. To truly become a god, from a certain perspective, is to send one's life to the Lord God. Of course, this is actually a matter of mutual benefit. As the main god, it is most basic to provide him with safety guarantees. The struggle between gods and gods is also obviously fierce. Do not know why. Chen Shu always has the feeling that being a god is not easy. Even so, Chen Shu still looked at the little fat cat with a pitiful look in front of him. Do you need to fight so hard? No matter from which angle you look at it, this is a good thing with no harm to you. As time goes by, Chen Shu will still survive in this society. The stronger he is, the stronger the people he comes into contact with will naturally become stronger. There is no telling how many weird gods will appear. There is a god who enters the bottle, who can hide people's eyes and ears, not to mention other things, and can prevent a lot of suspicion. In his own induction, he didn't sense any ominous meaning, but he could tell that what the fat cat said was true. What to do? 
this cat finally came across a masterpiece. If I miss it, will I not be able to finish the ball when the power dissipates? Furthermore, Chen Shu's situation of human life and godhood, he has lived for so many years. Although it has been sealed most of the time, he claims to be well informed. And this is really the first time he has seen it. I have never heard of it before. Although I don't know what the situation is, looking at Chen Shu's current appearance, at least the upper limit is not low. A wandering god should be regarded as a god. No shame woo woo woo. Not long after. It's an advantage for you woo woo. The little fat cat stretched out its fleshy little paws, and suddenly there was a light flashing on it, exuding a sacred aura. The fat cat had a distressed expression on its face, and finally patted Chen Shu's little paw gently on the body, in the blink of an eye. The brilliance rushed into Chen Shu's body in an instant, turning into a mark engraved with nobility and mystery, and quietly blended into Chen Shu's spiritual sea, like a satellite orbiting the earth. It is different from all the divine marks that Chen Shu has seen. It does not mean to be superior. Instead, it is like a kitten lying on the spiritual sea. Chen Shu looked at Sha Mao. Somewhere along the way, joy arises in my heart. It is like a rain in spring moistening the earth, and it is a kind of joy and peace that seems to emanate from the heart. A kind of connection, like a connection between souls, suddenly emerged in Chen Shu's heart. In that moment, Chen Shu seemed to have traveled through time for thousands of years, came to a distant unknown place. All things grow, and a voice sounds from somewhere. One day in the past, a rumor said, I have selected two animals, which are called zodiac animals, and there will be one for each year. How many animals were there at that time? This is so, so everyone said, If you set a day to register, the one who comes first will be selected first. There are two neighboring families. Cat and mouse are sworn friends, and both want to sign up. The cat said, I think we should register very early, but I like to sleep in so much. What should I do? The mouse said, Don't worry, you can just go to sleep. I will call you as soon as I wake up, and we will go together. The cat was extremely pleased to hear this and thanked him. On the day of registration, Rat woke up early and went to register alone. However, the mouse thought about it, thinking only about himself and forgetting his friend the cat, so he did not call the cat. As a result, the rat was chosen. How about cats? The cat got up too late because he was sleeping in. By the time the cat arrived, all twelve animals had been selected. Because the cat was not selected, he resented his good friend the rat and cursed the rat for not calling him. From then on, when the cat saw the rat, it wanted to eat it. But the rat had to run away desperately. I don't know what year it was again. A group of people in gorgeous robes were sitting down, looking at a cat with reverence. The cat was equally luxuriously dressed and had a crown on its head, inlaid with various gems. People looked at it with reverence, shouting Bastet. There are also black cats that are regarded as lucky and are revered and enshrined. Later, in the blazing flames, cats were slaughtered. At the end, Chen Shu saw an unopened box, in which life and death flowed together in perfect harmony. What goes into the bottle belongs to God. Fingal word. Call it, cat. He looked at the stupid cat in front of him with a pained face. No matter what Chen Shu thought about, it was difficult to connect with what he saw. But the problem is, why are you so weak now? After entering the bottle, Sha Mao's true strength was revealed in front of Chen Shu. Let's just say, it's a bit too weak. It felt like a spirit that had just been born. It could hardly sense any threats. It was so weak that Chen Shu wanted to call the police. This is not pure fraud. Didn't you just say you were strong? After all, no one except Chen Shu could see his figure along the way. Now that I think about it, maybe the strength is actually very weak, but the energy used is very advanced. Chen Shu was already prepared for another crazy surge in strength. Unexpectedly, this was it. He has read so many books, and the contents of the books are similar, but without exception, when it comes to entering the Zun Spirit God, all the contents are surprisingly similar. When the spiritual spirit enters the bottle, the energy will skyrocket. 
The spiritual thoughts will flourish, the water will turn into a vast ocean, and the person will be cremated into ashes. When the spirit God enters the bottle, it will have great changes in a person's own strength, temperament, and even genes. This is something that no contracted God can achieve. Those who have the God of mountains and rocks in the bottle will have a body as hard as a rock, a strength as strong as a mountain, and an aura as strong as a mountain. Those who have the God of flames in the bottle can be roasted by the flames without getting hurt, and they can control the flames. Those who enter the bottle with the God of thunder and lightning will have power like lightning and body shape like heavy rain and thunder. Beast, Chen Shu had read them all from many books. In fact, there are similar examples, and they are not groundless rumors. For humans, it is no less than a long-lasting genetic evolution. Therefore, whether there is a spirit in the bottle is so important among the divine masters. Well, Chen Shu sighed lightly. However, there are indeed disappointments, but not much. After all, humans and gods are different, not to mention that there is still a difference between the two. Not all gods are qualified to change their own bodies. Moreover, I still hope to have the guise of becoming a Taoist master. It doesn't matter whether I am strong or weak. Besides, this fat cat is indeed not simple. I just don't know what state of God he will be when he fully recovers. Realm God? Spiritual God? I'm in. Fat cat said with a cry finished. Without waiting for Chen Shu to say anything, his fat body turned into a spirit body and entered Chen Shu's body in an instant. After cruising for a while, he finally lay down slowly beside Chen Shu's spiritual sea. He originally wanted to rest in the spiritual sea. Just after entering Chen Shu's body, there began to be a sound from the underworld. The sound seemed to come from a distant place, carrying a solemn meaning like the voice of a saint and like the voice of a saint. It was the angel spinning and flying, as if there were thousands of voices ringing together. Those thousands of voices gathered and condensed, and finally formed three solemn words. I am God. I am God. I am God. I am God. The sound goes from weak to strong, from small to magnificent, like a big bell is ringing, the sound is ringing from a distant place, and finally it is like thunder, and then it is like a loud sound, which makes people unable to hear clearly. The fat cat suddenly stopped moving forward. Within the sight of his eyes, there seemed to be a giant rising up from the sky. No sound was heard, but a deep eye could be seen, as deep as the sea, and as clear as a spring in the stillness. Gaze at him in silence. There is a god beyond words. Hearing this sound, Sha Mao felt his scalp numb for the first time, and muttered a few words. What kind of perversion is this? This kind of spiritual thought will soon catch up with the realm god. Obviously, he's just a human. Simply. He lay down on the spot, and the sound immediately disappeared. And at the moment of lying down, the fat cat's body was constantly changing. Sometimes it turned into a noble and slender figure, sometimes it turned into a lucky cat with dark hair, sometimes it turned into a luxurious one, sometimes it turned into an ordinary cat. The kitten, there is a sense of death flowing in the body, and it is full of life in the next moment. It's dazzling and absolutely magical. Chen Shu vaguely sensed several flavors of official duties in it. It's just that no matter what kind of position it is, it is extremely weak at this time. I'm afraid it will be difficult to change one's own situation, let alone affect the current world. This is also a poor cat. But thinking about his vision again, Chen Shu felt that it was not unreasonable for him to make the mouse play around in the first place. But what Chen Shu didn't know was... There is one thing that Sha Mao has never said. In fact, before meeting Chen Shu, he existed in the clay sculpture, and his strength was not so weak. It was just that at that time, he had the function of luck. Started. Although it didn't have the effect I expected, it was still satisfactory. I cooked a fairly delicious meal for myself, and then started to practice daily meditation on the butcher knife. Now he can be regarded as a shotgun for a cannon, and even the rations for the butcher's knife are much richer. 
at least it is not the congealed pig blood and duck blood, but is soaked in the blood of evil spirits every day. This has been a month in a row for me to eat something good. However, the butcher knife still had no reaction. It is worth mentioning that a week ago, the butcher's knife flashed some brilliance. At that time, Chen Shu was so excited that he turned his attention to the blind man. A week later, Chen Shu never saw anything about it again. Reaction In fact, Chen Shu has always been serving this butcher's knife. After successfully recuperating, he had the idea of letting this butcher's knife enter his bottle. I can't invite God, I become a god myself. Then if I become a god, then I can raise a god to disguise my identity. Is this reasonable? As a human being, you still have to rely on yourself. I just don't know if Chen Shu's thoughts were noticed or what. Amid the weird look on Chen Shu's face, the butcher's knife, which had been unresponsive for a week, started to glow slightly again. The light grew brighter and brighter. But after a moment, it dimly went out. Like a little chicken trying to break the egg shell after trying hard but failing. Inexplicable. Chen Shu seemed to sense a trace of resentment from the butcher's knife. Chen Shu wondered, could this guy be jealous? Suck. Call. In one breath, all the spiritual thoughts fed back by the apostles throughout the night were absorbed. Those extremely pure spiritual thoughts rushed all the way into the body, integrating into the limbs and bones wantonly, and most of them were eventually integrated into Chen Shu's left eye. Call. My left eye suddenly felt a cool feeling, as if I was standing under the shade of a tree in summer and a cool breeze blew in, which was extremely comfortable. Chen Shu's left eye's vision was activated to the extreme, and his vision spanned more than 20 kilometers in an instant. Finally, he stopped at a street where he could no longer continue. At this time, there were many pedestrians on the street. The breakfast shop on the roadside was filled with white mist in the winter. The crowd of workers in front of the door were busy buying a few buns, then turned around and walked out quickly, for fear of missing the bus. Chen Shu did the math. As the night passed, his vision increased by nearly 20 meters. It has now reached 26 750 meters. This kind of improvement speed is not unsatisfactory. At least among humans, Chen Shu has never heard of anyone who can borrow power every day. It is increasing every day. It was only then that Chen Shu recovered from a night of reading. His eyes were still clear, as if some light of wisdom had flashed through him, like a bottomless pool. Ever since the leaks helped him practice, he hasn't practiced on his own for a while. To be honest, the spiritual thoughts returned by the leaks after borrowing their strength are much more efficient than his own cultivation. Of course, this may also be due to the difficulty of being frugal from luxury. In his spare time, Chen Shu spent all his free time reading. He felt like he fell in love with reading. Since becoming a god, his spirit has been as strong as a flame. Basic sleep is no longer needed at all, and he will only rest for a while when he is tired occasionally. This actually gave him a lot more time to read. After all, that strong, flame-like spirit was always burning his soul. If he didn't study... What would he do with such a strong spirit? Roll it up, roll it up. When such old tricks start to be rolled up, then to be honest, there is really no way for people of the same age to survive. Chen Shu is now getting more and more accustomed to reading. Sometimes if he doesn't read for a day, he will always feel like he is lacking something, and then punish himself by reading a day's worth of books the next day. But the effect is also extremely obvious. Chen Shu has become more and more calm now, restrained and calm, facing everything with dignity and calmness, and the lives of countless great sages have been integrated into his temperament. But he didn't feel arrogant because of this. Instead, he became more respectful and humble. Temperament is hard to say, but it does exist. Now that Chen Shu is standing there, he can't help but produce a gentle and jade-like temperament. It's only been a month since I read it, and I've already seen such a change, which I have to say is amazing. Of course, it is estimated that only Chen Shu in the world can achieve this. Books are the ladder of human progress. This is not wrong at all. While cleaning up and washing up, 
Chen Shu secretly sensed the messages from the apostles. Currently, he has 11 apostles, all of whom he signed contracts this month. Sudden, Chen Shu was stunned. He sensed that a mark of the contract he signed had disappeared at this time. Chen Shu felt it for a moment, but he could no longer feel his breath. If Chen Shu remembered correctly, he should be a middle-aged man in his forties, with the strength of a wandering godmaster, and most of the contracts signed in his body were with speed-type gods. How long has it been? More than a week. Is this dead? Chen Shu still remembered that the last time this guy used his ability, he was surrounded by a wilderness, and what he could see was a desert-like dry land everywhere. Combined with the topography at that time, if the calculation is not wrong, it is probably the kingdom of God Endless Sea of Sand. It is rated as a dangerous zone in the kingdom of the great God. Judging from this, death seems to be just a common thing. After all, a large divine kingdom is as big as a continent, and the dangers therein are difficult to guard against. Thigh softly. This is a real sigh, not because of the missing leak, but because of the passing of life. Empathy is also fleeting. Chen Shu looked at the information in the app again, carefully selected a good leak with outstanding strength, made an appointment for today, and turned off his phone again. It is worth mentioning that Chen Shu has changed the price of the Divine Slough to one million. This was the advice Liu Huo gave him. The original price was indeed a bit pricey, although it was able to attract a lot of people in the first place, which was regarded as a big opening bonus. But Liu Huo also said, it's not because it will disrupt market prices or anything like that. To be honest, it's hard to tell how big the market for divine objects is, but it definitely exists in the trillions. Chen Shu wants to stir up the 200,000 yuan. The market is really a fantasy. But because of low prices, they often fail to bring in high-quality customers. It can be seen from the fact that Chen Shu only signed 11 people in nearly 30 days. This was a wake-up call. Chen Shu changed the price overnight. Sure enough, although there were fewer people coming to inquire, the quality did increase significantly. Successfully contracted with several people in a row. Don't think it's too much if you make 1 million a day. Chen Shu mentally calculated the assets of Bill Gates in his previous life that day. Even if he makes one million a day, it will take him about 2305 years to equal the wealth he controls. However, as more and more apostles signed the contract, Chen Shu gradually came up with a dark thought, as if he was blessed, and he understood it in an instant. The number of apostles that the gods can sign is also limited. As a junior wandering god, the maximum number of contracts he can make is 50. It is worth mentioning that these 50 digits are a fixed value, that is to say, if one is used and one less is used such as the death of this middle-aged man today, then Chen Shu will only have 49 remaining contract digits. This kind of contract quantity can also be restored through practice, but the cost is not low and those who haven't even reached the level of Yaoshin can basically only sign three or five contracts. This can also explain why some gods are unwilling to sign a contract, and some even require sacrifices before they can agree. Chen Shu suddenly realized that if he could sign unlimited contracts, then the strength of the gods would have been unimaginably powerful. Human beings may not be directly raised as pigs and become incense rations at least for now. It's not developing in that direction. Both sides develop peacefully under the constraints of the rules of the universe. After all, if there were no apostles, the gods would probably become extremely weak or even die outright. There are not a few gods who die every year because of this or who die for unknown reasons. Chen Shu glanced thoughtfully at the fat cat lying on the edge of the spiritual sea. I always feel that this stupid cat is so weak and he used to be so strong. I'm afraid he is just the kind of idiot who doesn't know about sustainable development. Ever since I felt something. Chen Shu's requirements for signing apostles are getting higher and higher and he basically has a mentality of preferring nothing to nothing. Otherwise, if he signed a contract with a bunch of weaklings and something happened and everything was lost, he would really have no place to cry. 
but compared to all gods. Chen Shu's biggest advantage is that he can choose apostles in advance, maximizing his error tolerance. This is incomparable to any god. And Chen Shu still has a little immature idea. If your other organs become gods, will the number of contracts increase at the same time? Please read. Good news, it's the weekend. Bad news, but class. Because it is almost the end of the year, and this year is a rare early year. There is less than a week between the Spring Festival and New Year's Day. This also means that winter vacation will start very early. The school is also taking great pains, fearing that the senior high school students will not be able to keep up with the pace of the curriculum and will fail in next year's college entrance examination, which is called a war. Therefore, there are only two days of vacation in the entire 12 months, which is still composed of four and a half days. The school probably thought they were very smart, and four half-day vacations were perfect. But Lai Jing almost called the police. Damn it, there are only 10 days of winter vacation. In fact, it wasn't just Lai Jing, more than half of the senior high school students in the school wanted to call the police, and the other half wanted to kill someone. However, the teachers are used to this, and they have to comfort the anxious students. Every year, the senior high school students are the hardest, but in fact the teachers are not much better. Chen Shu didn't have any complaints about this. He can basically do well in exams, and classes are not too difficult for him. He is energetic throughout the day and does not feel tired. Going to school is like taking a break. But seeing the complaints from his classmates, Chen Shu felt a little happy. His biggest regret after graduation in his previous life was that he didn't cherish the time he spent in school. He was more than happy to be in his senior year of high school again. Minding his own business, he took out the book he hadn't finished reading yesterday and started reading again. Some people want to show off. But some people have already begun to roll up. Lai Jing only felt a toothache when he saw this scene. This time he did not humiliate himself and went to see what kind of book Chen Shu was reading. Anyway, it is probably the kind of book that I will never buy and read in my life. He became increasingly confused about his deskmate. Yesterday, I saw him chatting and laughing with the people from the Divine Office, and he looked very familiar with them. Everyone knows that Chen Shu is not simple. Under normal circumstances, people in the Divine Office are very arrogant. This arrogance is not expressed by them, but is naturally developed by their own strength and status. Lai Jing's father's friend is an ordinary divine master in the spiritual office, but even so, when facing his father, he will always be a little bossy unconsciously. But when facing Chen Shu, those few people seemed extremely polite and approachable, barely even close to each other. Is this something ordinary people can do? Not to mention that Chen Shu is only a high school student. Especially towards the end, those people shouted for Chen Shu to get in their car, saying they wanted to celebrate his first time entering the ruins. This was something they couldn't pretend to do. With this kind of performance, not to mention the students, even the teacher was a little overwhelmed, and many people even came to him to ask for information about Chen Shu. The problem is, I know shit. He knew that Chen Shu was an orphan. He saw it when he was filling out a form in school, but he never asked. Likewise, he never told anyone. Then, last night, a classmate with some energy at home broke out. Chen Shu seems to be a wandering master. It's just that the assessment hasn't been conducted yet, and the reason why those few people were so polite to Chen Shu was not because of his family connections or anything else, it was entirely because of his own strength. It is said that the Divine Office has invited him several times. It can be said that one stone stirs up a thousand waves. Wandering Master. What is that concept? In the minds of these high school students, that is basically a lifelong dream. Moreover, he is valued by the divine agency and has been able to participate in many evil spirit extermination operations. At any point in this, if anyone were to be called a big boss, they would probably become famous. Not to mention anything else, you can definitely walk sideways in Shiku City. This is no longer a boss. This is a giant. But even so, Chen Shu didn't look arrogant at all. 
and he always looked gentle when dealing with people. When asking for advice from him, I would be shocked by his erudition. Although from time to time I would still look puzzled and say, isn't this common sense? Such irritating words would be patient, and I would patiently answer them when I encountered something they didn't understand. I will also say sorry and wait until I tell you tomorrow. What is this pattern? Lai Jing didn't know. But he knows he can't do it, so he respects those who can. But Lai Jing always has a feeling that this person will be great in the future. You are not from the same world. Lai Jing sighed softly in his heart, then took out another paper and touched Chen Shu lightly. Father, can you tell me about this? Chen Shu glanced at it. This question is very simple. After another explanation, many students who were listening to the lecture gathered around me. In fact, ever since Chen Shu entered the class, many pairs of eyes have been staring at him. When you don't know what Chen Shu's strength is, you can get along with him calmly, but when you know about it, you will become cautious. Answered a few more questions. Because of the amount of knowledge, Chen Shu did not dare to say that he spoke more clearly than the old teacher, but he could still explain it in a simple and profound way. Brother Shu, I don't know this question either. Can you explain it to me? At this time, Chen Shu heard a familiar voice and turned around to see it was Liang Zhijia. Chen Shu looked at him, then at the question and said gently, This question is common sense. Hey hey. Liang Zhijia chuckled and scratched the back of his head. I don't know how, please tell me. In class, Chen Shu's cell phone vibrated. It was a message from Liu Hua. Chen Shu, do you want to take the exam to become a wandering master? Please read. Chen Shu's reply was decisive. Yes. Liu Hua, then I'll register your name? Good. What are you doing? Attend class. Then you have a good time. Putting away her phone, Liu Hua clicked her teeth and made a sound of unknown meaning. It always felt a little weird. Send it to Chen Shu. She looked at the staff aside and took out her mobile phone. This is the ID number. Ouch. So young. What are you talking about? And on the other side. Chen Shu also put down his cell phone. It is still necessary to participate in the Wandering Master Assessment. After all, the authority and privileges of the Wandering God Master are not too small. Chen Shu had always wanted to sign up before, but the assessment of Master Yaoshan cannot be taken anytime and anywhere. Many things still need to be prepared. Time flies, a few days later. Chen Shu and Yang Jingjing took leave. Ordinarily, at this critical moment, as a senior high school student, the school would not grant leave unless it was a big deal. But when Chen Shu said calmly, I'm going to take the wandering master examination. At this time, Yang Jingjing knew that it would be a bit rude if she asked again. Go, go, come on. As he spoke, he patted Chen Shu's shoulder encouragingly. After Chen Shu walked out of the office, all the teachers in the office who were pretending to be calm now stopped. Sister Yang, is Chen Shu preparing to take the exam to become a wandering master? This guy really doesn't show his true face. Yeah, I couldn't hit a fart with a stick before, but now I'm on the rise. If you become a wandering master, it will break the school's record. Since the founding of the school, no one has been promoted to a wandering master in high school. Sister Yang, a famous teacher gives birth to a great disciple but the position of grade director has been vacant for a while. Listening to the gossip in the crowd, Yang Jingjing also had a smile on her face. She waved her hands and said, It's all because of other people's efforts. It has nothing to do with me. It's nothing, it's nothing. But I was secretly happy in my heart, regardless of Chen Shu or not, as long as any of her students can develop well, she will be happy for it. After decades of working in the profession, her teacher's ethics have been increasing day by day, and this is not without its benefits. As outstanding students emerge, her literary spirit will also increase. There is no telling when he will be promoted to the wandering master. The gods who enter the bottle are different, and the methods of practice are naturally different. 
and the other side. Chen Shu, on the other hand, walked away gracefully while carrying a book under the eyes of his classmates. He seemed to be able to read a sentence from the eyes of his classmates, You really deserve to die. That's right. He did it on purpose. When I arrived at the school gate, I saw a car parked on the roadside. The pure black paint surface had a frosted texture and the light did not reflect on it. It looked like a quiet warrior. Liu Mayan was standing next to the car. Today she was wearing a black outfit, which made her look even more slender. Her long legs were even and straight, attracting a lot of attention. Her hair was neat and clean, combed into a high ponytail, which made her sharp and sharp. Kai is more prominent. In the past, Chen Shu had always heard people say that wearing black would make you look slimmer. But after seeing Liu Mayan today, Chen Shu knew that others' words should not be trusted. Obviously not thin at all. Needless to say, Liu Mayan did have the best figure among the women Chen Shu had ever seen in every aspect. When Liu Mayan saw Chen Shu coming out, he couldn't help but said speechlessly, Can't you ask for leave in advance? Is it necessary to go to school? You do not understand. Chen Shu shook his head and said in a tone like a god of learning facing a scumbag, Studying makes me happy. Liu Mayan, are you implying that I scored over 400 points in the college entrance examination? But back to business. After getting into Liu Mayan's car, the two of them headed to Pingxin City next door. The staff in Shiku City has been tight in recent days and there are no spiritual masters responsible for grading. What's more, the grading of wandering masters generally requires the presence of three spiritual masters to be responsible for the assessment of a wandering master. The assessment of the wandering master is basically based on 20 people. After the number of applicants is reached, some corresponding preparations must be made before it can be held. It also takes a lot of energy. Driving speeds are extremely fast. In today's world, except in urban areas, there is basically no speed limit outside. As for Liu Hua's car, the Black Warrior, it was also a very high-performance telekinesis vehicle. Chen Shu felt like he was flying along the way, and he didn't even say a word. At this speed, they soon arrived at Pingxin City. In fact, most cities in the country were similar. Pingxin City was not much different from Shiku City, but was slightly larger. He didn't stop along the way. Soon we arrived in front of the Master Hall. Compared to Shiku City, the Divine Master Hall in Pingxin City is even smaller, probably because there are no mine bosses. Liu Huan was familiar with the road, and it was almost smooth sailing with Chen Shu along the way. Soon he arrived at the door of a conference hall. After a special person verified Chen Shu's identity, he gave him a number plate, indicating that he could enter. Chen Shu glanced at No. 14. Liu Huo waved her hand and motioned for him to go in by himself. At this time, more than a dozen people were already sitting in the hall. As Chen Shu arrived, everyone looked over. Probably because Chen Shu didn't look very old, everyone looked at him twice. Before Chen Shu entered the room, he had already looked at everyone in the room. At a glance, the oldest one seemed to be in his forties, while the youngest one looked like a college student in his twenties. Most of them were men, with only four women and three slightly younger ladies. The crowd sat scattered and did not communicate much with each other but without exception, most people are more or less nervous. When he glanced over, he even saw an elder brother's legs shaking slightly. Chen Shu understood. For most people in the world, the wandering master assessment is more important than the college entrance examination, so it's no wonder they are nervous. However, there are a few people who look very relaxed. One was a college student in his 20s with black hair and bangs, a pair of glasses, a white t-shirt and jeans. He looked fresh and clean. While waiting, he kept clicking on the screen with his mobile phone. He looked seemingly it's playing games. Occasionally, he would raise his head and glance around with a relaxed smile on his face and an extremely confident look. And the young lady is a slender young woman with long hair reaching her waist, she is wearing a loose printed dress and white leather shoes. She looks pretty. 
There is another person, a man in his thirties wearing a suit who looks like a high-end social worker. The people in this hall are all people from all walks of life and few of them live a full-time life as priests. Chen Shu sat down quietly, picked up the book and started reading slowly. The hall seemed unusually quiet, with only the clock on the wall ticking. With every second that passes time seems to get longer, as other reference personnel came in one after another. Finally, the man called to number one went in. The rest of the people were waiting quietly outside. Chen Shu didn't care about other people's assessment results. The room outside the hall seemed to have been set up by a divine master. If he forcibly looked through it, it wouldn't be good if he was discovered. People passed by one by one and some walked out with smiles on their faces while others were naturally very depressed. They left the hall with their heads hanging down. Finally, when Chen Shu was almost finished reading a core journal from March last year, it was his turn. Under the attention of others, Chen Shu slowly put away the book, turned around and walked towards the room on the side of the hall. It was not a small room as imagined by the statement, but another hall filled with dynamometers, speedometers, reaction machines, and other things needed for various physical tests. It has everything, even more complete than the Shenwu Gym where Chen Shu applied for a card before, which can be regarded as an eye-opener for him. At this time, two staff members came forward and led Chen Shu to the dynamometer. A man and a woman, both young people in their twenties, spoke very casually. Dude, this is it. On the dynamometer. Don't borrow the power of any gods, just use your own power to throw a hundred punches. Chen Shu nodded slightly to indicate that he understood. The first item in the Divine Master's assessment is the physical test. There is no need to deny this. After the spirit enters the bottle, not only the temperament but also the physical quality of the Divine Master will undergo a huge change. It can be said that he is completely different from normal people. And after countless contracts with gods, the physical quality of the Divine Master is gradually changing, and the genes gradually begin to adapt to the powerful power brought by the gods. For example, if you ask the god of strength for more times and exercise at the same time, the physical quality of the divine master will also increase accordingly. Even those with extraordinary talents will be able to perform as well as before without asking the god. The powerful fighting ability when praying to god. Therefore, for a divine master, the basic quality of the body is also one of the key points of the test. On the way here, Liu Mayan talked about various matters during the test. Chen Shu had already expected this. No more words are needed. Xiao Liang and He Ping were the two wandering masters in charge of the physical examination. Although they were shocked by Chen Shu's youth, they did not show much expression on their faces. After explaining the rules to Chen Shu, they flashed to the side. The players this month are average. It's okay. Isn't there one who has reached the B-level standard? There is also a B. As long as there are no big problems later, promotion will not be a problem. This level is the same level standard set by the Divine Master Association. Generally speaking, as long as one of the physical qualities reaches C-level, and if you contract a few wandering gods, you can reach the standard of a wandering master. But even so, the passing rate of each Divine Master examination is quite low. In a place like Pingshan City, it would sometimes take even half a year to be promoted to a wandering master. The difficulty of the assessment is evident. And the one with glasses, his speed has reached A, which is quite good for his age. Boom, it was as if thunder exploded in their ears. They quickly turned around and saw a scene they would never forget. The young man's body seemed to be a dragon surging, his eyes were calm, his waist was connected to his thighs, and his whole body seemed to have turned into a big bow. There was almost an afterimage between his fists, like a violent storm, and that every punch hitting the dynamometer was like a bomb exploding, and the dynamometer made an unbearable squeaking sound. On the panel, a series of numbers are also popping up crazily. 10 in 312 kg. 10 in 312 kg, 10 in 312 kg, 10 in 312. 
What kind of monster is this? The two of them were shocked. Wandering master, with a force of more than 20,000 kilograms. This almost meets the standards of a spiritual master. What frightened them even more was Chen Shu's almost abnormal control. Every punch he threw had exactly the same strength. Chen Shu felt even more relaxed at this moment. He felt as if his body had turned into the most sophisticated instrument in the world. Every time he punched, every ounce of power in his muscles seemed to be precisely controlled. The tangles are entangled together and condensed into a more powerful force. Every blow seemed to be extremely powerful, and all the strength in his body was almost exerted to the limit. And in this extremely powerful control, every punch of Chen Shu is his greatest strength, and the fluctuation is almost no more than half. Within a few moments, Chen Shu stopped after throwing hundreds of punches. He turned to look at the two staff members. Xiao Liang and He Ping swallowed, looked at each other, and both glanced at the dynamometer screen, which had a calculation function and calculated the average value among a hundred punches. At this time, the number displayed on it is exactly 10,312 kg. The two of them knew exactly what this meant. 100 punches, each punch has exactly the same power. Is this person a robot? Xiao Liang had a smile on his face. Then what? Let's change to another place. Ten minutes later. Please. Just follow the front and go all the way to the front. There's a door there, just push it open and go in. Xiao Liang sent Chen Shu away with a smile on his face. It wasn't until Chen Shu left not far away that he said to He Ping, Damn, I saw a monster today. He Ping lowered her head and glanced at the evaluation form in her hand. Chen Shu's information was clearly written on it. Strength, 10312 kg. Rating, a plus. Note, it is suspected that the mechanical god enters the drum master and his control over the body's power is terrifying. Speed, 70s. Speed, a plus. Reaction, a plus. Agility, a plus. Physique, a plus. I really encountered a ghost today. Please follow up. There is still one chapter left. It will be a little late. Sorry, I am really busy with work and my hands are disabled. I'll finish yesterday's chapter on the weekend. Is this the hexagon warrior? Isn't that nonsense? Is there an error in the physical test outside? In a room deep in the Divine Master Hall, the three spiritual masters looked at the returned physical fitness test data called Chen Shu and were a little confused. If I'm not mistaken, this Chen Shu test is for the distant-eyed auxiliary wandering master, right? Wang Pegong said with a ridiculous look. You told me that this data is used to assess the auxiliary wandering master. Wang Pegong said that he had lived for almost 40 years and had never seen such a strange thing before. Wang Pegong is a director of the Pingxian City Divine Masters Association. He is in his 40s this year. But he looks thin, but his temperament is like a breeze. His face, which was not originally handsome, is suddenly too much. Some elegant temperament. The spirit he put into the bottle was the spirit transformed by a breeze in the Spring Valley, and he carried this temperament with him. No matter what his physical quality is, since he is a far-sighted person, we will just follow the assessment of the far-sighted magician. A middle-aged man sitting in the middle said nonchalantly, he was only wearing a thin layer of single clothes in the winter. His temperament was like fire, and when he spoke, he seemed to bring out bursts of heat, making this small room the temperature inside has risen a lot. Agree. The other one was a slightly colder man. But judging from this data, this Chen Shu is a malleable talent. At such a young age, it's hard to say which genius he is. Where are there so many of them? If you have the strength, just get by. If you don't, get out. There are hidden dragons and crouching tigers everywhere, so it can't be just because someone is lucky. The two obviously didn't deal with each other. But the words are not finished yet. There was a knock on the door. Wang Pegong said quickly, Come in. Chen Shu then walked in. 
The room was a little simple, with only a long table set up, and opposite the table were three middle-aged people of different shapes. There was some tyrannical aura on his body, and he looked at him with a serious look on his face. Among them, there are many temptations from the gods. Sit down. The middle-aged man who was vaguely in charge said. Chen Shu pulled out his chair and sat down. Wang Pegong asked, I see that what you want to assess is the auxiliary wandering master of the far-sighted system. Yes. Chen Shu nodded. The ability of distant vision gods is a relatively rare ability in our world, but at the same time, it is also an ability with many restrictions. Since the age of divinity, the same talents have emerged among the divine masters of the far-sighted department. Not to mention the far-sighted ones in recent years, Wang Kaianshen, known as the Heaven Eye, has emerged in this era. Since you are going to examine the distant eye department divine master, you should naturally understand several basic abilities of the distant eye. In this assessment, we will conduct a test based on the basics. Okay? Chen Shu nodded again. Let's start with the simplest one. There is a book in the drawer of the table in front of you. Please tell me the name of the book. Chen Shu swept his eyes lightly and said calmly, on the origin of the kingdom of God. Now please tell me what is written on page 49, line 1. The kingdom, the gods from the void live in the kingdom of God, which is consistent with the widespread theory that the kingdom of God is composed of gods. Wang Pegong nodded. Very good. So in the next room, we have placed a metal box. Can you see it? Okay. Chen Shu nodded. It is a pure silver box, and there is also a book placed in the box. It's still on the origin of the kingdom of God. Good. Wang Pegong continued. We have placed the same books in eight properties in the south of the city with increasing distance. Can you find their locations? This time, Chen Shu stared for a minute and then said, You can see it. They are the master bedroom in Building 1E201, Building 11, Lanshan Community. On the desk in 1E501, Wonkian Building, Central Garden, Golden Home, Lijingwen, Chan Homeland, Purple Bamboo Garden. After naming seven places in a row, Chen Shu paused. My eyesight has reached its limit. Good. Wang Pegong nodded. Then go back to the next door now. Can you see who put that book in the room three minutes before you entered? What was he wearing? This time, Chen Shu was silent for a moment and shook his head gently. So can you see where the book will be in one minute? Chen Shu was silent for a moment and shook his head again. And a minute later, a gust of breeze seemed to emerge from the iron box, rolling it up and tearing it apart in an instant. Wang Pegong took out a photo again, which showed an ordinary plate. Looking at this photo, can you see where it is placed now? Chen Shu almost wanted to see through the fibers of the paper, but still found nothing and shook his head again. Wang Pegong took out his mobile phone again and played a noisy sound. Then can you see where this is? Chen Shu shook his head again. Now, can you try to let me see the hall outside? Chen Shu shook his head again. So, can you see the picture in my mind? Try it, see Naorin and shake your head. Within the next ten minutes, Chen Shu almost spent his time in this kind of problem. It wasn't until Wang Pegong asked the last question that he turned to Chen Shu and said, I've finished asking my questions. Congratulations, you have passed this wandering master assessment. The relevant information will be synchronized to your personal database within half a day. From now on, you can walk in the world as a wandering master. Chen Shu nodded numbly. There was no joy at all in my heart, and I was even a little angry. It felt like playing a game. Although I won in the end, I was beaten by my opponent's hair during the whole process. One, but very angry. Walk out of the room silently. I was deep in thought all the way, as if I didn't know he had failed. Along the way, Chen Shu's brain was thinking crazily. 
Fortunately, the books he read during this period were very miscellaneous and even included some theories proposed in ancient times. For example, quantum mechanics. Eyes, are they actually capable of so many things? Strong observer. The existence of a strong observer is an important concept in quantum mechanics. Simply put, in quantum mechanics, measuring a quantum system will cause the system's state function to collapse, causing the system's state to change. Strong observers are usually considered to be observers with special abilities. They can affect the state of a quantum system by observing it, and this effect is irreversible. In human terms, it means forcibly collapsing the superposition state of uncertain quantities into a definite reality such as the superposition state of the future, the superposition state of the past, the superposition state of space, and even the superposition state of perception. When he read this passage, it was all paradoxical. He understood it, but seemed not to understand it, and he never thought about it with his own eyes. Chen Shu took a sip. Damn it, these three old Bidens are definitely making things difficult for me. Are these abilities that humans can develop? Sudden. Chen Shu was stunned, but I'm not human. Suddenly something dawned on him, even. He felt his eyes. The itching started again. Please read it. The work is indeed too busy, and no one seems to respect labor laws very much. I am handicapped. To be honest, I basically had to sit from 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock in the two chapters, almost all the time. Time is spent on the keyboard, but once something is delayed at work, I have to write as if I was chased by a dog, and I still can't finish writing. Just beg for it and read more. The itch lasted for several minutes. Just like Chen Shu's previous experience, it was a completely unstoppable itching, as if it was emanating from within. It's not that the eyes have become further deified so quickly. This is just the beginning. This change is often a long-term process and difficult to achieve overnight. But as if the change in the left eye aroused the right eye, it also became itchy. The buried seeds of fear seemed to be coming to fruition in the near future. So when Liu Nuo saw Chen Shu coming out with red eyes, his expression was like this. He quickly stepped forward and asked cautiously, No, are you okay? Fine. It just so happened that his eyes were no longer itchy at this time, Chen Shu smiled and said. But in Liu Huo's eyes, this was undoubtedly just a forced smile after crying in pain after failing the assessment. He immediately pulled Chen Shu and stood up. Let's go, I'll go find them. Chen Shu, what are you still doing? Liu Huo looked distressed. If you can't be promoted to a wandering divine master even at your level, then the Divine Master Association is blind. Don't worry, I have someone above me and I will make the decision for you. Chen Shu, who told you that I failed? Liu Huo was stunned. Did you pass? Chen Shu looked like he had encountered a big mullet incident. Passed. If you pass, why are you crying? Chen Shu's face was full of absurdity. Who the hell is crying? Tesk. Liu Huo seemed to have figured out something all of a sudden, and her eyes softened, crying with joy. Then I thought about Chen Shu's family conditions and understood everything at once. This is also a miserable child. Although Chen Shu could sense that Liu Huo was thinking about something very rude, he had no evidence. Wandering Master This is not only a symbol of strength, but also a symbol of status. Becoming a wandering master means entering into privileges. These privileges are included in almost all aspects of life. Although even among the privileged class, they are only at the bottom, but compared with ordinary people, it's already a world of difference. What's more important is that only after becoming a wandering master can you be qualified to enter the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is a hell for divine masters, but it is also a paradise for divine masters. On the way back to the car, the identity of the wandering god master has also come down. This time Liu Hua drove a little slower, turned to Chen Shu and asked, What are your plans next? Go to school. Chen Shu pondered and said, 
If he advances at the current speed, if there are 50 apostles, he can provide about a hundred meters of improvement in his vision every day. And if the apostle chooses well, this number may even increase. He could vaguely feel that the distance vision was the widest range of the wandering god's vision, which was about a hundred kilometers away. Calculated, it will take about two years for his far-sightedness to break through to the spiritual god status. This speed is really fast. At least Chen Chu had never heard of any god breaking through the realm so easily, and there were probably some secrets that he didn't know about. Continuing to go to school is indeed one of the most suitable paths for him, if not the best. What about the office? Liu Hua asked. You have been asked a lot about your affairs recently. If you don't join the company for a long time, you won't be able to use many privileges and benefits casually. That's okay too. Chen Shu shook his head. Privileges are only called privileges when they are used. Besides, haven't we agreed on this? Join or join. It's just that I'm used to freedom and can't stand too much control. It's good to be a non-staff member. All right? Liu Huo shook her head slightly and glanced at Chen Shu, who was sitting in the passenger seat and turned to look out the window. At this time, the sun was just right, shining on the side of the young man's face, which made him look thin, and a clear eye seemed to be shining. She really couldn't understand Chen Shu now. At the beginning, I just felt that he was an unfathomable young man. After getting along with him for a long time, sometimes I felt that I understood him, but at the same time I didn't understand him at all. Other geniuses at this age, who are not young and successful, wearing bright clothes and angry horses, must have hurriedly joined when they heard about the opportunity to enter the god's office, but he, sometimes as steady as a middle-aged man, talk about it. The first time Liu Huo met Chen Shu was at his home. At that time, the guy was celebrating his birthday, and the room was full of gods celebrating his birthday, although I thought it was an exaggeration at the time. But when Chen Shu's ability was revealed later, she had already realized it. In many rumors, there have been stories of young girls asking gods, and then thousands of gods followed the sound, and some even got into fights over it. There are also rumors that the gods who were not chosen did not leave, but were willing to stay by the Divine Master's side as protectors. Those are all geniuses who are rare to see in decades, and obviously. Chen Shu is such a genius, maybe geniuses have genius ideas. I really don't understand. Not much was said along the way, and no accidents occurred. The car soon stopped outside Chen Shujia's community. Liu Hua curled her lips and said, if you have a chance, you'd better change to a better house. Um. Chen Shu nodded. Definitely next time. He was still adapting to his left eye for a long time. He did some simple tests along the way and found no obvious changes. It's just that the itching in my right eye has become more frequent. Chen Shu probably knew that the moment when his right eye would completely transform was not far away. Return home. Chen Shu still has one important thing to do today sign an apostle contract with Chen Qin. My family knows my family affairs and I am a god who has become a monk halfway. It is hard to say what will happen when I sign the contract. After a month, nothing unusual has happened and it is time to sign the contract with my sister. The far-sighted ability is somewhat useful when paired with the profession of spiritual chef, not to mention knowing where my sister is and the other side, in the office of the gods. Chen Shu must be in my team. This matter is not negotiable. A battle for Chen Shu is about to break out. There is another chapter, please read it. When returning home, my sister has also come back. Hearing the noise, he ran out wearing an apron. Brother, you are back. Then, he asked with stars in his eyes, How is it? Did you succeed in the wandering master's assessment? It's a small thing. Chen Shu smiled, picked up his phone and fiddled with the personal identity interface. Here, take a look. Chen Qin took the phone and saw on the interface. Divine Master Certificate. Name, Chen Shu. Position, Far Eye System. Level, Wandering Master. Certificate Number, 
16,541,651,512. Cow wow cow wow. Chen Kin let out a scream, and the smile on her face almost overflowed. Along with her two little chopstick spirit gods, they all flew out, looking very happy. Brother, I said you must be a genius. Celebrate, you must celebrate. I'm going to cook a big table today. Chen Kin really never expected it. My brother, who had no talent at all, suddenly soared into the sky after inexplicably inviting the gods into the bottle. Wandering master, this is it. You know, there are only one or two people in their school who have reached this level. There are only a few teachers in the school who are wandering masters. It was so majestic when I went out, and those classmates almost raised their tails to the sky. Who among them would dare to bully me in the future? My brother is a wandering master. Chen Shu originally didn't feel much about this matter, but when he saw Chen Qin's appearance, he couldn't help but feel happy. The two have been dependent on each other for these years. It can be said that his and his sister's lives have long been closely connected. It was rare for Chen Shu to see Chen Qin looking so happy, so he was naturally happy for it. In fact, this is also Chen Shu's survivor bias. I didn't have the opportunity to come into contact with him in the past. I only knew that the wandering master was very powerful and very powerful when walking on the road. If there were classmates whose parents were wandering masters, they would be even more crazy. But the school cannot be regarded as a society. In fact, he has no contact with the status of the wandering master in the entire society. He only has a vague concept. After he became a god, almost all the people he came into contact with were wandering god masters. Whether it was the divine master who came to borrow his divine slough, or Liu Huo and others, the wandering divine masters appeared around him one after another like a mess. This made him feel even more hazy about the concept of wandering god master, and it even seemed like it was nothing more than that. But now it seems. Or he has seen the world. Yu Shenxi is really powerful. Chen Shu, who was originally thinking about taking another day off tomorrow, changed his mind in an instant. Go. Must go. Chen Qin, who was about to run to the kitchen after stopping, said, Yuan Yuan, don't be anxious first. Pulling the confused Chen Qin to the living room, Chen Shu took out his own magical object from his body. Please ask a god. Divine Slough. Chen Qin exclaimed again, his eyes widened, and then he seemed to think of something and quickly lowered his voice. Brother, where did this come from? This is a divine creature. Even if she has never seen such high-end products, she has always heard of them. Each one is expensive, at least tens of millions. Don't worry about this. Chen Shu directly changed the subject. He could deceive outsiders about the source of the divine slough, but his sister definitely couldn't be deceived, so he simply jumped away from the topic. This is the divine slough of the far-sighted wandering god. What's wrong with you? Being a spiritual chef also helps a lot, right? Chen Shu knew that during their last trip to the kingdom of God, no one was able to gain the favor of Budui Zun, and no one successfully signed a contract with him. After coming back, Chen Qin was still in a low mood for a few days. Of course. Chen Qin nodded. For a chef, eyesight is also very important. Then go and ask God now. Chen Shu said, Those who cook should not be in a hurry. Chen Qin wanted to ask again, but when he saw his brother's determined look, he nodded quickly. Go inside. Draw the curtains. When my parents were alive, the expensive soundproofing still worked. After closing the door, the house was completely silent. Chen Qin put her hand on the divine object. She didn't know why, but she always felt that there was a warm breath on the divine object, as if something was wrapping her. The whisper only said a few words, and a gentle breath appeared in the spiritual sea. Chen Shu glanced at the mark on the top of his sister's spiritual sea. There was a simple and happy atmosphere in the mark, as if he wanted to bring blessings to the world, just like returning home at night in countless nights. After returning home, the simple bowl of hot porridge in the pot was like a bowl. He could even feel the goodwill coming from the mark. 
Just looking at the mark, it was like seeing a honest, fat old man with a smile on his face, holding a plate of vegetables in his hand and looking at it happily, as if following him. A very high god. Kitchen Lord. According to rumors, signing a contract with the kitchen god will bring a lifetime of happiness to the person who signs the contract. Borrowing the power of kitchen god does not actually make the food more delicious, but gives soul to the food. The soul whose job is called happiness. Only those who are kind-hearted and willing to be loyal to the stove can sign a contract with them. I don't know how many people have asked for him for life, but they have not been able to sign a contract with him. Chen Shu also radiated some goodwill and gave back to the stove lord, a bit like worshipping the mountain. Only then did Chen Qin's body solidify. But to his surprise, his sister's talent turned out to be surprisingly good, with a hint of red. She is truly a born cook. With such emotion in his heart, without waiting for his sister to speak, a mark popped up directly and merged into his sister's spiritual sea. After all, his cultivation level is low and his spiritual sea is shallow. The power transmitted back can only be said to be better than nothing. It is all absorbed in a few breaths, but the red talent is not bad. With a little touch, I can feel my sister's position. Please don't do experiments after seeing the power of distant-eyed gods that goes against human nature. So after waiting for ten minutes, the younger sister walked out of the house with a confused look on her face. Brother, I seem to have successfully signed the contract. The problem is that I didn't seem to say anything. It has been successful. Why does it feel like this far-eyed god is more anxious than me? And inexplicably, there is always a feeling that I have gone through the back door. Thanks to dream book Fairy King Shang Elegy, like a dream 10 chapters in a day 18375 for the reward. The night passed. Chen Shu put away the book again and slowly absorbed all the pure spiritual thoughts sent by the apostles last night. The vision increased again by about 20 meters. After all, the ability of the far-sighted system is convenient, and the apostles use it frequently, so they are able to condense so much every day. I am afraid that other gods who perform their duties may not be able to have such an effect. He glanced at the fat cat lying on his back beside the Linghai Sea. After entering his body, this guy fell into a deep sleep and never woke up. He could only see that his body was changing, and the speed was getting faster and faster. Chen Shu doesn't have many requirements as long as he doesn't die in his own body. Chen Qin was not in a hurry to leave early in the morning today. She made him a breakfast before setting off. Of course, we had another delicious meal last night, and my sister's cooking skills are getting better and better. After graduating from college, even if she opens a restaurant, the business will definitely be very good. Chen Qin's school was on the outskirts of the city, far away from each other. Chen Shu had given her a lot of money during this period, and he didn't calculate it carefully, but he must have had millions. I usually catch the earliest bus back early in the morning. Today I made breakfast. I was rare and generous to myself and ordered an express train. It's just that Chen Qin has probably been planning carefully for a long time, and he doesn't spend the money he has. Chen Shu doesn't seem to have even bought a few clothes. However, Chen Shu can't control these things. He can just wait until he gets used to it. After all, how to spend money is also a science, and Chen Qin has learned it well. All the way back to school. When Chen Shu stepped into the classroom, it was like pressing the pause button for an instant and the originally noisy classroom suddenly fell silent. Chen Shu didn't care much and went straight back to his seat amidst the mixed looks of curiosity or admiration. Paper could not contain the fire. There were so many teachers in the office at that time, so the news naturally leaked out. However, few people can actually confirm whether this is true or not. Next to him, Lai Jing was overjoyed. He took out his paper and prepared to worship his adoptive father again. In just half a month, his grades had improved visibly. Once he was a teacher, he was always a father. He hasn't spoken yet, but he saw Chen Shu showing a puzzled expression. How did you know that I was promoted to the wandering master? 
Lai Jing. I think I can talk to my sister. Yes, I just went to Pingshan City to take the exam yesterday and passed it directly. Yeah, yes, the master certificate has been issued. Is it difficult? In fact, it's just average. Lai Jing. Etc. Lai Jing's expression changed from doubtful to dull, and finally he uttered a voice with a slightly changed tone. You, you passed the exam. Wow. Awesome. Brother Shu is awesome. 18-year-old wandering master. Fuck, I knew Brother Shu could do it. The class immediately became excited. From the moment Chen Shu returned to the class, everyone's eyes were always on him and his voice was much lower, but Chen Shu did not lower his voice deliberately. Therefore, almost everyone in the class heard it clearly. Wandering Master Chen Shu is now a wandering master. For a moment, all the eyes were shocked, puzzled, and admirers. Even the usually arrogant people in the class had a layer of jealousy in their eyes. Feelings it goes without saying that the status of the wandering master is needless to say, but people of the same age at this age are actually more concerned about the fact that as long as they can do things that their peers cannot do, then they are awesome. Chen Shu has achieved this kind of strength at this age, which is already a very remarkable thing. Look at the happy faces of the classmates. For a moment, Chen Shu frowned. Oops, the curl is so awesome, these people are starting to applaud me now. I originally wanted everyone to be envious, jealous, and hateful of me. Unexpectedly, I am surrounded by supporters now. Chen Shu even knew that after a month, his classmates were calling him King of Volume behind his back. Imagine a scene. After the results came in, Chen Shu ranked first in the whole grade alone and asked for defeat. Then everyone came over to congratulate him happily. He said at the same time, I just study casually, I never read textbooks when I go home. After reading, you know how to study? What a waste of time. Excuse me, is this a life questionnaire? It's all common sense, friends. Then after lunch, everyone was about to lie down on the table and fall asleep for a while. However, when they were disappointed, they saw Chen Shu, who had told them to learn shit in the morning, sitting in the back row by the window, holding his arms in his arms. They read a very thick book silently. When the sunlight shone through, they even saw that Chen Shu's eyes seemed to reflect an insidious light. Students, what a birth! He is truly worthy of the title of King of Huan. However, it was precisely because of Chen Shu's leadership that the class's test scores were quite good this time, directly reaching the first place in the grade. In lesson, Yang Jingjing's face almost burst into laughter. Let us congratulate Chen Shu for officially becoming a wandering master. At the same time, he is also the youngest wandering master since the establishment of our No. 1 Middle School. Everyone must also learn from Chen Shu. If any one of you becomes a wandering master, I will be proud of you. At Yang Jingjing's strong request, Chen Shu stood up and said a few words. He wanted to say, Wandering master, as long as you have the skills. The wandering master test is too easy. When I passed the exam, I thought I was crossing the street. But when he got up, he saw these 18-year-old boys and girls, using when the eyes shining like gold looked at him, he was silent for a moment and just said one sentence slowly. Work hard, friends, the only thing you can do is work hard. Chen Shu didn't know if he was lucky, but in the past 18 years, he never forgot to work hard for a moment, even at the lowest moment in his life. Something happened at work, so I was delayed, alas. The good news is that I will start a five-day vacation tomorrow and will make up for the two chapters I owe, just in time to save some more manuscripts. The bad news is that life is full of bad news. Please be understanding, friends, and work hard. Time passed quietly and almost ten days passed. New Year's Day is coming soon. This year's winter vacation also comes with it, and I can rest until the eighth day of the Lunar New Year. In other words, the senior high school students can rest for a full 13 days at a time. Everyone was so excited. Even though there was a strong wind outside the classroom at this time and the rain seemed to be pouring down from the sky, no one cared. 
There is probably a saying used to describe first love, you are as beautiful as the evening on the first day of summer vacation. Chen Shu always felt that it was okay. After all, going to school was almost the same as taking a break for him. As he became more energetic, he had a very full schedule every day. He gets up in the morning and jogs all the way to school. The distance of more than 10 kilometers is not even a warm-up for him. When you get to school, teach your classmates first and consolidate it yourself at the same time. In class, he just read books and various extracurricular books. The teachers didn't care much about him before. After he became a wandering master, no one cared about him anymore. Sometimes they would even ask Chen Shu, What did I just say? Is it okay? After school, there is usually a leak waiting in the master hall. When he goes there, he will first see how the fit is, and then see how the cultivation level is. If it does not meet the standard in his heart, Chen Shu will usually refuse it directly. Therefore, this also leads to the fact that there are only 15 contract apostles currently signed. At night, if there is a mission at the spiritual office, Chen Shu will also attend. If not, just read. He has now officially joined the divine office. This has spread throughout the school. The principal personally came to his home to greet him and finally left a card worth 500,000 yuan indicating that it belonged to the school. A little fun. Chen Shu did not refuse. He has never been a person willing to hide his clumsiness. When he was a social animal in his previous life, he understood that hiding your clumsiness will only make your situation more difficult. If you have one part of your strength, you should have three parts of your strength, which is the right choice. If he had been hiding his clumsiness, his situation would definitely not be as comfortable as it is now. It was like when he was in the most difficult time, the school never extended a helping hand, and even once wanted to deprive him of the right to use the meditation room, but now it came to ask for help. Hiding one's stupidity is actually killing others' evaluation of one's own value. When school was over, Lai Jing asked, Everyone said they were going to a dinner party tonight, will you go? Chen Shu rubbed his right eye, which started to itch crazily again, and said, Having a dinner party tonight? I might not be able to go. Chen Shu said calmly, There is a mission in the office tonight. You guys just need to eat and drink well. If you need anything, call me. Lai Jing clicked his tongue. You've tricked me again. This is just like telling a child. At this time, Liang Jijia, who had been standing nearby and helping Chen Shu carry his bag, asked again, Brother Shu, where are you going during the winter vacation? Chen Shu said, During the winter vacation, I will probably go to the kingdom of God to have a look. Chen Shu has always been curious about what it is like in the kingdom of God, and he just happened to take advantage of this winter vacation to go shopping. Kingdom of God Liang Zhijia's eyes lit up when he heard this and then quickly dimmed. Master Yu Shen is so good he can even go to the kingdom of God. Chen Shu encouraged, You guys should work hard, you can go sooner or later. Pu, licking the dog, how shameless, Lai Jing, who didn't get the right to carry the bag for the first time, complained crazily in his heart. Seeing Chen Shu rubbing his eyes, he quickly took the book from his hand and said, Brother Shu, which divine country are you going to? I haven't thought about this yet. Let's see when we get here. Chen Shu rubbed his eyes while the three of them walked outside. At this time, strong winds and heavy rain were blowing outside the house, and the weather was extremely bad. Chen Shu activated his ability with his left eye, and at this time, the entire Shiku city was covered in rain. He had some bad premonitions in his heart. Since the Lake Sanhai Lake in Shiku City became a god and ranked in the realm of high-level spiritual gods, although the weather often rains, it is the northwest region after all, and most of it is just cloudy and rainy. Shiku City also has a dedicated Sanhai Lake temple, and there are a lot of incense every day. Heavy rain like today has not happened in decades. Although the Sanhai Lake God is only a high-level spiritual God, since the lake lives here, it is not an exaggeration to say that it is at the level of a realm God. 
Why are you so angry today? Recently, the itching of the eyes has become more and more frequent. The left eye is fine. The right eye is itching almost once a day. As a result of the frequent itching, Chen Shu's left eye has gradually begun to experience some itching. Variety. Just like now, he can see the emotions of the two people around him. Same. You can also see some anger in the strong wind and heavy rain. Arrived at the school gate. There is also a red banner posted at the door warm congratulations to our school student Chen Shu for passing the Yaoshenqi examination. This has been posted for a while, and with the recent rain it looks like it's been a while. A car was already parked at the door and waiting quietly, but Su Wenkai was driving. When he saw Chen Shu from afar, he got out of the car and waved. This naturally attracted a lot of attention. During this time, most people in the school have become familiar with this car. Chen Shu greeted the two of them and followed Su Wenkai directly into the car. Watching the car go away, Liang Zhijia and Lai Jing looked at each other in shock. The protagonist is not invited. Will the dinner party still go on tonight? Go ahead. Liang Zhijia said, everything has been agreed upon. What's the mission today? After getting in the car, Chen Shu asked, Are you so anxious? There are actually quite a lot of daily tasks in the office of the gods. Whether it is the invasion of evil spirits or someone using the power of the gods to commit crimes, these things are all within the jurisdiction of the office of the gods. Since the age of gods, there seems to be an endless number of evil spirits being killed, and they are born every day. Therefore, the affairs of the gods are still very busy. Not to mention exercising evil spirits, if a divine master really committed a crime, it would be difficult to investigate, and it would often take several days to track down the culprit. But today is obviously different. Su Wenkai's expression was very solemn, and he said slowly, There will be no mission today. The three seas and lake gods are about to break through. There is a divine calamity coming. Thanks to the book Friend Monkey Kibao for the reward, the boss is confused. Thanks to Lord of the Star see the evening breeze hides, the hidden meaning what is covering my eyes is a lemon for the reward. Chapter 1 of Vacation, more to come. The rain is getting heavier. Floods will form in low-lying areas in the north of the city. The divine calamity may cause evil spirits to surge out of the void, especially various monsters, which are extremely difficult to guard against. What we have to do is deal with the aftermath. Su Wankai spoke very quickly. You may have never seen such a scene, but twenty years ago, Sanhai Lake God tried to survive the divine calamity, but ultimately failed. During the process of crossing the divine tribulation, the lake surface flourished and the waves surged like the sea. We need to guard Sanhai Lake to prevent Sanhai Lake from forming huge waves and invading the entire Shiku city. Su Wenkai kept his story short, but his expression was extremely solemn. Every divine catastrophe is a catastrophe for the gods, and it is no less than a disaster for the humans under it. Chen Shu? Such a big thing. I have no defense at all, but in an instant, he also understood the seriousness of the matter. His left eye instantly looked in the direction of Sanhai Lake, but for a moment he encountered a layer of obstruction, as if there was some force preventing him from observing. Break it open for me. Chen Shu's heart skipped a beat and his eyesight instantly pierced through. The instantaneous sword environment between the two was closer. Everything in the distant place was originally just a heavy rain. At this time, it was as if the sky and the earth had changed color, and it came into his field of vision completely clearly. Boom! During a thunderstorm, countless clouds gathered above Sanhai Lake. No thunder was heard, but one could see bursts of thunder and lightning flashing through the dark clouds, which contained frightening power. Under the clouds, the waves in Sanhai Lake were turbulent, and the waves seemed to be rolling up to a height of a hundred meters. Between the two, although there was no sound of thunder, it was like hearing thunder in silence, which was even more depressing. Big waves rolled wildly and thunder roared. Thunder and lightning blasted through the sky, breaking through the big waves in an instant, causing the lake to surge up. 
rolling up thousands of meters of big waves and rushing towards the sky like an angry roar. Chen Shu was shocked. Divine masters have relevant realms, not to mention gods. Every breakthrough in status is no less than a change between life and death for gods. Among the books Chen Shu has read, there are countless gods who disappeared because they did not survive the divine tribulation. Why do I have no feelings at all? Chen Shu was alarmed in his heart. He just felt that the weather was not right today, but when he looked at the lake at that time, it was still peaceful. The god of Sanhai Lake is a good god. It can be said that the city of Shiku City was built around Sanhai Lake. As a northwestern city, dryness and desolation have always been the main theme, and it is precisely because Sanhai Lake became a god that the city glowed with another kind of vitality, making the city even better. Today, it is rated as one of the 30 cities in the country that is most suitable for human life, and Sanhai Lake plays an indispensable role. Almost most people of the older generation have deep feelings for this lake. They grew up by the lake since they were young. Whether they are playing in the water or fishing, this lake has given them a wonderful childhood. Basically all the people in Shiku City are grateful for this lake. Even parents feel very comfortable letting their children play in the lake. The fundamental reason is that after Sanhai Lake became a god, no one drowned in the lake. It's not that no one drowned, it's just that too many drowning people were gently rolled out of the water and landed on the shore. This is the follow-up to the establishment of a temple for the Sanhai Lake God. Otherwise, with the temperament of the Chinese people, it is impossible to build a temple for a lake, let alone to continue the incense. In the annual financial expenditure, the repair and other expenses of the Sanhai Lake Temple are clearly written down, of not to mention that many of the human divine masters living in Shiku City have signed contracts with the Sanhai Lake God. The rain curtain outside the window is getting bigger and bigger, and the visible range is almost only within 5 meters. In such dense rain, the automatic driving function of the car has become unreliable. Finally, Su Wenkai got out of the car and let Chen Shu drive. This was better. The rain curtain could block other people's vision, but it couldn't block Chen Shu. Just under the command, Chen Shu quickly reached his destination, just by the lakeside of Sanhai Lake. In the north of Shiku City, the terrain here is relatively low. At this time, a lot of people have gathered around the lake. I don't know most of Chen Shu, but I have seen them on various other occasions. Chen Shu as soon as Chen Shu got out of the car, he heard Liu Huo's voice in the rain. At this time, her spiritual lion was standing aside, like a small mountain in the rain. Such rain was nothing to Chen Shu's eyesight. When he came to Liu Hua, his body was already completely soaked. When he turned to look at the lake, the embankment that was originally seven or eight meters away from the lake was now close to parallel. As the wind and rain swayed, the water above the surface surged up the embankment crazily. What's amazing is that when the water in these lakes rushes to the shore, it seems to be blocked by an invisible barrier and cannot flow ashore. Chen Shu glanced around and saw that the entire Sanhai Lake seemed to be blocked by a barrier. And on the shore, a middle-aged man stood on the shore, holding his hands in the void, muttering to himself, and spiritual thoughts rushed out, making the entire barrier as solid as gold. Duty, guardian, this is also a very high-level job. Basically, except for destruction, there is no other possibility at all if you want to destroy the environment within the protection range. Just by looking at the middle-aged man, the spiritual master's cultivation, wrapped in spiritual thoughts, can completely cover the entire Sanhai Lake. One can see the horror of this job. Chen Shu was secretly shocked. If it weren't for this ability, if the current situation continued to develop, it wouldn't take long for the entire north of the city to turn into a vast ocean. Have Su Wenkai told you? Liu Huo's voice was loud. Your mission now is to observe the movements of divine tribulation at any time. Our team is responsible for this. If there are any changes in the divine calamity, report it as soon as possible. There are very few spiritual masters of the far-sightedness system in Shiku City. 
Chen Shu nodded quickly. The left eye seemed to have a sudden flash of light, piercing through the thin membrane in front of the eyes, and the vision penetrated directly into it. Boom! The sound of thunder rang in my ears like an explosion. There was a loud noise, and a huge crack seemed to be blown open between the sky and the earth, and terrifying power came from it. There were thunder and lightning in the sky, and streaks of lightning flashed across the sky. Each thunder and lightning seemed to shatter the entire space, stirring up broken ripples of dark color, as if the heaven and earth were preparing for this divine catastrophe. Tremble, and within the broken rippled space, Chen Shu seemed to see monsters he had never seen before roaring in it. Huge waves rose into the sky and struck each other with thunder. Boom, boom. The two collided, making a cracking and shattering sound. The thunder pierced the big waves in an instant and hit the lake hard. Laugh. The intense high temperature stirred up waves of steam. Thunderbolts exploded wildly. Almost ten minutes later. Suddenly. A strong aura fell from the sky like a ferocious beast attacking towards the lake with endless oppression. Boom. Razor surges. There seemed to be thousands of thunder and lightning shooting out. Everything dissipated in a moment. The sky cleared. The lake surface surged out of the dam to a height of nearly five meters, and the barrier struggled to support itself like the tempered glass in an aquarium. Faintly, Chen Shu seemed to see a shadow falling into the lake, and he couldn't see it clearly even if he strained his eyes to the limit, and dissipated in an instant. It seems to be completely integrated into the lake. I don't know if it was the sound of a shadow falling into the water or someone beside me sighing softly failed again. It's just that sound, I don't know why. Chen Shu always felt as if he had heard it somewhere. I had dinner with my family on Mother's Day and drank some wine, which was a little late. With Chen Shu's current mind and memory, as long as he feels familiar, he must have heard it before, and he can even tell who it is instantly. But this time it was different. Chen Shu could feel the familiarity, but his mind seemed to be covered by a film. No matter how he recalled it, he couldn't remember who it was. This feeling is extremely uncomfortable. But at this time, Chen Shu had no time to think about whose voice it was. The sky suddenly cleared up within a few moments, as if nothing had ever happened. The fearful Tianwei suddenly disappeared. Calm and calm. However, except for Chen Shu, no one present knew what the outcome of the divine calamity would be. Even the sound and shadow seemed to be heard only by Chen Shu, and no one around him felt it. Liu Huo looked over quickly. How? Chen Shu shook his head slightly and responded. The tribulation failed. Are you sure? Liu Mayan asked seriously. Chen Shu nodded. Okay. Good. Liu Huo took a deep look at Chen Shu, then moved her body instantly, came to the front man and said something. The man at the head frowned, turned to look at Chen Shu, and nodded slightly. Not long after. Failed. Failed again. Attention everyone. A series of shouting voices resounded, and the voices were extremely solemn, like a solemn ocean. The divine calamity has passed. But for mankind, the real disaster has just begun. During the violent bombardment of the divine tribulation, the thunder caused the space to tremble and shatter. In the countless superimposed space states, the void was also broken into gaps. What was connected in the gaps was the kingdom of God. In the void, it seems that another world has passed through. Everyone's eyes were focused together, extremely solemn. Chen Shu was also quickly transferred to the front. There were many people standing in front of them, most of whom Chen Shu didn't recognize, but many of them were faces he had seen on local TV stations. Zhang Deaji, the director of the Spiritual Affairs Office, was only standing in the second place at this time. Almost all are spiritual masters. Director Zhang Deaji's god of entering the bottle, a god transformed from an incense burner, has even appeared in his true form at this time, transforming into an old Taoist with long sideburns, looking at the barrier with the same solemn expression. At the front, the middle-aged man maintaining the barrier, Chen Shu, recognized him as a member of the Shiku City Guards. 
His specific position was unclear, but when he saw him muttering to himself with his hands on the barrier, his back was exposed. The shadow of a bronze gate exudes ancient and solid meaning. He is a door god who has become a god with the function of protection. The divine calamity of the three seas and lake gods brought out all the powerful men in Shiku City. Besides them, there were two other people of different ages, but there was no surprise. Together with Chen Shu, all three of them were distant vision masters. They also know each other. One has the function of eagle eye as the distant eye, and the other has the function of peeping through. However, it is never true to say that people who work together are enemies. Because of Chen Shu's recent rise in fame, the two people who are both far-sighted divine masters can't say that they are bad towards Chen Shu, but they can also be called very dissatisfied. Friendly. After a long time, Chen Shu stopped talking to the two of them. This. They are already the only three distant-eyed masters in the entire Shiku city. Director Zhang Daiyaji was the first to speak. Chen Shu Zhang Wai Hu Yang. Time is urgent, so I won't say more. Now I need you to use your abilities to carefully observe the other side of the space crack. Be sure to observe everything carefully. Everyone's eyes turned over. All they could see was a hole in the dark space, but they couldn't stare at it. They could only rely on the three of them. All three of them agreed. Chen Shu was fine, but Zhang Wai and Hu Yang both had red faces and were obviously a little excited. This is a good time to make meritorious deeds. Zhang Wai and Hu Yang both whispered softly and began to pray to God. Not long after, the color of Zhang Wai's pupils changed, turning into a pair of eagle eyes in a matter of seconds. Chen Shu didn't say much, but his left eye suddenly shone with light, everything in front of him turned transparent, his field of vision magnified in an instant, and the dark space broken places appeared like bright lights in the night. Within Chen Shu's field of vision, you can see the black space channels created by the fragmentation of space one by one. They have different shapes and sizes. The small ones are only the size of a human fist while the large ones are more than 10 meters wide. It's just that the edges of these broken spaces are slowly shrinking inward, and the speed is not very fast. For example, the fist-sized space cracks have to wait for a full 10 seconds before they are complete. Disappear. A simple calculation shows that the largest one, which is about 10 meters wide, would take at least two hours to fully integrate. While the two of them were still observing, Chen Shu's voice sounded. There are a total of 14 space cracks. One of them is larger than 10 meters, three are larger than 5 meters, and 10 are smaller than 5 meters. There are nine places above the water and five places under the water. At present, the whole body is shrinking inward at the speed of millimeters per second. According to the current speed, the broken space will be completely restored in two hours. The respective directions are. Chen Shu was like a sophisticated robot, speaking out a large amount of data in just a few moments. Suddenly, everyone present focused their attention on Chen Shu's face. Not to mention Zhang Wai and Hu Yang who looked confused, even the director Zhang Daiyaji, who had been listening to the miraculous Chen Shu taught by his subordinates, was almost stunned on the spot at this time. He nodded first, then looked at Zhang Wai and Hu Yang. Is the data accurate? Zhang Wai Hu Yang. Ah, I'm watching it. Oh shit, we haven't started yet. But seeing Chen Shu's performance, they did not dare to neglect at all, quickly blocked other perceptions and tried their best to use their own vision. Seeing this, director Zhang Daiyaji stopped asking and turned to look at Chen Shu. Can you try to determine the kingdom of God corresponding to the opposite side of the space? Director Zhang Daiyaji said seriously. This is very important. Chen Shu nodded. In fact, his eyes had already arrived in front of the broken space. The space is distorted, and it seems to be extremely difficult for all powers to reach here. The power of space is like a huge whirlpool, but it became extremely difficult for his eyes to pass through the past. His eyesight seemed to be stuck in a quagmire. 
It took a huge amount of effort to move forward one meter, and the deeper he went, the more energy he spent. The strength will be greater. During this process, Chen Shu could feel that his consumption had become extremely alarming. With his current strength, even if he goes through it, he will become extremely weak and have no energy left to continue exploring. Especially if he fails, the power of space will be like a millstone, enough to damage his eyes. Chen Shu slowly retracted his eyesight. During this period of time, he often felt the power of the divine power and mechanical duties that he had absorbed before to exercise his ability to control. The effect is naturally there. This is the ability to control the power of each blow to the point where it is exactly the same in the assessment of the wandering master. After thinking about it for a while, Chen Shu tentatively put a trace of his eyes into the space, but was instantly destroyed by the distortion force brought by the space. After several attempts, in other words, even the slightest bit of vision cannot pass through safely. Is it possible that we can only pass by force? After thinking for a while, Chen Shu seemed to suddenly think of something. He divided his vision into three strands, and with precise control, he made the three strands of vision curl up like a hemp rope. At the same time, the front end became sharp and plunged into the space. Among, as expected, the originally huge resistance became much easier in an instant. Just like Chen Shu stretched a willow branch into the water before, the willow branch will naturally flutter with the fluctuation of the water. But now, it is equivalent to entwining three willow branches together, making its texture become it is much harder, and the influence that water can achieve is naturally much smaller. Originally, Chen Shu wanted to turn his vision into a drill bit and forget to drill, but his current control was still far behind, and he was completely unable to do so. It seems like we need to hurry up and understand the mechanical function. Chen Shu understood clearly in his heart. And at this speed, after about a minute or so, the feeling of walking in a quagmire dissipated in an instant, as if suddenly enlightened, and the scene on the other side of the shattered space came directly into view. It was a patchwork of dark valleys and caves. The canyons were connected together and seemed to be thousands of feet deep. There was no trace of light. Even with Chen Shu's current eyesight, it would still feel pitch black. There were beasts roaring among them, and their bodies were all pitch black, with scales growing on them, like insects magnified hundreds of times. Each head was seven or eight meters in size, with densely packed compound eyes on its face and teeth, like sharp blades row after row. They gather together like gregarious creatures. Abyssal species, dense-toothed insect race, Chen Shu is well-read and is naturally no stranger to this kind of creature. And he was completely unfamiliar with this kingdom of God. The super-large divine kingdom abyss, with everyone's eyes focused, Chen Shu's vision still stayed on the opposite side of the space, and his voice sounded faintly. The opposite side is the abyssal race, the dense-toothed insect race, Currently within my field of vision, this should be a dense-toothed insect settlement. There are about 60 dense-toothed insects, 40 in the mature stage, and the others are still in the juvenile stage. In other words, the combat power of 40 spiritual gods and the combat power of 20 wandering gods. The dentodonts are one of the zerg races that live in the abyss. Because there is no light, their eyes have completely degraded and they have no vision at all, so the existence of space cracks has not yet been discovered. But those densely packed compound eyes have evolved into sensory organs, allowing them to feel like a fish in water in the abyss. We can't rule out discovery. Director Zhang Deaji's brows instantly wrinkled tightly and his expression became more solemn than ever before. So, who's on the opposite side? Yes, opposite is the super-large divine kingdom abyss. Chen Shu's voice was still calm, as if he didn't know what nervousness was at all. Several people looked at each other and took a deep breath to calm themselves down. Obviously this time, they knew that this was the most unlucky situation. Abyss as one of the only super-large divine kingdoms, it goes without saying that it is dangerous. 
There are countless spiritual masters and realm masters who have fallen in it. In that kingdom of God that is filled with death, fear and killing, no matter what happens, it is an extremely ordinary thing that ordinary people cannot even imagine. I didn't expect that this divine tribulation would actually open up the abyss. What else did you observe? Director Zhang Daiaji turned his attention to Chen Shu again. At this time it seemed that the only thing they could rely on was Chen Shu's eyes. Chen Shu's voice sounded at the right time. The situation is not that bad. To be precise, the opposite side should be at the edge of the abyss under the valley of Area 4. As a safe area divided by humans, the danger is not great. Now as long as the Bacchus does not discover the space crack within two hours, it will be safe. At this time, through the unique topography, his vision was sharpened to the extreme, and he could already see the specific location of this place by relying on the detailed explanation of the Kingdom of the Abyss that he had read in his spare time. Director Zhang Daiaji was stunned. Have you ever been to the Abyss? What Chen Shu said was too detailed. What's more, even if you have been to a place like the abyss, you can't tell it at all, right? Chen Shu pointed to his head. The map is here. Zhang Diaji, Chen Shu Dao. In the detailed explanation of the abyss divine kingdom, there is information about the mountain map of the fourth area and the distribution of the beasts. Combining what I saw and then comparing and analyzing it with the mountain maps of the entire 395 areas of the abyss, it is very easy to figure out. Conclusion Zhang Diaji silently typed, What the hell is this called simple? If you're not a high school student, what kind of books do you read all day long? At this time, Zhang Wei, who was beside him, lifted the remaining sensory shielding, showed a confident smile on his face, and said to Zhang Diaji, Director, I have already judged that there are indeed 14 space cracks in the entire Sanhai Lake. Everyone. Zhang Diaji. What kind of high pin warrior is this? Zhang Diaji patted Zhang Wai gently. It is more than words. I'll add two chapters first. Sorry, I've been doing renovations recently, and I'm even busier during my break than at work. I admit that this Chen Shu technique does have some merit, but it is still too young. Zhang Wei looked confident and had a smile on his face. But there is already a gap that is close to healing. I will attack as quickly as possible. The leader's impression of me will definitely change. How will you respond? Seeing that Zhang Daiaji even patted his shoulder to show encouragement, Zhang Wei became even more excited. Once again, I blocked out the rest of my senses, focused on my eyesight, and observed more carefully. He swore that as soon as the crack in that space healed, he would shout it loudly. When the time comes, Zhang Daiaji will definitely be impressed by his carefulness and sophistication. Chen Shu, Chen Shu, you are still too young. In the entire Shiku city, there is no Yuanmu divine master who is more powerful than me, Zhang Wei. It's okay, no problem. Zhang Diaji's face showed a look of embarrassment for Zhang Wei. Zhao Zhang has not been a spiritual master for many years. He is a bit young and can't calm down. It's normal, normal. You have to throw things away when comparing goods, and you have to die when comparing people. This is really not true at all. He just patted Zhang Wei just to make him calm down, but why did this block other senses? Do you think I'm encouraging him? Resisting the idea of asking two people to move Zhang Wei away, Zhang Daiaji looked at Chen Shu with bright eyes. In the past, he could always hear the people below talking about Chen Shu, and they were all complimentary. He always felt that it was a bit exaggerated, he was just a wandering master who had just grown up. How could he deserve so many compliments? But now, Zhang Daiaji completely understood. This is not a matter of age at all. He is really that kind of special master. It's not that Zhang Daiaji has never seen geniuses, but in fact, most geniuses are physical talents. And like Chen Shu, who has an outrageous memory and extremely sharp observation, this is not something that can be solved by just asking God casually, it is talent. With such a far-sighted magician by your side, you don't need to do anything at all, just follow his instructions. 
You know, although the abyss has 395 districts, each district, even the smallest, is hundreds of thousands of square kilometers in size. There are more than a thousand so-called mountain-shaped pictures in one district alone. In such a short time, the specific address in the abyss can be determined. Even a computer cannot be that fast. Who is this confused about? Fortunately, I started quickly enough. Jiang Deaji's eyes turned green when he saw the guard. He looked at Chen Shu like a hungry wolf looking at a little sheep. Even the eyes of the people from the Divine Masters Association around him were already green. He glanced over sharply. Oops, is this making them all targeted? Zhang Deaji didn't want to worry about which district at this time. He turned to look at the person next to him. Our support should be on the way already, right? Yes. The man said sternly. The personnel transferred from several nearby cities have arrived and have been arranged at several important places along the coast of Sanhai Lake. There are a total of eight spiritual masters and seventeen wandering masters. The provincial association has already told us in advance that people have probably arrived. Zhang Daiji frowned and glanced sideways. Probably? Um, the man himself was a little helpless. Because we haven't received any news yet, but according to the shift, he should have been here long ago. Zhang Daiji didn't say anything when he heard this, but he was already very dissatisfied in his heart. The internal staff of the association have adopted an extremely loose management model for a long time, which will lead to hidden dangers sooner or later, Zhang Daiji continued. Then let everyone be prepared and ready to deal with the attack of the dense toothed insects at any time. There are more than a dozen spiritual masters in total. Even if something happens here, they can still hold on. However, Zhang Daiji's gaze did not relax at all. For the current Shiku city, the water level of Sanhai Lake, which is nearly 5 meters high within the barrier, is a big problem. If such a huge amount of water causes the barrier to break during a battle, the damage that can be caused is immeasurable. A uh, Let's talk about a well-known common sense. At the same level of strength, humans are far stronger than Warcraft. Therefore, although the dense-toothed worms, as second-level monsters, are as powerful as spiritual gods, they are still much weaker than human spiritual masters. Of course, everything is different. Even if they are both in the realm of spiritual gods, sometimes there will be huge differences between the two. Sometimes, even if they are both at the same level, the gap is even greater than the gap between humans and dogs. Chen Shu, you don't need to do anything next, just keep an eye on the movements of the Dentaden clan. Zhang Daiji looked at Chen Shu and said, and everyone else's eyes were also on Chen Shu. Although they all wanted to kidnap Chen Shu directly at this time, everyone unanimously showed great restraint at this time. Chen Shu nodded slightly. But even though he said that, Chen Shu's eyesight did not just stay at the mouth of the space crack, but extended as far as possible to observe the abyss of the Divine Kingdom. As currently known, the Kingdom of God is one of the many evil gods that live together, the driving force behind several human wars, a paradise for extreme lunatics, and a hotbed of death, destruction, and killing. There are really too many unknown secrets hidden in the abyss. In it. If you have the opportunity to take a look at it, you definitely don't want to miss it. Certainly. Chen Shu's eyes stayed at the mouth of the crack in the space, and he was always observing, but there would be no accidents. Abyss, as a super-large divine kingdom, covers an extremely huge area. There is still no specific data, just because in the many years since its arrival, no one has ever been able to completely visit it. The fourth area alone covers an area of nearly 400,000 square kilometers, so it was not surprising at all. Apart from the various magical beasts in the darkness, Chen Shu didn't get anything else at all, let alone human figures. Time passes little by little, until a certain moment. A mature body of the dense toothed worm stood up. The dense compound eyes on his face flashed as if he sensed something. His huge body stood up, and his eight dense legs moved, and his body speed was not slow at all. Arriving before the space crack. 
It tried to stretch its dense feet into it and then felt the dense feet disappear into the space in front of it. At the same time, a damp, humid and human breath that it had never felt before also spread along with it. Into its mind. It stretched back its dense feet and stuffed its head inside. The next moment. In the present world, a huge head emerged from the space crack in mid-air. Dark scales were spread all over it, densely packed compound eyes flashed dull and gray, and the mouth parts were densely packed like gears. The teeth are exposed, and the overall look is like an extremely ferocious war machine. After surviving in the abyss for so many years, daily fighting has almost become commonplace. It is something that is completely integrated into the deepest part of their genes. Countless choices and evolutions have finally turned them into this. It looks like a war machine. Hiss! The roars of the Mistaden clan stirred up waves of sound waves, which vibrated out. The water surface instantly seemed like a bomb was thrown into it, exploding with a bang, splashing waves of water. The roars seemed to be continuous, and then bodies rushed out of the void. As if through a layer of ripples, the water filled the space rippled, and dense toothed insect tribes appeared in the world, sending out a cruel roar. Plop, plop, plop. The space was in mid-air, and the dense toothed insects fell from the space into the three seas, causing splash after splash. In just a short moment, thirty dense toothed worms fell into the world. Chen Shu had already issued a warning at the first opportunity. At this time, around the space crack, the vast majority of spiritual masters were already ready. Do it. The moment the dense-toothed insects fell from the space, attacks came out one after another indiscriminately. The frost flames, the sword energy, the Taoist priests' floating dust, and the glow transformed by the spiritual talisman seemed to stretch into a majestic wall, suddenly impacting up. Boom, boom, boom. A violent explosion sounded suddenly. Blood energy and roars resounded at the same time. The waves are like rising waves, rolling up whirlpools of tens of meters and nearly tens of meters, causing the water in Sanhai Lake to surge wildly. Hiss! The Zerg have always been known for their vitality. After the bombing, except for the three or five unlucky ones who died on the spot, although the rest of the dense-toothed Zerg were stained, it did not affect their continued actions at all. Buzz buzz. Next moment. The water suddenly exploded, and dozens of Zerg monsters as big as cattle shot out of the water like cannonballs. A pair of wings as thin as cicada wings sprouted from behind, causing a huge buzzing sound, and the speed was extremely fast, like a bird flying through space. Flying towards the people around him, Zhang Deaji held a long sword, and the old Taoist priest transformed into the Zun spirit god turned into a phantom and possessed him behind him his body shining with light. The old Taoist concentrated his mind and muttered words, and runes flew out of his hands, forming a huge rune array in the air. And Zhang Daiyaji was also mumbling words, all of his sentences were short, and some even only uttered two words, and then waves of power came from the void and lent to his body. I respectfully ask the god of ancestors to lend me the three kai in my chest to kill the spirit and transform it into a Tao. Suddenly, a dense toothed insect appeared in front of him. Zhang Deaji held the sword tightly and exhaled a breath from his chest. With a flick of his sword, a huge sword energy swept out like a breeze without any trace of fireworks. But the next moment, the sword energy flashed across. The extremely tough carapace of the Dentaden clan was like being turned into tofu. It was cut directly from the middle. The cut surface was extremely smooth. It was still in mid-air, and it directly turned into two halves. Falling straight into Sanhai Lake, the blood instantly turned red. Zhang Daiyaji breathed out another breath, condensed the sword energy in his hand, and another dense toothed insect turned into cold salad, and in an instant there was no more sound. The god transformed by Wanki, she has three kinds of Kai in his chest. The most powerful one is to kill demons, and on the other side. Wang Zhenkuo, the spiritual master of Pingshan City, had a relationship with Chen Shu that is, the spiritual master who had a personality that exploded like a flame, who had done the examination for the wandering master for Chen Shu. 
At this time, he was naked, revealing a strong and strong body with abnormally developed muscle tissue. And the muscles of his shoulders and arms were strong and strong, as if he were a giant bear. But the most impressive thing is the blazing flames on his half-naked upper body, like a god in the flames. Wang Zhenghuo clenched his fists and his body was like lightning, rushing straight towards the dense toothed worms in front of him. Poof! The dense toothed insects opened their mouths and the dense teeth on them were exposed and they suddenly spit out venom at Wang Zhenghuo. Wang Zhenghuo didn't even dodge, letting the venom spray directly onto his body. Hiss! Before the venom could touch his body, Blazing flames burst out, vaporizing all the venom in an instant. At this time, Wang Zhengguo's body had also arrived at the close-toothed insect tribe. The next moment. Kill with one punch. Bang. The huge body of the dense-toothed insects seemed to have been hit directly by a train. The entire hard carapace exploded and the whole body flew dozens of meters away. Boom. Immediately afterwards, there was another futile explosion in mid-air. As if the explosives in the body of the dense toothed insects were detonated, and a blazing flame suddenly exploded like fireworks in the daytime. Wang Zhengkuo is like a volcano erupting suddenly, and like a sleeping giant waking up in an instant erupting hot magma, smoke and ash, bringing destructive power. And this was just one scene in the scene that Chen Shu saw. Anyone who can reach the realm of spiritual master will definitely have this skill. There is no such thing as luck. Almost every spiritual master has come up with special skills. Although except for a few who achieved the instant kill effect, the rest have not achieved this level. However, one spiritual master can deal with two the worms are not that difficult. After all, the Mistadans are just ordinary second-level monsters and they must be catastrophically difficult to deal with among the wandering masters, but at this time, they appear much weaker in front of the spiritual masters. It's just that although the picture shows that humans are almost completely victorious, completely overwhelming these dense-toothed insects, one after another the dense-toothed insects died on the spot, making twitching roars and falling into the Sanhai Lake, never to be seen again. Get up and pass. But Chen Shu's brows wrinkled slightly. The guardian barrier can no longer hold up. It has been more than four hours since the beginning of the Divine Tribulation, and this barrier has only been able to withstand four hours, reducing the area affected by the Divine Tribulation to the scope of the lake. But now the water level above the lake is more than five meters above the water level, and this barrier has always been struggling to support it. Now there are so many spiritual masters fighting in it. Although everyone wants to fight quickly, the fluctuations in the attack and the vortex of water caused by it slam into the barrier every time. It has finally reached its limit. The spiritual master of the guard army was pale at this time, his body was shaking like chaff, and the shadow connected to the ancient bronze door behind him was flickering, as if it would dissipate at any time. Several wandering masters with the function of healing around him continued to restore him, but the results were also very little. Chen Shu looked at the spiritual master and felt some respect in his heart. Guardian, the position is not low, especially in terms of defense, it is completely on the ceiling. But similarly, there are also very high requirements for divine masters. Directors also have souls, or in other words, there is an inevitable reason why human beings can contact, perceive, and invite gods to enter and learn from them. As a military force, the guard's army is indeed the most suitable existence for this god. Click, click, click. Chen Shu watched as the barrier cracked and water spurted out from the crack. The amount of water, which is more than 5 meters above the water level of the entire Sanhai Lake, can cause a flood if it breaks apart, enough to make the entire north of the city drink a pot. Outside the barrier. Separated by dozens of meters. At this time, many people have begun to prepare emergency measures and everyone is ready. Chen Shu had already been brought to a safe zone, and there were even two wandering masters beside him. Finally, as the guarding spiritual master spurted a mouthful of blood, cracks seemed to appear on the ancient bronze door behind him. 
Obviously, this door god has suffered a lot of trauma this time, and he doesn't know how long it will take to heal. The guarding army spiritual master was also pulled away instantly. Immediately afterwards. Next moment. Boom. 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 Thanhai Lake, which had been stagnant for a long time, was like an out-of-control beast rushing across the shore. The original dam was as fragile as paper and was washed away in an instant. Trees were uprooted. The vehicle was swept into the water. The water surged, making a huge roar, submerging everything underwater. The flood is like a hungry monster, with countless waves like its claws. It is violent and violent, and suddenly attacks everything around it. In just a few breaths, this huge wave has already rushed across a distance of tens of meters. Nothing along the way can stop it in the slightest, everything is crushed and crushed. Each wave hits a huge force weighing hundreds of thousands of kilograms. Although it is not as despairing as the natural power, everyone still feels sad when looking at the scene in front of them. Then, at some point, people suddenly found out. The huge flood waves that were pounding recklessly just now froze. I want to freeze the big waves. Please help me, Mr. Dimfong. A young girl's clear voice sounded from behind Chen Shu. There were gusts of winter wind blowing bitingly. Let's talk about the reason for the recent slow update. The first thing is that I am currently renovating a house. The second thing is that I have to study for the National Firefighter Examination training every day. And the third thing is that I have too many things to do and can't keep up with my ideas. I've worked very hard, I'm really sorry, there will be another chapter later. The winter wind was biting, as if he were a warrior coming from the Ice Age, holding a sharp cold sword, exuding a chilling aura. Suddenly, the surrounding temperature dropped sharply and there was a biting chill in the air, as if you were in a world of ice and snow. The temperature at the end of December was not high. At this time, the temperature dropped and those with slightly worse constitutions were affected by this cold. If the cold air enters the body, I am afraid that I will fall ill immediately. Looking from a distance, the gusts of winter wind are like nights from the extreme ice world. Wherever they pass, white mist sweeps across the surface of the lake, and in the blink of an eye, it condenses into a thick layer, ice. Whether it's the raging waves, the vortex generated by the turbulence, or the turbulent undercurrent, everything seems to have been pressed on the pause button in an instant, turning into frozen water. Sculpture, in such a picture, Chen Shu even felt like time was frozen in his heart. It sounds slow, but in fact all this is done in an instant. Sanhai Lake, which stretches throughout Shiku City, was completely frozen into ice in an instant. What a great power this is. Everyone was staring at the huge ice sculpture in front of them in a daze, and at the next moment, a girl's clear voice sounded. I want to freeze those big black bugs into ice. Please help me, Mr. Thingfeng. In addition to being clean, the voice also contained a hint of coquettishness, like a little girl acting coquettishly to her elders. Then, next moment. Phew hoo hoo. The winter wind blows. A cold winter wind echoed across the sky, like a hurricane in a world of extreme ice. As if it was about to completely freeze all life, the lifeless wind howled and rolled away. It violently and gently bypassed the spiritual masters one by one, and then blew through the bodies of the dense toothed insects as if wrapped around a finger, freezing their lives before they could react. Bang, bang, bang. Pieces of stiff, huge bodies fell from the air and then hit the ice, breaking into tiny pieces with a bang, as if they had been frozen for decades after the winter wind blew. The time is average. Then, under Chen Shu's gaze, the air and the extremely thin water around the space cracks were instantly frozen, wrapping all the space cracks in it. There was silence. Chen Shu looked back at this time. Then he saw a girl, not very old, who looked to be at most the same age as Chen Shu. She had a delicate face, fair and soft skin, and her cheeks seemed to be slightly red due to winter. Her hair is short black hair with slightly curled ends. She looks very smart and cute. She has a pair of big eyes with bright brilliance. Her round pupils shine with innocence. Her eyebrows are long and curved. 
with a playful atmosphere. She was wearing a white down jacket. Her body was petite and thin, but she looked as pure as a white lotus on the snow-capped mountains. What a clean person. The moment Chen Shu saw the girl, he had only this thought in his mind. Chen Shu had seen many beautiful women, whether in his previous life or now, but he had never felt like this before. It was hard to describe. I can't describe too much about her appearance, I just feel clean, like spring water flowing down the mountain, and her voice is like the sound of a clear spring flowing. What is even more impressive is the shadow following the girl. It was an old man wearing a simple black robe. His face was handsome and old, and his temperament was cold and kind. He looked extremely complicated, with thick eyebrows furrowed, and under the high bridge of his nose was a firm lip that suppressed emotions. Appear solemn and firm. He looks like a gentleman with great knowledge in ancient times, and also looks like an executioner who slaughtered countless people on the battlefield. The two complex temperaments are mixed together, making him seem inaccessible. There was a cold light shining in his eyes. This light can make people feel the extremely cold air. His eyes revealed a deep wisdom, as if he could see through everything. There seemed to be a coldness on his body. The wind was whistling, resounding, and roaring. At this time, he was looking at the girl with a pair of helpless eyes. The winter wind that was like white mist and completely froze the entire Sanhai Lake flew out from his body. In other words, it is more appropriate to use him. Jingxin, Mr. Winter Wind, every realm god, more or less, will leave many traces or legends in this world, which will eventually become storylines passed down by people orally. As for Mr. Bingfeng, Chen Shu had heard of him a lot. Mr. Bingfeng, it is rumored that thousands of years ago, the Warring States period attacked each other. There are contemporary scholars who traveled around the country and joined the Zhu State to seek affairs. However, there were gaps and frictions between the Zhu State and the Wu State. Years later, the situation intensified and eventually turned into a war. At this time, the great scholar was seeking employment in the state of Zhu, but the state of Wu was his country of origin. On one side are the rulers and ministers, but on the other side are their fellow countrymen and elders. In this torment, he went to the king of Zhu to intercede. Your majesty on the way to you, I saw people eating grass to satisfy their hunger, and I saw soldiers walking hard with long swords. In the villages within a hundred miles, there is not one out of ten households left. I know you are an enlightened king, why don't you stop the war? King Zhu laughed loudly and said, Sir, I once heard that if you want others to do something, you must do it yourself before doing it, otherwise it will be just talk on paper. War is like the four seasons. It is winter now, now is the time to do it. It's almost spring, and now you're telling me to stop winter. How can I stop it? The gentleman said, Then if winter stops, will the king be able to order a halt to the war? King Zhu laughed again. If winter can stop, I will order an end to the war. The husband pondered for a long time and finally returned home. From this day forward. On the first day, the husband wore thick clothes and stood in the winter, with snow covering his body. The next day I took off a coat and stood in the winter wind. On the third day, I took off my shoes again and stood barefoot in the winter. My feet were so swollen that I couldn't stand at all. On the fourth day, I took off my pants again and stood in the winter. On the fifth day, the gentleman took off his shirt again and stood in the winter. On the sixth day, King Zhu came and said, Sir, you can't survive the winter like this, why do you want to hurt your body? The gentleman ignored him. On the seventh day, the winter wind blew all night, and the husband stood naked and died in the winter. But that year's winter was several months longer than usual. The king of Zhu also kept his promise and stopped the war. Only then did winter pass and spring followed. While Chen Shu was thinking about it. It is indeed obvious to feel a gaze. He looked up, just in time to meet Mr. Bin Feng's somewhat doubtful gaze. I'm really a little busy, but tomorrow the certification exam can finally come to an end. I'm a little embarrassed to talk about updates. 
I don't even dare to read the comments section recently, so I'll be free to spend this time. Chen Shu was shocked, but his face was completely calm. Fortunately, Mr. Dimfong only glanced at him twice more, and then he seemed to have thought of something, showing an expression of sudden realization, and then moved his gaze to the side. But within a short while, Chen Shu saw the girl looking over, also with some curiosity. He didn't know what the reason was, and Chen Shu was also puzzled. But the good thing is, soon Zhang Daiaji and others surrounded the girl. What followed was a burst of commotion, probably because the identity of this girl was unusual. Chen Shu heard someone say something like, Ning Xiaochen. Support, one person's support, why did he arrive at the support site? Didn't you contact the local association immediately? If you come later, are you able to bear the consequences? And other different words. Among the many words, what Jiang Daiaji said was completely different from everyone else. Speaking of which, everyone is used to seeing Zhang Daiaji being so brave. Otherwise, with Zhang Daiaji's strength, it would not be difficult to find a city with more oil and water. But in the end, he ended up in Shiku City, a city that had been hollowed out by coal let alone oil and water, it is a bit difficult to find even a little bit of oil star. Ning Xiaochen, on the other hand, was not angry. He just kept apologizing and said something about the words of the gods that he encountered while walking on the road. His serious look of making up lies made Zhang Daiaji seem to be even more angry. However, amidst the whispers around him, Chen Shu also quickly found some information about her in various documents and reference rooms. I finally found some information about Ning Xiaochen. Her identity is very simple, but not simple at all. She is a special divine master in the Divine Master Association. The so-called special level divine master refers to the middle part whose strength exceeds the spiritual god level by too much, but whose overall strength is weaker than that of the realm divine master. In the entire association, special masters are actually subtly regarded as genius masters. Most people who are rated as special masters are generally not very old, but their strength is terrifying. Moreover, almost every special level divine master can reach the cultivation level of a realm divine master, or even a yin divine master, as long as he does not die in the process. And this kind of cultivation is enough for one person to guard a divine kingdom. Ming Xiaochen, 19 years old, is a native of Zucheng. When I was nine years old, in the winter in Snow City, a strong wind suddenly came and a god came. The cold wind blew for three days and the temperature dropped by nearly 20 degrees. The lowest temperature even reached the terrifying minus 5 degrees Celsius, 10 degrees. It was later confirmed that the spirit Mr. N winter wind recorded in history entered the bottle into the girl's body during these three days. From then on, the girl had the power of winter. The next thing is much simpler. It is still winter at this time. It doesn't matter if Sanhai Lake is completely frozen. It just needs to spend more energy and dig some canals. When the sun is better, the ice and snow begin. After melting, the water will eventually flow into the other tributaries along the canal, so there is no need to worry about water flow. The next time is just to slowly wait for the space cracks to completely merge. The divine tribulation of the realm god has come to an end. Although things happen suddenly, in the long history, such things are not uncommon. In the early days of the Divine Age, everything was growing barbarically, and every move of the gods could cause huge disasters to mankind. For example, the Sanhai Lake god of Shiku City in fact, this is not the first time he has made a breakthrough in the realm of gods, and the divine disaster he has faced is not just this time. A special emergency management department had already prepared corresponding emergency measures, and it is precisely because of this that the rest of the people in Shiku City are living as usual today. Even in the minds of ordinary people who have not reached many levels, it is just that the rain is a little heavy today, and they have no idea that it is actually the Sanhai Lake God who is going through the Divine Tribulation. Chen Shu did not stay any longer. With everyone's acquiescence, he took Su Wenkai's car back to his home. 
In fact, today, Chen Shu is also well known in the circle of priests in Shiku City. If Ning Xiaochen hadn't suddenly appeared, no one would have cared about Chen Shu yet. Otherwise, it wouldn't be that easy for him to come back so easily. In fact, if it weren't for the wrong occasion, someone might have come long ago. Perhaps because of the heavy wind and rain, when Chen Shu entered the corridor, he clearly felt that the temperature had dropped a lot, as if he had suddenly run into a refrigerator. I quickly ran into my house and felt better. Take a break. Thoughts were racing in my mind, reviewing the messy things I had encountered today. The door was suddenly knocked. Chen Shu turned his eyes and saw the girl standing in front of the door and the shadow following her. As if he felt Chen Shu's gaze, following the direction of Chen Shu's eyes, they looked at each other as if they were looking at each other in the void. Chen Shu took a breath and opened the door. The girl and Mr. Ding Feng entered the door and moved smoothly. Sit at the table. The Divine Master's Association, Ning Xiaochen. A clean smile appeared on the girl's face. She stretched out her hand and looked at Chen Shu with curiosity. Mr. Tan Dengfeng said you seem to be a little special. But he can't say what's special about him. He asked me to investigate you secretly. And let me not tell you. But I can't do such a thing. A straight shot. Chen Shu could clearly see that Mr. Ding Feng's stern face almost lost his strength and broke his defense on the spot. He had an uncle-level handsome face, and the corners of his mouth seemed to be twitching constantly. But he had to maintain his posture to avoid being noticed by Chen Shu. Ning Xiaochen looked directly at Chen Shu. Chen Shu. Are you the god of the three seas and lakes? You have such a strong aura of him on your body. He thought about what the two would ask, but this was indeed a question he had never imagined. No. Chen Shu shook his head gently and looked at Ning Xiaochen with some speechlessness in his eyes. Ning Xiaochen then asked, Then do you know the Sanhai Lake God? Do not know. Chen Shu shook his head again. If he really knew him, he wouldn't have become a god. Mr. Ding Feng and Ning Xiaochen finally left. After Chen Shu denied it, Ning Xiaochen didn't even ask another question and left with Mr. Ding Feng without sitting there for a while. Chen Shu was so decisive that even Chen Shu felt a little puzzled. They seemed to have some ability to judge the truth of speech. The strange thing is that when Chen Shu sent the two of them out, he felt that the temperature outside the house had risen a lot. It was already late at night. The other side. After walking far away, Ning Xiaochen said, Sir, Chen Shu did not lie. Um. Mr. Ding Feng's voice sounded, I'm just a little curious, maybe I feel wrong. This kid is indeed a human being. Um. Ning Xiaochen said, Sir, what will happen if you fail to escape the tribulation? Mr. Ding Feng said calmly, I will die. The god of three seas and lakes tried to overcome the tribulation more than twenty years ago. She died at that time, but it was only because someone blocked the secret for her that she survived today. Even if she has done some meritorious deeds over the years, she will not be able to escape in the end. The position of realm god is difficult. Ning Xiaochen asked curiously, Can God also die? Of course. Mr. King Feng looked at the crescent moon in the sky and muttered, No one lives forever. Will you die too? Ming Xiaochen looked at Mr. Ding Feng seriously. When will you die? Mr. Ding Feng should live longer than you. And on the other side, Chen Shu stood in front of the door and looked at the old lady standing at the door. Grandma Zhang. Chen Shu quickly ushered him in and asked doubtfully, are you okay? Grandma Zhang's condition seemed to be very poor, her face was pale and bloodless, and her already old body looked even more craggy, like a candle swaying in the wind, which might be extinguished at any time. The two met once on their last birthday, but the chances of seeing each other became rare after that. At one stage, Chen Shu thought that Grandma Zhang had been picked up by her children. 
just at the moment when their bodies come into contact with each other. A strange feeling came. Chen Shu stared blankly as his arm, which he wanted to support, ended up passing directly through Grandma Zhang's body. He didn't know what to say for a moment. Good boy. Grandma Zhang was extremely weak, but her face was full of smiles. My body was destroyed in the divine calamity, and now I, Grandma, only have this remnant of my soul left. The CPU in Chen Shu's mind was spinning rapidly, and everything was drawn together in an instant. Three seas and lake gods. Grandma Zhang. Grew. He really never thought that Grandma Zhang, who had been his neighbor for several years after his parents left, turned out to be a god. Dying. Grandma Zhang smiled and said, Come and say goodbye to you. Also, let's get something back by the way. Just as he was talking, the shadow of Sanhai Lake God's body became lighter and fainter. It seemed like it was about to disappear. Chen Shu was speechless for a moment. He really didn't know what to say, but when it came to sadness, he really didn't have it, but he still asked, What is it? Grandma Zhang asked back, Is the book at your place? It's there. Chen Shu took out the soul-suppressing book from his arms. In fact, from the time Grandma Zhang entered the door, the soul-suppressing book seemed to have a reaction. Take it out and place it on the table. Wow. The pages of the book moved on their own without any wind, and finally a page appeared. Chen Shu couldn't understand the words, but he could distinguish the meaning, which probably meant a contract. The Sanhai Lake God stretched out his hand as if he wanted to touch the page, but stopped in midair. The next moment, she said, Chen Shu, do you want to be the god of the lake? However, as he said this, Sanhai Lake God said with regret, It's a pity that you are just an ordinary person. Your talent is too poor, even worse than your parents. I have tried to enter the bottle before, but unfortunately I failed. Chen Shu, you were the one who brought Ning Xiaochun here to co-write, right? But even if you can't become the lake god, a change in your destiny will be a good thing for your current situation. Chen Shu shook his head gently. The taste is right. It's back, it's all back. During this time, people everywhere praised his talent. Can someone finally see his extremely different talent? Sanhai Lake God smiled and said kindly, as if to his junior. If you don't want to, just don't want to. With this book, it is a good thing to be an ordinary person peacefully. Chen Shu asked at this time, Who are my parents? He was really curious about this fact. Things like the Book of Souls are not ordinary things at first glance. No matter how you think about it, the people who can hold it should not be ordinary people. They... Sanhai Lake God's face showed some reminiscing about the past. They saved me. I used to be their protector. They are all very kind people. It's just that the talent is really lacking, said. Her hand touched the page lightly. He sighed softly. Twenty years have passed and we still failed. Destiny, destiny. For a while, there is light shining brightly. Some soft light slowly bloomed, and then the body of Sanhai Lake God turned into light and shadow and disappeared leave no trace behind. And at the same time, in the Sanheihu Temple in Shiku City, standing in the middle, is a statue of a 28-year-old girl, cracked from top to bottom. The cracks spread rapidly like vines, reaching the soles of the feet, followed by, with a bang, it shattered into dozens of pieces of rubble. The temple quickly began to deteriorate, as if it had gone through decades in just a few breaths, becoming dilapidated. The pillars, which were originally made of excellent materials, also became decayed and emitted. There was a creaking sound, and most of it tilted, as if it might collapse at any time. The frozen Sanhai Lake, which originally had a lively water, seemed to have lost its vitality in an instant, turning into a pool of motionless stagnant water. It no longer had its former agility, as if it had been frozen, like a walking zombie with his soul removed. In the minds of countless people, the mark representing the three seas and lake gods also shattered and dissipated at this moment, as if they had never existed. 
I don't know how many people woke up from their dreams, looked in the direction of Sanhai Lake, and murmured, The lake god has fallen. Gods fell, temples collapsed, and apostles dispersed. The demise of gods is no different from that of humans. They are both like water disappearing into water. There is more movement at the beginning, but in the end, only silence is left. Information was published on the second day. December 31, 2999 ad. On the eve of the year 3000, the Sanhai Lake god of Shiku City fell after a divine catastrophe. People have never known whether the Sanhai Lake god was looking forward to the first dawn in 3000 years that night. But too many people will miss him. At this time, Chen Shu. He was looking at the words on the page in a daze. Position, Lake God. Level, complete. Available for reference. The first complete function. I'll post it as soon as I finish writing it. There will be more in the evening, but I don't know how many there are. I hope the results will be better. Duties. It can be understood as destiny, and similarly, it can also be understood as the responsibilities and certain abilities that one assumes. The functions of the gods are the responsibilities or abilities that the gods have after they become gods. In the land of the Age of Divinity, idol gods were never raised. Under normal circumstances, the weaker divine functions are incomplete. Even the pseudo-godhead of the falcon that Chen Shu absorbed before, in fact, the functions in it are not complete, but like those absorbed by the Book of Souls before. Fear and what was absorbed from the snake god, etc., are not complete at all. Not even broken. If a job is like a book, then the things absorbed before the Book of Souls can only be regarded as a certain chapter in the book at best. It's like the mechanical function brought by the falcon's pseudo-godhead. The mechanical job is a vast job, which contains various abilities such as precision, immortality, gunpowder, explosion, and so on. Only when these are combined together can it be called a complete mechanical job. Among the Falcon's gods, there is only precision. In the process of gradual decomposition, experience, and learning, Chen Shu has gained a lot. Naturally, he can understand how much this kind of thing can improve himself. The precise control of the body is definitely a very powerful ability. At this moment, as a blessing, Chen Shu's right eye began to itch slightly again. At first, it was as if tiny hairy willow branches were gently stroking his eyeball. Inexplicable. Chen Shu could feel it was time. After this period of study, Chen Shu thought that he had accumulated enough knowledge. But although he didn't know how many abilities were contained in the complete lake god's role, he had never been exposed to the water attribute role or the elemental role until now. At present, only one eye has become a god. It is difficult for the eye to perfectly combine with the water attribute. The so-called biting off more than one can chew. Yes. He turned to the page of the fear function that he had absorbed due to the snake god's anger. Fear. Level. Advanced. Touch it lightly and spiritual thoughts pour into it. Boom. Endless scenes flashed before Chen Shu's eyes one by one. In the desolate sky and earth, thunder exploded, as if there were thousands of cannonballs roaring, the sky was majestic, and gods looked down at him coldly in midair. In the dark forest, where it was difficult to see his fingers, in the silent forest at this time, he heard voices from unknown sources, many voices whispering. In the deep tunnel, there was no one around him. In the darkness, he felt as if there was something indescribable, secretly staring at him with greedy eyes. In the long river of time, flowers withered, trees withered, and the people around him were getting older. He felt that his body functions were constantly weakening, and later he became ill. He felt as if he was going to die. In the darkness, he felt that he had lost sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing. Every sense was disappearing until at a certain moment, he seemed to have lost all sense. A big hand stretched out and stirred things up in front of him. Visual fear, auditory fear, cognitive fear, fear of birth, old age, illness and death, many fears emerged in his mind. If he were an ordinary divine master and experienced each of these fears personally with the gods, it would be caused by the backlog of emotions. Nervous enough to drive you crazy. 
but Chen Shu was extremely sober. He even gradually fell into long-term thinking. He thought of the books he had read. From a medical perspective, the essence of fear is a complex physiological and psychological process caused by neurons and neurochemicals in the brain. From a more professional perspective, fear in fact, it is a survival mechanism, a cognitive association, and a self-protective response to potential threats. From the perspective of the beginning of the divine age, fear itself is a kind of energy. The last assessment of his left, I broadened Chen Shu's mind a lot. Fear often arises from the five senses. Is it possible that mastering fear means mastering the five senses? And fear is also born in people's cognition. Can it control people's cognition? The fear of birth, old age, illness and death also exists, so is it possible to see for thousands of years? And fear is just one type of emotion. Is it an emotion that can be controlled through fear? Countless thoughts flashed through Chen Shu's mind rapidly. As the deification continued, he had countless possibilities. These endless thoughts finally turned into three words again. I am God. The sound was like thunder, like thousands of thunders splitting the space, exploding in his heart. The fat cat lying on the edge of the spiritual sea was awakened by the sound caused by this thought. He raised his eyes and was stunned for an instant. Again? Becoming a god again? Oh shit, what kind of monster is this contract with me? I'm still waiting for him to die of old age and regain his freedom. Finally, at a certain moment, Chen Shu opened his eyes, blood gushed out, and an old eyeball popped off its mother's body like a puddle of soft flesh. The spiritual thoughts in the air rushed in crazily, as if a river was pouring back, pouring into his right eye socket. Cells are dividing and developing like crazy. He didn't look in the mirror this time. But Chen Shu could also imagine that in the empty right eye socket, there were blood-colored granules growing, entangled like vines, and finally condensing into a brand new eyeball. In the dark night, there is no brilliance, it seems to be darker than the night, revealing a deep and mysterious feeling, showing a new version of the ship. The right eye has become a god. Chen Shu looked at the mirror. In the mirror, his left eye was shining brightly and his right eye was dark and bright. And at the same time, the spiritual thoughts between heaven and earth are rushing towards the right eye again like old men and old ladies grabbing eggs in the supermarket in the early morning. The newly generated right eye is now more like a baby waiting to be fed. Like a strong man, facing this crazy influx of spiritual thoughts, he will not reject them and absorb them crazily. The level of power also increases along with it. Almost instantly, he had reached the wandering god level. Under the impact of this powerful force, Chen Shu's eyeballs also experienced various feelings. There was a numbness throughout, and in this numbness, the eyeballs gradually became full, and all kinds of mysterious feelings surged out of them, finally falling into Chen Shu's mind. And just then, there seemed to be some kind of connection between the eyes, and the two abilities echoed each other, followed closely. The spiritual thoughts between heaven and earth surged toward Chen Shu's left eye again. The vision of the left eye, which was originally growing slowly, suddenly skyrocketed at this moment. 26,000 meters, 27,000 meters, 28,000 meters, 29,000 meters. The vision of the left, I finally stopped at 29,000 meters. This is the end. There are more behind. 